All right, here we are. Today, uh, Exceptional and I are going to be playing Fire Red with Blastoise. So, welcome, Exceptional, to the stream. Hello. And uh, everyone can also check out his stream, uh, so go check out the description of this video. Maybe uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what games like you play on your channel. I play Fire Red. I play a lot of Fire Red. <laughs> yes. I have uh, just recently been branching into Soul Silver, but uh, I have only been at this for about a year at this point, and Fire Red has been pretty much my sole focus, so uh, you're getting a big old dose of anecdotal experience today. Yeah, uh, it's good. Uh, you've been, I think we've been playing Fire Red for a similar amount of time on our channels, but you have significantly <laughs> more experience than I do because I did not do very many runs until late into last year, and mm -hmm. I also do not do multiple attempts per video yet. And you're doing both of those, plus you're doing versus videos for a lot of your releases. Yes. And you also yeah. do the second league. <laughs> yep, every time. Except yeah. for the first three runs, but you know, those don't count. Okay. First three runs on your channel, you mean? Correct, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I do two playthroughs every single time. I'm very, like, very inspired by your format, um, very inspired by your content. That is no secret to any of my viewers out there. Um, first run is always very much just go in blind, tackle the game, see what happens. And then I like to edit my first run, really critique myself, and then jump into a second run, see what I can improve. Nice. Yeah, that's basically what I do too. Yeah. Sometimes but, um, with a little bit of software in the middle, but not not mm -hmm. for fire red yet yeah yeah <laughs> yeah and uh yeah no after i think i tallied it the other day i've done something like 126 fire red runs that i have scripted edited and uploaded to youtube so uh it's a lot i'm uh i'm looking to title tell a different story or two maybe <laughs> <laughs> that's like uh okay so you've done 120 runs i've done i think 12 in fire red or 13 so <laughs> roughly 10 times the amount of experience so i think that uh Hopefully, I'm really hoping in this stream that I'm going to learn something. That's the whole point of this. Uh, I think that there are a ton of really talented people in the community. You are, of course, one of them. And I am just excited to learn from everyone else and get different perspectives on the best way to play these games. Absolutely. And uh, one thing that I mentioned leading into the stream is that our, our methodologies are different. And so we had to take a little bit of time just kind of ironing out how we're going to do this run. And given mm -hmm. that this run is very much exhibition, we're just having fun today, learning the game, hanging out. Um, we are actually going to be running with slightly different methodologies. So I'm pretty much running on just basic game. Um, electric barriers in Surge's gym are disabled. I maxed my Pokedex so we can jump straight into round two, but Scott's version is a little bit different. Yeah, so I'm going to have my anti-spinner technology, which is going to give me a significant advantage. I'm hoping at least. <laughs> I think I might need it to win. Um, I also have uh, some I have some other uh, small modifications, again, like Surge's trash can puzzle and then the regular modifications to the starter. I have not modded my Pokedex, but we have found a way to change the requirement that Oak has for the national Pokedex. So he only needs one Pokemon to be registered in your decks for him <laughs> to give you the national decks. So that is what I'll be playing on. So um, cool. Which there is actually a difference there. You can obtain the leftovers, but I cannot. Through the system of honor, I will not obtain the leftovers <laughs> unless I go and catch 30 Pokemon since you two are stuck with that. Okay, that, that's fair. That's fair. So if Blastoise absolutely needs the leftovers, which is going to be a big shift for me, because we are pushing into round two today. That is the yes. plan. Um, it's going to be a big shift because I'm always in there with leftovers. <laughs> I'm also probably going to have a lot of questions about the Sevy Islands because I didn't really play them when I was a kid and I'm just starting to learn them. So I usually just wander around a bunch going like, why won't he let me back to the mainland? Anyways. <laughs> Well, Scott, let me tell you, there's a video on YouTube by this creator named Exceptional that shows you exactly how to unlock the round two league. All right, I have to, I'll have to watch that one. Just give me a, give me a few minutes. Yeah, no, it's fine. I, I'll, I'll talk you through. It's not that bad, yeah, yeah. probably. I'm watching your stream. Um, by the way, for people on my stream, uh, I hope you don't mind my move set being kind of overwritten a little bit so that we can see Scott's stream while we're at it. Yeah, we're, we're also going to have a little bit of, uh, of that on my side of things too. Sometimes it will be large like this. Other times it will be smaller like this. 
Uh, I, I do want to go through Blastoise as a Pokemon just so everyone knows uh, how it works. So base Absolutely. stats, 79 HP, 83 attack, 100 defense, 85 special attack, 105 special defense, and 78 speed. Did I get that right? Or uh, will people tell me in the comments that one of those numbers are wrong? How much speed? Uh, 78. Ooh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's, it, it's actually kind of... I, I always think it should be slower than it is, but it's, so did it's I. decently fast. Uh, mm -hmm. It has a medium slow growth rate as a starter, which is the best growth rate. And uh, Do you want to go through its move pool, or is that blocked by my screen and I should do it? Um, I can see the move pool on your screen. So, okay. um, uh, yeah, the move pool is, uh, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, it's, it's a pretty typical water Pokemon you just get a ton of water coverage. And honestly, in Kanto, that's pretty much what you need. Um, we get some awesome ice coverage, which is going to help out. We get a little bit of physical as well with the ground earthquake. Brick break is nice to kind of mix in there. I think we get that somewhere, don't we? Maybe not. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, we Ground? get brick break. Oh yeah, brick um, break, yeah. Rest on Blastoise, definitely one that I would de like always pick up, especially with round two Lance in mind. Um, rest has become a staple in every first playthrough so that I can get my Lance. <laughs> that Gyarados loves to paralyze, but uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, yeah. The, it has Thunder Wave the second time, doesn't it? Yep. And it uh, will use it pretty much every time. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Oh, that's yeah. annoying. Okay. So... Cherryberry, Lumberry, always, yeah. uh, yeah. Okay. Um, um I want to, sorry, did you go through the whole move pool or did I just cut you I off? didn't go through the whole move pool. It, it's pretty, like, we yeah. get water, we get normal, yeah. and then we get a little bit of scattered coverage. But, uh, like, something that, uh, when I was playing, because I have played this through in the solo format, one thing yeah. that I use in my runs is Hidden Power. And, uh, I did go for Electric, uh, Hidden Power Electric just to help out with the Gyarados problems. But, mm, uh, we'll, that's we'll really smart. Those. I was, I was literally going to ask you that question, like what hidden power yeah. did you go for? So electric uh, makes sense. Yes, uh, Blastoise definitely felt like it had its biggest struggles against the Gyarados because, uh, like Venusaur, you can take out with two egg or ice bo ice beams, excuse me. But uh, it was Gyarados, like just thrashing away or setting up an earthquaking. It just it's bad news bears. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A move when I did this one that I think I thought would be a little bit more useful is Earthquake. But mm -hmm. Blastoise, it, it's kind of weird because Earthquake is really useful in Gen 1 for Agatha, <laughs> but really not useful for Agatha in, oh, in it Gen hurt. 3. It hurts so much every time. <laughs> yeah. I um, just want to Earthquake Agatha. Yes. I know, me too. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to ask you about some starting stuff, because apparently when I started playing Gen 3 on my channel, I, I just got natures uh, wrong for like the first year that I was playing. Mm -hmm. I chose all the wrong natures and everyone was like, no, it's not this nature. Okay, okay. So what nature <laughs> do you think is best for Blastoise in this playthrough? So again, I have run this uh, in the solo format, so I have put some thought into this one. Uh, my first run with it, I want to say I went with neutral. Uh, a lot of the time, uh, similar to how you started off with your yeah. natures, um, it was just a matter of I don't know, so I'm just going to go with neutral and see what happens. <laughs> um, but for this one, uh, one thing that I love about the doing the two uh, two playthrough format is that I found in the first playthrough that our defense was like never threatened. So I decided to go with a mild nature, mm. increasing special attack because that's most of what we're going to be relying on. I feel with stab, uh, surf, and ice beam coverage. Um, and then minus defense because we don't have any physical weaknesses in this generation. And uh, with the exception of round two earthquakes and potentially stalling out rock tombs. But again, we'll get there with substitute. Um, that's the only reason I could see defense being useful. So I elected to get rid of that one. Okay. Yeah, I'm <laughs> um, going gonna, gonna to switch from a rash nature to a mild nature. I, I do agree with you. There, I think there was... Yeah, sorry, there was some debate in the comments uh, after the video that Rash was the better decision, but um, mm. I don't know. I, I feel more confident and mild myself. I, I guess that the, the, the question is, which starter does the rival pick for you? Um, I usually go with the starter that's going to give me the hardest time. Okay, so, so he's going to go Venusaur, like me. Yes. Yeah, yes. and I think in that case, the mild nature makes a lot of sense because then Razor Leaf is not going to do a ton of damage. 
Mm-hmm. And in round two, you do you do encounter Earthquake from Venusaur and Sludge Bomb, because everything is Earthquake in round two. Like, yeah. I think 66% of the league or something has Earthquake on it. <laughs> like, it's yes. insane. Yes. Um, modest, I did consider. Uh, I'm just catching up on my chat a little bit. Modest, I did consider, but I did like the ability to have that little bit of physical coverage. You'll definitely see that. Um, yeah when it comes into uh, Lorelei's battle and other ones like that. Without HP Electric, Brick Break makes that one a lot easier. Mm -hmm. I, question. Oakland uh, Baseball asks, what about up in special attack and down in speed? Did you consider that? So speed is one that I always struggle with in my solo runs because I always err on the side of caution with it. Um, outspeeding everything is not necessary at all. Um, but uh, outspeeding a few key things is very, very nice. So yeah. um, it's the only time that I go for minus speed natures is generally when the Pokemon has 90 or above base speed because it, you can just forget the stat, essentially. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was wondering what your threshold was. So 90, that makes sense. Roughly. That's that's a very, um, you know, it, it's, a, it's a moving target. You know, yeah. it kind of depends on the runner. But when I, I play feel that 90 is a good, good spot. Yeah, when I played Salamence in Gen 3, like, it has ridiculous speed, I think, and so it's just like, mm -hmm. well, might as well lower it and you raise don't... an attacking stat and not lose out on the yeah. defensive stats, because in solo runs, especially when the opponent's team is five or six members, being able to survive just one more hit mm -hmm. really, really matters, but also being yes. able to move first against key targets is very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 always a, a tough balancing act of active excuse me, going first and avoiding the hits versus going first and not one-shotting so you take a hit. It's just, oh, it's just, there's, there's so, I love these games. There, yeah. There's so much to consider. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, um, I, I had another question just about, like, getting started. One last thing. Uh, do you ever consider, like, uh, gender for your Pokemon as a, something that you set when you go into the run? Yes. Okay. Um round one it is less important i find but in round two for whatever reason um the round one leagues like you'll notice lorelei's team agatha's team uh they all have like a good split that seems to make sense with the trainer of female to male pokemon yeah for whatever reason in round two it is exclusively male so if oh. you are having a lot of trouble with a run uh, I believe Lantern I did this with, like, again, almost a year ago. But uh, Lantern was just struggling in round two, so I made it a female with a tract. And so it was still struggling, but, you know, at least it gave me yeah. a better time going through. Yeah, that that tends to be how I approach Emerald. Like, a tract is, mm -hmm. uh, can be useful against Steven as well as uh, you also want to block Flannery's tracks. Mm -hmm. And so being a female yeah. is, is generally better. So it seems like across the board in Generation 3, female is better. Which is really interesting because in Generation 2, across the board, male is better. Uh, well, un unless you really want lower physical attack, just so you don't hit yourself yeah. in confusion. I, I would argue that female is better in Fire Red Leaf Green. It's only if you're going for attract because the two Pokemon that will attract you if you're uh, female are Lorelei's Jinx, which is a pain, but Agatha's Mischievous is nasty, because for whatever reason, if it gets an attract off, I just don't seem to move again. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah, I thought I forgot she has Mischievous. It's good a trainer yeah. actually has that Pokemon. Yeah. Um, I, I, one other just quick note for my viewers before we start is that you will notice mm -hmm. the uh, m moves on the right-hand side of the screen all have the new Bulbapedia colors. So these are the old Bulbapedia colors. They look kind of washed out now, uh, but... I was... I'm going yeah, with the new thinking... colors for a little bit, and uh, we, we've got to get used to them. I don't think Bulbapedia is going to change, so. I was thinking about switching myself, but I, I like the richer colors of, like, the old scheme. <laughs> I think the old scheme, like, uh, I find some of them are a little bit clearer, but... Mm -hmm. nah. Also, like fighting really looks like fire now, but I'm gonna just have to yeah. I was get looking at that. your move set, trying to see stuff, and yeah, it, it takes some getting used to. Um, did you have anything else to ask before we jump into the run itself uh, or talk about? I don't think I have anything else to ask about the run. Oh, maybe do you have like? I have two things to ask. Number yes. one. Where do you would you say is your default location to use rare candies when approaching a playthrough where the intended goal is to beat the second, uh, the league rematches? 
whenever I'm going for round two, which is pretty much every video, um, I always try to save them for as late as possible. Um, generally, and this is again, something that's just evolved over time. I will go into the league, uh, into the round one league, just shoot in, like shoot through the game, get into the league and just start attempting it. Mm -hmm. If I struggle, I will generally clear victory road of trainers and then start investing with rare candies just because I'm so scared of uh, not having rare candies in round two. And uh, when you're hitting those higher levels and the XP curve is definitely getting up there, uh, yeah. less grinding is better in my opinion. <laughs> okay. So, so as, I, I, as late as possible. I try to be I try to be conservative, but like some 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 runners like Charmeleon, for instance, I used two right before Misty just to outspeed her and not have to backtrack. So you know it, it really depends on the runner, but generally I stay the same as late as I can. Okay. Yep. That checks out. Um, um and do you have, for for Blastoise specifically, do you have a goal level in mind to finish the game at? <laughs> So, so I actually have to go back and check my footage. Uh, my first run ended at 83, which is about typical, I'd say, for like the, the starter um, strength Pokemon, like kind of like that 500 to 530 base stats total range. Like that's average, I would say, ish, is like kind of the early 80s. Um, by the end of round two with 70-ish at the end of round one. But again, it depends on the runner. And uh, okay. whether you have a boosting mood, whether you're using uh, substitute, there's yeah, yeah. But based on my first run of Blastoise, seventy at the end of round one, eighty three at the end of round two, and that was slightly lacking. I felt so, yeah, <laughs> roughly. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um. So yeah. Anything else before we jump in? Ah, uh, no. I think I'm pretty much ready to go. I will have to catch okay. up to you because I believe you are already in the lab. Yes, I am at the lab. Uh, just waiting at Oak because I yeah we're just running different software. So I that's the yeah I'll, I'll wait it. <laughs> yeah, we we thought a lot about trying to get on the exact same software version, but it was it was going to take too much time and we didn't have enough prep time. So. Yeah, egg egg is definitely old fashioned turbo. <laughs> <laughs> so I will catch up quickly. Yeah, um, I do have one final thing before we jump in. Philip and Maria. I've seen Philip in chat, but I'm not sure if I've seen Maria in chat yet today. I assume that you're here. <laughs> Just give that a second for them to yeah, respond. Yeah, of course. Meanwhile, I've got the Game Corner music playing on my side. Beautiful. Um, yes, hello. So I had a request and I uh, decided that I might try one upping. Oh, you're crocheting. Perfect. Excellent birthday activity because I was requested to wish you a happy birthday. And I uh, I decided, you know what? Let's, 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 let's see if I can get Scott in on this. And he was absolutely... <laughs> ready for it first try no hesitance he was like you know what can i lead us into this like I, no i'm just kidding i'm putting scott on the spot entirely right now but i'm gonna lead into it because i have no shame so happy birthday to you and en, en francais bonne fête à toi happy birthday dear maria happy birthday to you well done this is great where's my uh yes happy birthday applause. maria <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually I have a funny story about this while you get into the game I'm uh I'm paused Rex, yes. with I just picked up my starter and nicknamed I'm sorry I'm here I'm ready oh. uh ready when you are um I have funny just quickly story yes. I had uh yes. <laughs> I took this class it was called network music where we like played music over the internet essentially and uh <laughs> network latency really messes with musical timing and uh, that's specifically why I didn't want to sing. It's because I we, we would be so <laughs> off anyways. You see, you have an actual reason for it. I'm just <laughs> like, uh, I just, I wouldn't want to do it. Uh. Yeah, it's like, it's really mind blowing when you try and uh, sing synchronized and there's like a 35 millisecond delay. I feel like the awfulness it. would have just like added to the effect. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, that's like, right. Like how, how Gen One's jankiness is just kind of how its character yeah, is. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's how every happy birthday is. It's it's sung over the internet, even when you're in person. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Three. All right. Two. One. Oh, whoops. Go. All right, now I'm going. Yeah. I I jumped the gun. It's all, it's it, all good. We're fine. Um. I chose the nickname Pistachio. 
uh, hoping that I will, in fact, be turtly enough for the Turtle Club. Oh, yes, that movie. That I love that movie. And I know that movie is awful, but I love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I chose the uh, oh. the name Shell because uh, you are an egg, and Blastoise has a shell, and so I figure <laughs> my my Blastoise is trying to be the superior shell yeah. in this video. Yeah, and it's funny actually. Um, so we we touched last night. Scott and I touched uh, last night. We discussed uh, just today's plan and everything a little bit. And uh, one thing we discussed is how. We both have a bad habit of picking up a lot of unnecessary items, and I'm already watching Scott stream versus mine, and he's running right by the free potion, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah I'll get all of this stuff. Like, you need that, <laughs> but you don't. <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, uh, inspired by Gym Leader Matt because his play always seems uh, much better than mine, especially in Generation 1. Uh, <laughs> I've just been trying to skip every single unnecessary item in my runs, uh, and then pay the price if I actually needed it later on. Yep. Oh, and I'm just realizing that I didn't set my text to fast or anything like that. So. Oh, yeah, I gotta get you set up for that at some point. Doing well, yeah. I, I just have text a thing that sets it automatically because I, I don't want to forget and then have to go back and re-record like five minutes of a video. <laughs> I wish I could have it do it all automatically. You, you will, soon, <laughs> soon. Eventually, we'll get yeah, there. Yeah. Oh, you shop in the Viridian Mart. Oh, uh, no, I ran out of Pokeballs trying to catch a Rattata, okay. so I had to go up there and get <laughs> get some. Gotcha. <laughs> this was not an ideal situation. Um, that's too funny. That's something I should ask you about these runs. So for Fire Red, what HM users do you find optimal? So this is another one where it kind of comes down to rule set because I do not believe that you use... I don't need that antidote. Um... That you, uh, no, you do use hidden power, but in the second runs, yes? Uh, that's for Gen well, 2. In Emerald, I've been yeah. using hidden power, but I banned pickup. Yes, so that's, yeah. In these ones, I haven't been using hidden power. Right. Um, so in these ones, I do use hidden power, and the only way to get hidden power is via pickup yep. from Meowth. Um, is Meowth the only pickup user? As far as I know, until you get into post game, I think like Centret can and stuff like okay. that, but uh, but not, yeah, yeah. Meowth at least you get uh, just outside of um, Cerulean. Of course, I'm poisoned. I might be resetting already. Oh no! And he Poison's crits. No, terrifying. I crit. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, just so everyone's um, aware, the d the video, his video feed on my side of things will be slightly delayed. Yes. From from as where? will yeah. Yeah, opposite, vice versa. Turbo, thank you for the $10. And uh, I saw some other ones in there. I believe uh, Speedrunner with a renewed membership. Thank you very much. And Chris Gwynn, I believe, do gifted five memberships. Just trying oh, to remember oh. backwards. Thank you very much for your very generosity. Very generous. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so yeah, HM users. Outside of Meow, yes. what do you typically so, go for? Typically, I just go for Meowth and Pidgey, uh, grabbing Lapras from Sylph later in the game. Okay. But, um, oh, I guess I, I, I'm i using Squirtle strats. I'm not remembering that we're a Blastoise we this time. We are a Blastoise, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um, otherwise, I would say Rattata and Pidgey would be good because I don't use Flash ever. Um, okay. Another substitute to Rattata would be Paris so that you're allowed to dig, which is why I like Meowth so much yeah. is because you can cut and dig. Okay. Oh, it gets dig. But, That's nice that they gave it dig in this game when it can't uh, Meowth, be used yes. against Agatha. <laughs> oh, dig story would of my really life. help Persian in Generation 1. Yeah. Oh, I meant to buy those. Oh, gosh, I'm just not warm. I'm sloppy. I've been playing Soul Silver all week. <laughs> nice. <laughs> How is that game in terms of speed? Does it feel faster than Platinum? I have not ever played platinum oh. so i don't think that's a okay i i, I don't think i can give a, a fair comparison on that's that. fair oh, I, no. I actually still need to uh check out your platinum content <laughs> yeah like i said i'm i'm behind on a lot i did not mean to go for withdraw it's okay you gotta you gotta focus on making the videos it's big versus yeah. videos to make what's the <laughs> uh have you announced what your next video is going to be 
No, I have been so just focused on like the back end of things yeah. and setting up my production and everything. It's just been solo project, solo project, solo project until uh, until I feel like I can emerge from the sand once again. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, how about yourself? Any really awesome, fun projects? I saw your. Oh no, I can't remember it. It, it was a le egg. It, no, it was exhausting. And, uh, yeah, uh, it was. It was all egg puns waiting to happen. Scott. I know, so right? I know. <laughs> we needed you in that <laughs> video, and then someone said uh, they expected me to put explosive in the title. I'm like, yeah, that's very fair. Like, I really uh, should have. Just uh, uh, dial up the Michael Bay a little bit. I know. The worst thing was too. I was. I literally went on like online and looked at like mm -hmm. all of the e words in the ling English <laughs> language. It's like I'm gonna put together as many of these as I can. Yeah, my uh, my girlfriend uh, on uh, ChatGPT just the other day threw uh, together yeah. like, "Hey, can you just give me some like Pokemon alliteration?" And I was trying to oh, spell it all out, and oh no. <laughs> Yeah, they were cool, but I prefer coming up with them on my own. <laughs> yeah, see, this is this is how I know where your where your channel's at because you have a girlfriend and mine has evolved. Yeah, yours uh, yeah. evolved into second form fiance, and, and then, then uh, uh, what was the third form? His wife now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one day at a time. That's right. Um, yeah. what was I? I did want to let everyone know, look, there is now a repel step counter in the top left, so that when I forget my repels, there is uh, only me to blame. Oh, this poison is annoying. Oh, there's an antidote right before the exit of Mount Moon, right? Yes. I That right. one doesn't actually, exist in, in yellow, so I always forget that yeah. it's there. I actually use it to bonk against. Uh, that's, that's smart. Something. That's really smart. I never thought of that. <laughs> oh my there's gosh. A, yeah, you can bonk the wall and then bonk the antidote and then get out. Oh, so yeah. smart. There's a, there's a few areas that I've just kind of like, and again, like it's just kind of developed naturally. I don't know if I could pick them out without like talking about them like we are. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just like your, your anti-spinner technology, that's, that's my anti, I suck at moving technology. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm always looking for locations to bonk like that. Bonking into walls, uh, so that you can get through certain locations quicker on four times speed, uh, mm -hmm. always seems to be the right play. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a really cool one on Island four that I'll, I was proud of. Okay. But it's, 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 it's so meaningless. I am picking up the Helix Fossil because we are blue. Oh, I got the Dome Fossil. That's the only correct choice. Uh, sorry to say <laughs> that you you did make the wrong choice. <laughs> I usually go Dome, but because I have a blue po a blue Pokemon means I go Helix okay, every time. Okay, I see. <laughs> uh, some people in my chat are saying hi, Scott. Hello. <laughs> That was my super enthusiastic um, hello. Yeah. That's actually how we, we approached this whole conversation is like, I, I called, or uh, Scott called me and I was like, hello, how's it going? Oh my gosh, how, how are you doing today? And he's like, hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just a guy that likes Pokemon. <laughs> That's it. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny if that's how things actually went, but that's what I'm sticking with. Okay, I have a I have a strategy question for you now uh, because you're yes. getting close to Misty. I think if you haven't already fought her, or you're actually just fighting her. Um, for Misty, are you using the Person Berry pretty much every time? Every time. Every time. Uh, yeah. Getting confused by her is such a phenomenal pain. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's see. That did not go how I wanted it to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I meant to teach Water Pulse. I'm uh, two sand attacks in. This is not going to be a good fight. I am asleep. You're through Bulbasaur. I'm about to lose. I uh, I taught Mega Kick so that I could one-shot it. So did I. It didn't go well. Yeah. I'm also going to teach Water Pulse. No, no, See, I, if I, I can... forgot Water Pulse. Yeah, too, for the fight. <laughs> <sighs> See if I can confuse bird brains. <laughs> yeah, the the Pidgeotto seems to be one of the more difficult early game Pokemon. Mm -hmm. um, I would definitely agree with that. Yeah, I find this rival to be one of the harder ones mm -hmm. uh, early on in the game. Maybe not as hard as the rival in Generation 2, but 
definitely up there. Um, yeah, I, I haven't fought him in Generation 2 enough. Like, in Generation 4, I didn't have a lot of problems with okay. it, but I don't have a large kind of, yeah. you know, data set for that. Ooh, excuse me, data set for that either. Having done the, like, entirely one run that I've done on my channel yeah. so far. <laughs> you did... A couple practice you runs, did but... Torterra, was it? Yes. On your channel? Yeah. Yes. Um, so yeah, I it wanna... was really good. I, yeah, it was I good? loved the, the ground typing, yeah. Yeah. Torterra is one of my favorite starter Pokemon. I love it. Its mm -hmm. design is so cool. You played it in Platinum, yes? I played it in Platinum, yep. Yeah. How'd you find it? Uh, it was pretty bad in Platinum, honestly. Uh, <laughs> Candice was, was not fun. That's fair. Uh, I, uh... Yeah, four times weakness to ice, and then really slow. And then I didn't realize that starting, I believe, in Generation 3, when, the, when Hale is on the field... Uh, Blizzard mm -hmm. bypasses accuracy checks, so I was just mm -hmm. waiting for it to miss, but <laughs> it never did. <laughs> so I have an interesting one that might tickle your brain. So you are aware in Generation Four that in the Blizzard, uh, hail or um, in the Hail story, Blizzard cannot miss. I yeah. ran into a thing when I was fighting Red the other day okay. where I was in the Hailstorm, but his Blastoise missed Blizzard, and I did not understand that one. Hmm. So I don't know if it's because it's not like and like it's an overworld hail and not a Maybe. Pokemon move hail. That's the know. only thing I could think of that is like why. I have no it insight would have been to that, goofy. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured with all of your in-depth knowledge into everything. That... No, no, no. My knowledge is very. <laughs> uh, it gets thrown together when I have to start a new series, and then I like. I think I'm doing better at learning new games uh, now on the channel as I use Water Pulse on an Oddish, but I think I am doing better <laughs> at learning games uh, these days when in comparison to what I did before, because before I just kind of sat down and played the game and saw how it <laughs> went, and now I am trying to do a little bit more research into the new games on the channel. And like, like, yes. uh, like just doing this with you is a chance for me to ask a bunch of questions. Also, this mm -hmm. ether over here, by Bill's house, I found yes. from one of your videos. So thank um, you for showing me that that exists. The elixir next to the hiker about 20 paces ago, I know of because of your video, ah, so thank you. Yeah, for yeah, your... yeah. <laughs> that elixir is good. That's a good one. Yeah. I uh, I skipped it this time, but it's uh, it's one that I didn't know about, and I have grabbed many times. Yeah. Uh, Rattata cannot dig, can it? Uh, I do not believe it can dig. Yeah, my HM users, I'm going for... Oh, no, Radata can dig. Oh, it can? Okay, it can. never mind then. Um, are you going to teach Blastoise dig? Mm, probably not. Okay. So um, I decided my... to go for it, and, like, yes. I wonder if that's going to be a problem for, like, for Surge and stuff. So it definitely is going to make Surge easier, but I, I'm... I'm not convinced that it's necessary because I was mm. going through like the old the, my my play experience so far has been with War Turtle and yeah. War Turtle was able to two shot. Generally, Lieutenant Surge is going for double team on the first turn, okay. so you can get away with a two shot usually. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, sometimes you get paralyzed and the battle is over, but <laughs> it's not always the case. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Philip Farrell, fifty euros. Thank you oh, very much. Oh, that's a big one. Nice. Another ha that that's definitely worth a like second, third, fifth, and seventeenth happy birthday for Maria. Holy moly! Thank you so much. <laughs> uh I was testing my technology earlier today, and I went yes. into the uh, the room with uh, what's it called? The I was thought it was the healing bed room, but there was actually just a gentleman there, and he attacked me. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Oh. Oh, do you I, always yes, fight we... the lass on that side of the room to get Brick Break? I do. Should I not? I don't Is know. She... I fight the youngster, <laughs> but maybe that's a Gen 1 thing. Um, Does he have one or two Pokemon? He has one. So maybe I should be fighting him. Yeah, maybe. Does the Jigglypuff person have two? Or is she Jigglypuff? I don't know. Uh, Oh, gosh. She's a Nidoran and a Rattata? Yeah, it's probably faster to go the other way. I think so. Yeah. No. See. See. This. This is why. Yeah. That's why we're doing this. We. We, we got it. We. Oh, we, no. we learn everything. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I got sand attacked right away. I hate this. Oh no. Uh, oh. I kind of tuned okay. out there because I was thinking about the uh, last battle for Brick Break. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, did not realize that I beat the rival. Nice. 
<laughs> I go through it, even with the lowered accuracy. Yeah. Accuracy is not as bad starting in Generation 2 because it's only 25% debuff. Yeah, it's what, 33 in 33 Gen 1? 33 in Gen 1. Gross. Yeah. Um, so yeah, after um, playing a lot of Gen 1, um, a lot of Gen 2, a fair amount of Emerald, uh, and now branching into Fire Red, how would you say that it compares? Like, is, is Emerald kind of like Generation 1 plus Emerald equals Fire Red Leaf Green, or is it uh, kind of its own monster? Uh, it does feel like its own monster. I think it feels to me more similar to Gen 1 um, than it does to Emerald. Mm -hmm. But that just might be me. Like, it, it always feels to me that... Oh my gosh, there's a lot happening in chat and I have to get ready for this surge fight. It's okay, oh, my I brain. Uh, I, to me, it feels like uh, Emerald is like, like a more difficult game from an mm. execution perspective to get through. Although, uh, and then Fire Red also feels f much faster. Like, doing an Emerald run is going to be like, usually I budget two to three hours to do the playthrough. Sometimes mm -hmm. more if I expect the Pokemon is, is, is not very good. Right. Uh, whereas, like, in Gen 1, like, Gen 1 videos, I usually budget an hour and a half maximum if the Pokemon is yeah. absolutely awful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like branching, especially branching into a new game, like you, you definitely just have to give yourself like all of the extra time. Uh, like my Soul Silver runs right now, my my Torterra was, I don't want to spoil anything, but you know, like it's it's the grass type. It's going to struggle a little bit more in Johto, mm -hmm. and uh, that one was three hours and eleven minutes. Yeah, so I did not heal poop. Um, uh, it's going to be fine. For saying that, I'm going to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the benefit your, um, to being slightly behind. Your wrapping lass is a uh, picnicker. She's not very good though in, in Fire Red and Leaf Green. That's like like yep. a lot of the random NPCs got major, I would say, debuffs going from Gen One mm -hmm. into Gen Three. Uh, so like I don't I, I don't find that in Fire Red and Leaf Green many of the random trainers you encounter in the region are particularly intimidating, with the exception mm -hmm. of Warren. Uh, Warren is a nightmare. Uh, the cool trainer in the, Giovanni's Yeah, the gym? first guy. He's got five <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> it's like, yeah, sometimes it. he's harder than Giovanni. Also, Philip, oh, thank yeah. you for the 30 euros. And uh, before that, there was 10 gifted memberships. I appreciate it. Yes, and Chris Gwynn on my side uh, with another 20 gifted no. memberships. Thank you so much. Um, items right before Rock Tunnel. Are you aware of the Citrus Berry and Rare Candy? Not right the before Citrus the Berry. Or not citrus berry, sorry, cherry berry. Oh, I never seen that one. Okay, I, I just got it now. Cool. Uh, just watching your side. Yeah, uh, and that's a that's a portion? that's a yeah. good one because like I just used like surge got the most unfortunate paralysis with static. I knocked the Raichu yep. out, and that's what burnt my berry. Yep. It's like <laughs> it's uh, such a pain. <laughs> like I wanted that for later on, like the Gyarados uh, in the league, like you were saying. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, also in Rock Tunnel, Picnicker Martha here. Martha. Uh, absolutely <laughs> hate her. <laughs> uh, yeah, Martha, the status condition junior trainer. Yeah, she just put me to sleep. Yeah, and she likes I doing that. <laughs> there we I go. thought Blastoise would learn uh, rock, uh, rock Slide, honestly, when I sat down to I, do this one. I was like, I was surprised thought. that he doesn't, yeah. 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 Um, okay. Why would you? Why did you say that name? <laughs> oh, that movie. Yep. Gotta love it. <laughs> Sorry, DC. I know that's You're a, too easy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, you were gonna say? Uh, I was gonna ask about mid game stuff. What's what's your like general ordering for the mid game? Uh, again, depends on what I'm running. So generally, I am going straight. Uh, sorry, movement. Um, I'm going straight to get um, return is usually my first stop unless okay. for whatever reason I decide I'm not going to use it. Yep. Um, and then I pick up fly. I pick up the T, pick up fly. Okay. And then after, oh God, where am I in this cave right now? Okay. Do you do <laughs> like talking? <laughs> yeah. Do you go to Pokemon Tower next or prioritize Erica? So I prioritize the rocket hideout, oh, right, and if yeah. I'm running somebody that is 
I feel is capable of doing it, then I will go after Erica. If not, I will go straight after Rival 4 in Pokemon Tower. Um, mm. From there, I always lead directly into Sylph and go after Rival 5, and that kind of determines whether I finish Rival 5, go Sabrina, Koga, Blaine, Giovanni, mm. me now using water pulses against Oddish. <laughs> um, and yes. if Rival 5 goes poorly then i pivot and go for koga and yeah it just kind of things evolve from there yeah do you teach return as soon as you pick it up or do you tend to wait until later it again depends on the runner so okay. um typically if i if i see something like sword stance or something later in the game i will hold off just because return is such a useful move yeah i should definitely have healed my paralysis off whoops um but beyond that, um, like I've, I've found generally, I mean, uh, running with the backported legendaries last uh, week with Speedrunner, I, we started with like zero friendship, I think, yeah, so it would you, not have worked. You did but... Zekrom and Rushram, right? Yes, yeah. Nice. Um, thank you again for Speedrunner for that run, as well as Axew for the backports. That was a really fun one but... to watch. It was a ton of fun. Yeah. Um, but we were starting with zero friendship. And what I was getting to is that, uh, you know, returns power is based on friendship. And generally, um, by the time a solo runner is hitting uh, this stage in the game, their friendship is high enough that return is dealing more damage overall. Um, so if I am going to teach return in a run, I will typically teach it right away. If not, I will save it later if I have sword okay. sense or something. It's such a, a just uh, wind me up and watch me go. Goodness. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, I like, I appreciate the in-depth, uh, the in-depth answers. And also if you're here on my channel, you probably do too, because I did just release like an almost three hour video on electric Pokemon. Uh, I think I'm like 20 minutes through it right now. I'm, I'm working yeah, on it. Yeah, you gotta like, you gotta take a couple days, you know, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. work up to getting through the first act. I'm I'm surprised that like I'm as conscious and aware as I am because generally your voice is lulling me to sleep at night. Yeah. <laughs> Not in a weird way, of course. I've heard that this is uh, a benefit of my voice. Yes. <laughs> um. Okay. I, a question: Because Blastoise can learn uh, Ice Beam, so I assume yes. that at some point you intend to teach it Ice Beam. Yes. Do you prioritize? getting the money for the coins early on or are you just going to kind of teach it when you can uh again it depends on the runner for blastoise specifically because uh you're gonna find out that rival five is not your friend i already know um, that <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> all right you're gonna have the point reinforced to you that rival five is not your friend yeah i'm terrified of him um Oops. and so when i was running this excuse me as um just as a solo run, I ended up having to hold off to beat him until I got Ice Beam. So, again, if I if I need it to beat the gym challenge, I will pursue it right away. If not, I will typically go right. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll go. I'll I'll, I'll prioritize vitamins. Excuse me first. Okay. Um, because then, um, especially Blaine's gym is exceedingly good for cash if you're low on cash. It has great speed EVs available in it as well, but uh, the cash is the part that uh, I find I use J Blaine's gym for as uh, speed mm. EVs and cash. Okay, um, that's I, to kind I of recover and prep for the league. Yeah, I never thought about using Blaine's gym for cash. That's smart. It's um him in the uh, the mansion as well. There's a, a series of like the burglars. They give like three k a piece. Oh, um, yeah. burglars! Yeah, another yeah. one I didn't think about. Yeah, they're uh, if if you're tight on cash, and it, it's rare that I'm defeating things in Pokemon Mansion. Like there's there's a lot of little nuanced things that I'm still trying to figure out and plan around, but. Uh, okay. That's kind of the rough idea as it stands. <laughs> and do you, have you already, uh, if you have, uh, purchased the Mystic Water? Um, I have not. Oh, I just, oh my gosh. I just teleported out of Sylph Co. Know, or um, the Rocket know. Hideout without the Sylph Scope. What am I doing? <laughs> so that thing you said about like talking and play. It's hard. <laughs> It's so hard. As you'd think that, like, with how much I've played Fire Red, I'd have a little bit more muscle mu muscle memory going for me. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm failing pretty good. Uh, it's it's really hard, especially when you're trying to like communicate ideas, uh, like important ideas. I find mm -hmm. it really challenging. 
Um, so somebody in my chat is asking about the Versus Seeker, which I know that you oh, had yes, asked I had about questions as about this. well earlier. Um, so the Versus Seeker is something that I have been more aware of lately. Um, I can't see myself using it a ton unless I need specific EVs for a Pokemon. So, um, like, generally I'm racing for, or I'm aiming for the fastest completion time possible in my runs. Yeah. And, oh, shoot, I should not have... Please? Thank you. Um, Ivysaur, questions. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, no idea what I was just saying. Versus Seeker. Yeah. Uh, the only time that I have used the Versus Seeker has been in the post game to defeat the two cool trainers on Seven Island. Mm. Uh, otherwise, I've I've tried using it well, at the top well, of Cycling Road, okay. but it just it always feels lackluster. I'm I'm gonna stop you right there because you said something yes. that went right over my head. The two cool trainers on Seven Island. Post who game. are these people? <laughs> Why are they relevant? Why the versus seeker to battle them? Um, so these two cool trainers on Seven Island just happen to be hanging out next to a house that you can do the cha the Chansey dance in. The, uh, the Chansey dance. dance will it'll it'll just there's also well I think it's a lucky no it's not the lucky egg I think it's the lucky punch that's sitting on the desk in that place not relevant unless you're running Chansey but um, oh my gosh you can do the Chansey the the Chansey dance with the dude in there the and it gives dance. you a is this yeah. a, this is a real thing. <laughs> This is legitimate, yeah. This is in the game. We can go there. Oh, I love that. Okay, we might have to do this in the post game. I, this is yeah. great. Not like yeah, I mean, after absolutely. we beat the second league, but <laughs> maybe, oh gosh, maybe. we might have to go grind them. But <laughs> no way. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah. you fight them with the versus secret, and they give good experience, or they have they have teams of five trainers, and they're like in. Oh. I think they're in like the mid early fifties. They give like they give pretty good experience, and by that time, you're not really cool. worried about EVs. Um, and you've got a free heal that's like right there. So it just, it always feels to me like a really good grinding spot. But if the Pokemon is capable of smashing through, say, Lorelei, Bruno, and Agatha with no problem, then they're the faster ones to grind yeah. against. Yeah. So it's, it, again, it's just, the Versus Seeker is one that I, I want to use more mm -hmm. and find more uses for. Like, um, yeah. If if I find a run where I absolutely need special attack EVs, the Versus Seeker is coming with me just outside of Vermilion. We're farming Magnetons kind of oh, thing. Oh, okay, but yeah. I just have not found a run that requires Magnetons. that. But Oh, Magnetons. That's the guy with the two Magnemites and one Magneton? Yes, and uh, in his rematch, you can get him with... Uh, oh, terrifying. Uh, sorry, in, in his rematch, he has Magnetons, oh. which give... Uh, I think he has three Magnetons, which give... Two special attack EVs each. Oh, so. I see. To so, like, you fight the Magnetons and then you get better special or better better EVs. That's something Correct. I never think about in my runs. Do you think about EVs a lot, or is it more just like when it is convenient, then you'll go uh, for them? Both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So special attackers are definitely the ones that got the worst deal in this game, I feel. Uh, mm -hmm. Physical attackers and physical defense, especially, are so prevalent in the region, whereas special attack EVs are more rare and special defense EVs are, like, impossible yeah. to find. Because <laughs> I know speed EVs, like, it feels like you come by them very easily yes, early on, I... which is another reason why, like, a lowering speed nature is a decent idea. Yeah, I... I want to say that, like, again, I, I don't, because I, I'm so often not paying much attention to my speed stat, I want to say that my, if I were to not focus on any speed at all and just kind of play the game, mandatory trainers-ish for spinners mm -hmm. <laughs> only, um, I would generally have, like, 80 to 90 EVs in speed, so, like, there are a fair amount of them available okay. throughout the game. Yeah, interesting. <clears throat> Tentacles give special defense? Yes, but uh, how many trainers that are on the beaten path actually have tentacles? So, did you go to Sylph first before Safari Zone and everything else? I did. Interesting. Um, the, reason, the reason for this is because I like to go for my vitamins. Um, okay. And try to get the vitamins because the vitamins cap out at 100 EVs, yes. whereas the maximum, as you know, is 255 or yep. 252 optimally. Um, I appreciate the as so you I, know in that sentence. But... Yes, I, I know you <laughs> know not, this. But not for always the, viewers, the case. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, is, this is one that I've heard you talk about, I'm, I'm pretty sure. 
<laughs> yeah, then if I've talked about it, then, I, then I, I've known at some point. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um, but yes, I, I wanted to, like for this run with Blastoise, just because I do have that little bit of experience, I collected the items, which I'm actually going to keep and sell once I get to Fuchsia. Mm. Um, because oh, then when I, I loop see. back to Celadon, I can spend the 80k and get Ice Beam, beat Erica, back to Rival 5. That's smart. That's, that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was roughly the thinking anyway. Yeah. But again, I've played this run before, so I definitely have the advantage in that regard. Well, yeah, I, I did like, uh, I did the Squirtle, started as Squirtle, but it was a long time ago. Yes, and I did the Blastoise like two weeks ago, so. Oh, okay, yeah, so you're, you're a little little bit more recent. A little fresher in my mind, yeah. Oh, gosh. There we go. There's there's that place at the bottom of Cycling Road that we talked about. <laughs> yeah, 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 that, the, I know, the door. I'm the worst. playing like a Muppet right now, but it's fine. <laughs> that's okay um so let's see yes we kind of touched on uh Oops. earthquake against agatha but how is the adjustment for koga been as well with all of the wheezings and coughings uh i find koga significantly easier in fire red and leaf green when compared with a okay. game like yellow uh i th i think the reason is mostly just like i have access to substitute it really mm -hmm. helps dodging uh poison and toxic and smoke screens Yes, definitely. Um, it's not helping right now because the wheezing got really set up, but or the muck got really set up. But mm -hmm. uh, in general, I, I find him easier in these games than he is. Oh no, it's got levitate. He's easier in this game than he is in yellow, at least because in yellow he has a lot of psychic users. That's my first reset, Koga. Yeah, and he's what? Is he pure fifty? No, he's like forty. He's like forty four, and a Venomoth. forty-four, forty. Six and forty-eight venomoths, and then fifty oh, venomoths. Yeah, right. It, it was the fifty venomoth that I was remembering. Yeah, it's just terrifying, and it has psychic and double team as <clears> well, <throat> so it can like do so many things to ruin your day, just make you have a bad time. Yeah, yeah. So I think like this this version of Koga always has felt just a little bit uh, more lackluster. It, yeah. It's nice that yeah, some fair. of his poison users have levitate three of them in this case. So, like, again, dig feels less impactful than it is in gener Generation 1. Like, when you get dig just, in Generation 1, it immediately feels like, oh, this is a great move, and you just spam it on mm -hmm. a whole bunch of things. But in Gen yeah. 3, that doesn't really feel like that happens. No, I no. And I was going to say, I completely disagree. All I want is to dig coughing, dig earth, or dig... um wheezing yeah. i wasn't watching are you aware of the little shortcut in fire red for the gym for koga's gym oh what was that i was not aware that? of that i did see that that was very yeah. cool oh i'm just gonna reset yeah um i checked it it does not exist in any other game that i've played so far but it's in this one so yeah yeah, yeah. okay uh here's a question where are all the vitamins in sylph oh gosh uh <laughs> Because I know there's the Carbos up on floor 10 with the guy with Machoke. That's where I'm going first. Um, It's okay if you don't have them memorized. I also realize you probably I, need to see the screen to like know where they are, but... I know where to get them. I just don't know how to tell you yeah, and like where they are specifically. It's pretty fair. Um, okay, so on this floor you have... Oh gosh. Um so in the little room. No. Yeah, they're up there. I gotta get the yeah, key. Yeah. Oh, you don't have the key yet, not, okay. Not yet. Um Oh, why am I still going for water pulse? Oh my gosh. Yes, sir. Oh, I didn't teach Seraph. Oh my gosh. I'm just playing like an idiot. Holy moly. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Yep. <laughs> how many how many vitamins are there in here, I guess I should ask. Um top of my head, I don't know. Uh there should be Gosh. I'm trying to remember what I typically have to sell at the end of that. So typically, I think, including the rocket hideout, I'll have three calciums, two carbos, two protein, one HP up? Er, I can't remember. It's been so long since I've done a full collection in Sylph. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I also know that yeah, there's, it's... uh, what's it called in there? Um... Gosh, what is it? A bulk up. I forgot that. Everyone's TM08. Really, really happy about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where am I going now? I have... Don't have enough money. Feed. Okay, yeah. Very sad. Oh, I'm 42. I can probably win with 
just secret power. Doo, 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 doo. Um, let's see. Oh movement, my gosh, movement. this is the Celadon theme playing right now. The Celadon theme is so good. I love the Celadon theme. Yeah. It's so good. I just had this battle route, music. This route, the water route that you're on, that's got to be one yes. of the most frustrating places to to navigate through the overworld in Fire Red. Did, did you see my path? You went like right down the center? Pretty much. Uh, so if you go straight from when you, uh, if you saw how I kind of embarked, like I, I hopped on to the water from the right side. Okay. Um, if you embar embark from there, once you get low enough, go two tiles to the right and you can pretty much shoot down. Okay. And because you have anti-spinner technology, you oh. should be able just to shoot down consequence free. Dodge everyone, sweet. Yeah. Oh no. Should be. Well, this is gonna go badly. Did I save? Did I save? There we go. Did I uh, save? Yes, by the way, chat, I do apologize. I have uh, not been paying the most attention to you. We have a lot going on. And uh, this is my idol, guys. I'm, t I'm paying attention to Scott. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's good. I'm having a great time. How are yeah, you doing? Yeah, this is, this is great. Uh, I'm terrified right now. I, I don't know if I saved. Did I save? I... Everyone, did I save? I think I saved. Paralyzed. You're almost in... Oh, the crit. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think doing this fight this early is a good idea. Uh, yeah, so... I think what my you experience... did going to Cinnabar Island is a lot smarter. Yeah, and uh, the only reason I did this is because I've played this run before and so recently that I, I I just I knew just to come yeah. here I, I know that Blastoise needs a little grinding so I might as well just pick some up here get my money get my ice beam um, again second playthrough knowledge coming in but uh, mm -hmm. the reason why I decided to go for Blaine first uh, even though I, I do have enough money uh, regardless for the TM alone right now I'm pretty sure uh, after I sell everything. But uh, the reason I went to Blaine first is so that I can also pick up the Mystic Water and hopefully do it all in one trip Wait, where's on the, the way water? to Erica. Oh, uh, I see what you're saying. Corner. Like you yes. get both the Mystic Water. That makes a ton of sense. Yeah. Yeah. So instead of saving for 80K, I'm yeah, saving yeah. for 100K. Got it. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Because, I mean, Surf is our bread and butter for the league. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, and combining those two actions into one is really, really, really smart trying to anyway I, I i have been known to be a bit of an egghead yeah. oh Rachel, you made it hello no there's one person that can catch you going south i did i not restore my i didn't whoops i guess we're just doing blaine with water pulse because blastoise doesn't need anything else oh i should have used rain dance oh well and i got paralyzed we're doing great did you you took rain dance on your set i did i okay. overwrote bite which i'm regretting which because uh, I did not want to mm. overwrite bite, but uh, it's fine. We'll be fine. Oh, you're still fine. running mega <laughs> kick. That's interesting. No, I don't want to be. <laughs> okay, it's just there. Yeah, that's fair. Please excuse me as I wipe to Blaine with my water starter, who's capable of one shotting his entire team. Oh, let's use that ether. You can just there say it's go. yellow version because I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's challenging in that he's, game. He's not using nearly enough super potions. Why is Brock's uh, badge not lit up? Because I blue, can't yeah. see half my overlay, sorry. <laughs> I've got like eight extra windows than I would normally I have know. during a stream. Yeah, because, it's very uh, overwhelming visually behind the yeah. scenes. <laughs> it's like all the chats. Yep. Um, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions about uh, your like content creation. Uh, and, and also I wanted to talk about that one question that you asked yesterday i thought this was like yes. one of the best questions i've ever heard so i'm going to steal it right now yeah um you asked the question and i'm going to ask it back to you but like what problem have you had in the past and then like how did you like solve it within like the scope of content creation and then like what new problem are you now experiencing oh boy um So I think the best way that I could answer this question is like just the biggest cop-out answer ever because absolutely everything has been a struggle um, <laughs> at one point. Like, yeah. like um, we were talking yesterday and uh, like Scott just like the best compliment ever um, was saying how like his first impression of me 
and my content was that I just came out of the gates like absolutely gangbuster, knew what I was doing right but, off the bat, et cetera, et cetera. It was, it was amazing, right? This is what it felt like. And from my perspective behind the scenes, like I didn't have a clue, right? Like all mm -hmm. of my work experience, everything, it's all trades, like YouTube, the computer, all of this is a hobby and nothing more. It has never been a profession. And um, as I progressed through life, you know, like just many great experiences, many great jobs, lots of like physical hands-on knowledge, incredible resume, honestly, not to toot yeah, my own yeah. horn or anything, but uh, I was miserable all the mm. time. Like I just, it just doing this and getting into creating this content, even having, um, if I did have to work a second job on the sa side or a job, I should say on the side, which is a reality very quickly here, just given the state of the world, but neither here nor there. Um, mm -hmm. it just, uh, it, it just provided that creative outlet. And, um, I don't know. I, I think it just, it's changed so much in my life, like the community, um, everything. Like I just, I, I can't, I, I feel like I'm losing the, the beat a little bit, but it's, uh, it's just been such an incredibly ex experience overall, but I have, and am still learning to this day, everything as I go. <laughs> yeah. That, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I feel yeah. similarly. It, it just feels like everything is, it feels like you're constantly moving uphill. Yes. Yeah. Everything is and I, like I, there was this. So I played a lot of Starcraft, Starcraft Two, on ladder, <gasps> and oh, are you sorry. okay? I died. You died. Oh no! To, just if you see my stream, you'll see. Yeah, it. yeah, awful. I saw. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Venusaur. This is this is why I do save often because yeah. there are the sleep, the paralysis, the confusion, they'll get you. Anyway, I cut you off. I apologize. Um, the I was just saying, like, I played a lot of StarCraft 2, and the ladder system is basically engineered so that um, you're always winning about 50% of your games. So no matter mm. how you, if you get better or you stay the same, you, you're still going to be feeling the same about your gameplay because you're still, you still will be winning the same percentage of games. So if you get really good then you just keep having the same behind the scenes experience of just like, okay, I lose five out of 10 games and, and that's how it goes. Unless you mm -hmm. become one of the best in the world and then your win rate will go above that. Uh, oh. Oh. I'm watching. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> ah, the wheezing self Oh, the self-destruct and the crit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> beautiful uh, it's kind of ridiculous um so i i think like uh content creation feels kind of similarly like behind the scenes there there always feels like there's some kind of fire that you have to put out that is on the road to like making the thing come to life that you want that you, you're envisioning and so it always feels like there is there's a lack of polish and a lack of features mm -hmm. something like that so yeah yeah well, and it's definitely like uh, I was kind of mentioning earlier about uh, my overlay and just uh, how one of the videos that I've been wanting to come up with or uh, come out with in the next couple of weeks is a re-rank of Tauros because Tauros was, um, when was that? The 25th was my first video ever. So I think Tauros was This was the, the 25th fourth. last year, right? 25th, 25th of, of last year. March, okay. Correct. What am I doing? I don't need to go here. Um... Yes. Um, so I was wanting to re-rank Tauros and uh, just looking at, um, like speaking of things behind the scenes, like looking at my overlay from a year ago versus the Tauros overlay that I just developed. Oh, gosh. And like, it's not that the old one is bad. It's just, it's very, I messed up, went to the wrong city. Let's just shop here. <laughs> it's very much just simple. And like, you can tell that things just get refined over time. And that's honestly like, for anybody looking to start content creation, like that, I think I've heard you, Scott, uh, speak to this as well, that like one of the most important things to do is just start creating. Yeah, just make like, stuff. It's gonna suck. My yeah. my first three videos I knew were just gonna be like essentially throwaway videos. Yeah. Like they're just practice. Practice to make me better, maybe get my name out there, but that yeah. that's it. Just practice, practice, practice. <laughs> yeah, I think it's actually healthy to assume that what you're gonna make is, is gonna be really bad. Because yeah. if you're assuming it's gonna be bad, and then it, it surpasses expectations, you get excited and you build momentum. 
And if it is bad, then you're like, yep, what I expected, I'll just keep going. Like, it's it's okay. I haven't mm -hmm. lost anything. But if you have that feeling like, oh, what I'm going to make is going to be is going to be good, then there's the potential to disappoint yourself. And I think that potential is very high because content creation, there's a lot going on. Um, yes. It's really hard to just pick up and, and start. Yes. Well, and even, even this morning, um, I was setting up for the run, uh, went to sit down, started working, and instantly I was distracted by, like, <laughs> one of the 700 other things that we've got going on at all times. Yeah. <laughs> like, just randomly started working on Discord things, which, by the way, to my audience... Um, Many, many thanks to Lucy. I have seen you in the chat, or you'll see her as Firefly in Discord. We do have an exceptional Discord. Link is in the description and on the channel main page. Um, it is live. It is being built. Many, many thanks to Lucy. Um, nice. But it is there for you. So if you want to come join the Discord, be my guest. <clears throat> Just thought I'd throw that out there. It's been, uh, I think I promised that like three months ago and nothing happened. So uh, here it is. <laughs> Uh, that that that's like something that's been very hard for me to learn is not to promise stuff because yeah. I really like to I get super excited about like a video idea or about a certain race that I'm going to do I get really mm -hmm. excited and then as soon as I get excited I start talking about it and then it's like four months go by and people are like wait where's the video like you said you were going to make this thing and you haven't <laughs> made it yet like yeah I know I'm sorry it, it's, it takes longer I... to execute on ideas than it than having the ideas yeah, for sure. I think it was the case with both of us that we ended up uploading uh, our Parasect videos several months late. <laughs> yeah, several months. Mine was like 12, but yeah. <laughs> painful. Very. I just had, that a, run. I had it hanging over my head the entire time, like just knowing that I have to do it. I feel the same. Yep. And it's just like, like all my streams, everything, my chat, everybody just wanted to see like, give us Parasect, give us Parasect. No. No. <laughs> I don't want to. It's awful. Yeah. It's not ready. Yeah. Yeah. But it was good. I'll, it was a. Do you ever run. find when you wait for a long time on a video like that, that then when you actually do release it, you end up slightly disappointed in it just because. Um, like you took too long to finish it essentially. Mm -hmm. Did you I ever think find for that? me, it was less a fact when is the Parasite video? It's out. Go find it. You know where it is. <laughs> 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 um, for me, I'd say that, like, sorry, repeat the question. Uh, I'm just like wondering if, like, when you delay a release significantly, do you end up yes. finding that you're disappointed in the results because, um, like, it's almost like everything that you put into the video becomes really stale. Um, I would say less so for that for me. And, oh, I didn't mean to use my citrus there. Um, and more so, it was, it was for the Parasite video particularly, because I've, I've only had the one project that really pushed out like that for, for myself. Yeah. Can I hit my state? Yeah. Um, and so... What I was disappointed in is the fact that it, there was so much time that went that passed between my playthroughs and kind of the editing experience and just that fresh experience in general. Um, that by the time I was playing for the video, I was so rusty out of practice and my second like quote unquote optimized playthrough ended up being slower than my initial playthrough through a lot of the splits, which was mm. super disappointing to me. Um, yeah. It ended up being faster overall because of the route planning, but uh, it was slower up to that point. And I just, I don't feel good about the run, but also I don't want to go back and do it again. <laughs> would you say like, would you say the Parasect video then is the one that you're most disappointed with on your channel? Most disappointed with, I would say so. Yeah, do you yeah. have a do you have a video that haunts you? Probably. Okay, so the video that I wouldn't say haunt so much as I, I, I see you're fighting I would a ghost type right now. So just yeah. <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. You'd be haunted. Yeah, exactly. Um, it was. Uh, oh gosh, I'm. T yeah. What am I talking? What am I talking about? I don't have a Erica badge yet. Let's go get that. Let's um, do that. Gosh, what was I just talking about? We, I was we, we knew this was going to happen. Like, yeah, yeah, I know. It's like At least one of us is going to lose our train of thought like once. 
six or uh, seven six times. or seven times more like it. <laughs> uh, I, I asked the question: Is there a video like on your channel that haunts yes, you? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. Uh, the haunts you, haunting me. Um, there, I so I really tried to like every single video. I look at all of the failures that I have within it, and all of the comments uh, pointing out my failures. And uh, mm -hmm. like, trust me, like I'm I'm happy to receive the the feedback. Like. Uh, that short, oh, shoot, I didn't mean to fight her. Um, that shortcut and fight in, uh, Koga's gym and everything, like so many things I would not know about. Yeah. If, uh, if it weren't for the, for the comment section. Um, yeah, comments are amazing. They're a great learning tool. Absolutely. I mm -hmm. absolutely love them. And just the community that we've built, obviously, for both of us. <laughs> yeah. For both of ourselves. But, um, sorry. Uh, okay. Eric have defeated. I'm heading to Giovanni next, just sorting the brain out. Um, <laughs> the video, though, that I would say, like, I wouldn't say that it haunts me more than it was just kind of um, a big letdown was my three-way verses with the legendary dogs. Because um, mm. up to that point, my three-way verses videos had just done incredibly well. Like, they're incredibly high effort, high time investment, all of that. But like I yeah. felt that the video was pretty solid overall, but it did not perform anywhere near what I was hoping it to. Like, oh, like, no. like a quarter of the views kind of thing right. that I was hoping for, which is just the reality. I mean, that's just yeah. something you got to live with. But um, it was still super disappointing, and I, and I think about it a lot, and just like I wonder if that video is ever, you know, like the essentially. I think I ended up putting around, gosh. It was it was over eighty hours for sure into that project, and uh, wow, yeah, that's a lot of hours. Just to have it, you know, yeah. When something like that fizzles, it, it never feels fairly good. Fairly better video, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah but the, I wouldn't say that it haunts me so much. Is that like okay. that? That's kind of the one that I see as like my my there big was, disappointment. Yeah, there was an expectation, and it didn't live up to that. Yeah, and uh, I tried di dissecting it all in my, like, trying to figure out why exactly it happened that way. And I, I kind of, the way I wrapped it up to, or what I chalked it up to, is just the fact that I, at the time, and am still, uh, like, so much of a smaller YouTube channel. And mm -hmm. so many bigger channels, like yourself, were doing Daily December. And so my content was just getting overshadowed, right? Like, yeah, that, that might when be there's it. so much December content, like, people only have so many hours in a day, right? Yeah, <laughs> they have to choose what they're going to watch, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And hey, like I, I, I don't, like I'm not upset about it. Like it's, it's, it's fine. It's just it's a learning experience, right? Like yes. you take, you take every perceived, every perceived failure is only a failure if you don't learn something from it. Oh, those are inspirational words right now. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> hey, you're ahead of me right now. I so. am. <laughs> I, I'm, uh, I'm amazed. What is this? Oh, the useless berry. Oh, there's an ether there? I didn't know that. No, it's a spear berry. Oh, the ass pear berry. That's what I call uh, it. Yeah, it's bad. I know. <laughs> Worst berry in the game. I didn't get strength. So I'm not ahead of you. Did I get strength? Um, did I get strength? I don't think I got strength. I did get strength. I did not get the rare candy that's sitting there. <laughs> I might have to backtrack just for that rare candy. I think Blastoise does need it. Yeah. Ooh, that was a close rival six. I take the chance. I love it how, like, you can definitely tell how both of us are just so, like, like accustomed to running this game, where it's like, the gym challenge, ah, whatever, we're talking, blah, blah, I know. blah, blah, okay, it's the leagues, shut up. Yeah, the, the league is definitely, <laughs> the league is, I, I think in this run, it seems to me like Lorelai and the champion are two of the hardest trainers in the run. Yeah, uh, depending on the runner, I'd, I'd, I'd add Lance in there. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, I think fire... this this one specifically. Mm -hmm. I think oh, and this Lance one specifically, good, yeah. yeah, yeah. Lance is much less troublesome in round one than uh, Lorelai. Um, but yes, strength on Lapras because I did not forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, see now we're pushing not... borders around together, right? Yeah. I was going to say, I'm not above going na 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 na, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's see. I know I've got, like, um, part of the reason why I can't see half of my own stream and everything right now is because I've got a series of questions for Scott, and I feel like I've asked oh. approximately one of them. 
It's okay. It, it's hard to multitask. Multitasking is it's a challenge. <laughs> And I think it's a, it's been a common theme on my streams that every single time somebody is saying Egg needs to learn how to multitask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it's probably not going to happen. It's just going to be chaos. I'm, I, I write things down. I do what I can, but this, this brain okay. of mine, it's it's a superpower and it comes at a curse. Hey, or I, at a cost. I, have a, I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, in comparison to the first attempt at the league how much more difficult would you say on average the second league attempt is again it's like i feel like i just keep giving this for every single uh question but it depends on the pokemon like um okay. i find that boosting moves um like a lot of the gen 2 and gen 3 starters they and yeah. uh they got swords dance okay. in round two which uh oh wait no i that would really help uh, my blastoise sorry i stop and think no, I do want to train a bit in Victory Road. Um, just remembering my own route. It's okay. Yeah. No, I want items first. Oh, gosh. Anyway. Um, oh. But I would say in general, um, the round two is more challenging, um, especially for fire, electric, and poison Pokemon. Anybody that has problems with Earthquake, especially like massive amounts of Earthquake. <laughs> Uh, is going to struggle way more in round two than they do in round okay. one. Yeah, because like a bunch of Pokemon get Earthquake. D does Bruno's, uh, his Steelix have Earthquake? Both have, Both earthquake. have Earthquake. His Machamp okay. has Earthquake. His Hitmonlee has Earthquake. His Hitmonchan Ooh. is the only one without Earthquake. <laughs> oh my gosh. I should not be fighting this guy. Whoops. Yeah, I got in a bad... F I fought the same guy. <laughs> it did not go well. <laughs> <laughs> I was using Surf against the Water Absorb Poliwhirl, which is really great. I may have, like, remembered the fact that this thing has Water Absorb as you were telling me. Oh, I'm out of Ice Beam PP. Oh, no. I can't do anything. Did um, you have Surf? Well, let's just reset. He's, he's Water Absorb. Oh. Oh, Isn't yeah. He? The Poliwhirl? Yeah. Um, yeah, the Poliwhirl. Speaking of return, because I'm a Muppet and taught it over... Or I just got rid of my bite and my coverage. I'm just teaching return now over water pulse because I don't need surf and water pulse. <laughs> there go the candies. I know that flash. Yeah. I figured <laughs> now is the time. But yeah. I don't know. What are you going for? Uh, Lorelei and I went 10 candies to 65. Ooh. All right. I'm so, here for it. I'm here yeah, for it. Yeah. Are you going to go in at a lower level or... Um, I can't remember exactly what I had planned for my original run, but uh, I want to say Lorelei was around 65. I want to say that that's okay. correct. Yeah, let's actually, uh, I think this would be interesting for people to hear uh, because not everyone has the behind the scenes like perspective and I struggle to sometimes articulate it in my own uh, videos. Mm -hmm. But remembering the exact strategy that is used with every single Pokemon becomes incredibly hard. Do you find that to be true? Mm-hmm. Because Remem when you're doing so many, they just start to blend together. Yep. Yep. Um, trying to remember Blastoise, who I did a solo run on and, like, I devoted a week of my time to, like, two, three weeks ago. I had to go and remind myself what the heck I did with Blastoise because I couldn't remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, like, it's it's... Like Scott said, like there's a lot going on <laughs> pretty much all the time. Yeah, because like that's another thing where like um, <clears throat> like I really notice that when I'm doing like scripting and I'm doing the voiceover, that sort of thing, that I'm not necessarily like I'm really focused on the task, the creative task that I'm trying to solve, not mm -hmm. always focused on uh, another portion of the task, like making sure the graphics are correct on screen or something like that. And then mm -hmm. mistakes will slip into the video because excuse me, because of that. Yes, um, I, I get the same thing. Yep. Yeah. Especially on move sets, things like that. Yeah. Or um, I don't know how often you get caught by this. I mean, what am I doing here? Um, how about how often you get caught by this, but uh, generational changes. So like, uh, I think it's like Butterfree's special attack changes between generation. Yeah, there are some, there are some that change. Like that. Yeah, yeah, I don't know which ones they are, but like I can't yeah. remember, but. 
But yeah, in a video where you're, you say like, oh, hey, I'm getting, you know, Butterfree with 90 base special attack, but it's actually like, oh, actually in this generation it had 80 special attack. Yeah. Oh, my or how God. it's worded on Bulbapedia, <laughs> where like, mm. usually anything that's established in former generations holds true throughout the whole article. So like, mm -hmm. you'll read like the generation four entry for a move and then miss something that was added in gen three since generation two and one so you have to like kind of sequentially read everything to get the full perspective on the move yeah yeah i want to make like a series of graphics that illustrate how moves sort of evolved over the over the generations because that'd be I, really cool i think there needs like i need to find a way to visually communicate quicker about moves mm -hmm. yeah that's definitely something that i uh was um a learning experience for me especially coming in uh, just a content creation as in general is just mm -hmm. kind of being able to highlight like we were talking about earlier kind of like where we want people's eyes to go on screen and yeah. it's actually a pretty tricky thing to do or like i think uh like one thing that pops to my mind is uh, my cacturn video forever ago like I, I made a joke at one point and i i stuck some of the like thug life sunglasses on him yeah um because it was so <laughs> subtle, I think all of, like, one person noticed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And so, like, that's that's something that, yeah, like, you can definitely... And that's so minor when you're talking about, like, oh, like, at level, you know, we learned TM26 Earthquake, and then you highlight that on the stream, right? Like, yeah. the little little details like that, like, yeah. they make a difference. And it's it's you kind of don't realize how much of a difference until you really implement the changes and go, wow. <laughs> yeah. I also had the piece of feedback once that like when I was doing the like highlighting of the moves and like fading the screen to a darker color, they're like, um, I, I feel like my monitor is broken and <laughs> adjusting oh. the uh, the brightness when it shouldn't be. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. So maybe I should put an arrow at the same time that I do this edit. <laughs> yeah. But then it kind of becomes like, yes. you don't want to make it overt. Like you don't want to just be like, hey, dummy, look at this side of the screen. Like, you, Yeah, like, there's yeah. a certain amount of like, <laughs> Uh, how much do you like guide a viewer through something Hand, or how hold, much, I guess. yeah, how much do you yeah. then just like let them figure it out? Mm -hmm. Like I, uh, that's always a debate that I have where it, it's kind of like we're making a TV show that airs week to week, but at the same time, like you can't explain who the character is at the beginning of every episode. That's going to be really boring, but yeah, you also do eventually need to like, get new viewers in somehow so like when do you go through and explain all the mechanics in depth that's something else to think about all the time yeah yeah and like originally i had thought about like just trying to spread it out you know like talk about damage rounding thresholds in this video and talk about you know yeah. natures and type resistances in this video but even that video by video starts becoming yeah I, I don't want to say stale but like stale kind of seems like it's on the right track well yeah and if you're watching every video then you're just gonna be like oh i get it like uh, yeah so that, yeah. that's a tricky thing to balance yeah for sure all right so i beat the league i'm just stepping into it oh yeah <laughs> i uh, i definitely did a bit of training yeah but, you, you uh, took the more conservative approach here which yeah. might come back to get me as we go later into the game also i figure I'm, i've got a buffer time because i can uh you know start guiding you through yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> round two yeah. All right. Um, 65 is not the level I want. I think I want 68. I'm trying to remember, but I don't because, you know, this was a whole, you know, seven minutes ago that I played this run. <laughs> no hydro pump. No hydro pump for me. Do I deliberately space out when I mentioned the badge boost? I wouldn't say deliberately. Like, it's not something that I'm... Like, I, I don't, like, in-depth plan. Like, I'll mention the badge boost in this video, and then six videos from now I will mention it again. But I do try to, like... If I feel like I've just mentioned it, then I try to avoid mentioning it again mm -hmm. uh, cl in close proximity. Yeah, I would agree and, with that. And, and, like... Really, uh, I would say, like, the most important thing... Uh, see, now I'm stumbling around these islands because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I just went to two island for no reason. Not there. <laughs> uh, but, I, I, like, in general, it's if it's really relevant to the, the run that I'm doing, then in those cases I will mention it. 
because you need to know about it if you're a new viewer. But if it's not that relevant, oh. then I'll maybe like hold off on mentioning it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm hitting a point where I really don't want to teach over return, but I really don't want anything but brick break. Mm. <laughs> I can't remember. This is why it's so fun living in my brain, because if it's not yeah. written down and fresh, it's pretty much a new experience. <laughs> yeah. And did you utilize like, did you use, utilize rain dance for the league or the second attempt? Um... I do have it on my set right now. I want to say that I kept it for both. Yeah. I can't recall though. Gosh, it's been it's been a whole like ten seconds. So I yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, I that was like a like I just skipped going like the only setup move that I had was substitute, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. And I did want to ask you about this specifically. In a lot mm -hmm. of your videos, you talk about substitute and the kind of ways that you can play around the AI. Yes. So maybe you can give me some insight into oh. what you've discovered with Substitute and how it works against the AI. Don't you? Sorry, I'm cringing against Lorelei. It's okay. There's the lovely kiss. Ah, oh, this was so much easier when I when I had HP Electric. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got my Rain Dance finally back up. Surf, please. I'm attracted. I'm asleep constantly. Like. So, like, Tractors the strategy cool. that I use is I, I set up Rain Dance against Cloister. Okay. Because um, then the Rain Boosted Surf will one-shot Jinx. Oh, um, nice. Otherwise, she is just a troll, like we just saw. Um, sorry, I, okay, the question again. Um, I was, like, curious about how you're using Substitute and its interaction with the AI. Generally, I'm using it... Um, as a speed control, honestly, because that's most of what the AI is going after is using okay. it as a shoot. I'm going to, yeah, this is bad. I'm resetting. This uh, turn order is not going great. Um, but yeah, so I find that the, the number one way to kind of, I guess, exploit the AI with substitute um, is when you can survive a rock tomb. If you can survive a rock tomb from Heracross and from Steelix, those battles are pretty much free. Um, oh. with round two Lance, if you get up a sub, if you're faster than Gyarados and get a substitute up, you pretty much win. Um, okay. as long as you have a setup move or something. Cause like, yeah, he just can't do anything. Um, got it. And then, okay. The hail range has stopped. Sorry. I'm trying to like figure out this bloody slow bro. Oh yeah. And I'm, it's not raining. Jinx is going to mess me up again. Oh. I fell asleep. This is so bad. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, this is why I like Lorelai is Lorelai is scary. Yeah, I like for her. I was considering teaching rest because Blastoise doesn't really have any problems if it can heal. Yeah, but I like giving up. Like if you're going substitute plus rest, then you only have two attacking moves. Hmm. Yeah, very uh, limiting. And then you get yeah, you get very limited. Exactly. It's like, do I yeah. go all special with Surf and Ice Beam? And that didn't seem like a good idea. Mm hmm. Well, it's because of the Gyarados, right? Like, Ice Beam is good for the Gyarados, but uh, you only have 10 or 15 if you max it out. Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah. Oh, right. Hitmonchan has rocked him. Oh, well, it's fine. Um, yes. Uh, so, yeah, one, one question that I was going to ask you, and, uh, you know, just kind of as you're struggling to figure out round two unlock and I'm struggling to figure out round one in general, um, I figured let's just ask a really complicated let's, creator question. Let's do it. I'm ready. <laughs> Um, so yeah, like, uh, you had kind of mentioned like challenges and things like that for me. Um, what would you say like now that like you're over three years into this? So oh. what would be challenges that you're facing today as opposed to a year ago, as opposed to two years ago, as opposed to you get <sighs> the picture? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I think at the beginning, the major challenges for me were like production related. Mm -hmm. Like it was, it was always what is uh, the fastest way that I can get the footage into the video? Mm -hmm. And like, how can I do that in a way that doesn't make my brain melt? Because <laughs> um, I have ADHD and doing a boring, repetitive task over and over and over again was really hard for me to like, like just stomach it and stay focused and actually get through it to complete mm -hmm. a video. So I had, I was constantly trying to think of ways to make what I was doing more automated and easier so that I could just like sit there and do the work. Um, and that was like, I would say that was like the majority of what I was oh solving, solving early on, like 
organizing yep. behind the scenes files and getting them in like good folders and mm -hmm. just sorting out all of the logistical stuff to make sure that it would be smooth. How much time investment would you say that you uh, put into making things modular? Uh, what do you mean by modular? So like, um, <clears throat> excuse me, like you run Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen mm, 4 yeah. with a lot of like, obviously the overlay changes, but you have a yeah. lot of overlapping pieces. And so like how much development time did you spend going into making sure that like, no matter what game I'm playing, this piece fits? Uh, I wish the answer <laughs> was I put a lot of thought into that. Uh, like I put into that spinner pad that I just stepped on. But um, <laughs> the the answer is, again, the same, same one. Uh, honestly, that kind of leads to the, like, the next thing that I'm I'm facing is is I didn't put a lot of thought into that, and that got me into some like really tricky scenarios. So like right now, all the games I play on my channel are separate overlay softwares, so they're not unified. So for example, okay. like this morning I sat, or the last night I sat down and added the repel counter into generation one. And then this morning I sat down and added the repel step counter into generation three. Uh -huh. And if I want to continue adding it onto generation four and generation two, I will have to implement them as their own bespoke steps. Hmm. And that is the, I would say like the number one thing that's holding me back is, is I'm having to manage a lot of complexity across a lot of games. And doing that means that I am basically like, there's a huge amount of technical debt that has built up behind the scenes. Tech right. debt is basically like when a program, you make choices early on and they sort of all accumulate over time and they end mm -hmm. up working against you as you're trying to make new changes in the future. Right. Well, like a single drop of water, right? Like it's yeah. a single drop of water, but it will fill a bucket eventually if you just neglect it. Yeah, and it's like this like huge, like complicated maze now of stuff. So like each overlay is programmed very differently. So like going in and making the change is not always the same process between all of them. So I can't just mm -hmm. like batch out a whole bunch of, uh, of work where I just go, okay, let's do replay counter or uh, repel counters on, on all the overlays. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. I think that's one problem I'm like uh, trying to manage now. I think the other one is just in general my people skills and the ability to like coordinate other humans. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm really bad at communicating uh, when it isn't something I'm just like really passionate about, like Pokemon. <laughs> I can talk interested. for days about Pokemon. Uh, is this okay? Yeah, you're I can talk for very days about well, Pokemon. By the way, sorry. I, just, you're doing very well in the uh, round two unlock, by the way. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, I, I <laughs> did think I watched a video and thought through it this morning so that I could. Oh, good, good. Actually, like I still went to th two island the second time. That's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, sorry. Continue. Did I unlock it? Yeah, I think I did. Uh, yeah, I was just like, I think the other problem that I'm having now is that I'm, I'm just struggling with, uh, I'm struggling to coordinate people effectively because there's a lot of people who will reach out and say, Hey, I want to help with the channel. How can I help? Like, what's the best way for me to, um, participate in this? Or I have this idea about a thing that I could help you with or add how, like, how can I help? And right now the answer is like, that's amazing that you want to help, but I don't really know how to like coordinate yeah. and integrate in your work because there's so much that I like have to do because I know how all the pieces fit together. Mm -hmm. And yep. then I'm not very good at knowing what to delegate and how. <laughs> yeah, like how to delegate. Delegating yeah. is challenging. Oh, I'm over here grabbing the leftovers. I am heading That's back. That's okay. You know I'm you can not... grab it. You can grab it. We'll see if I can survive without it, but... <laughs> I feel like the leftovers may be very important for Lorelei round two, because that's where I'm about to start, and I, I expect that this is going to be a, a brutal. <laughs> All right. We'll see. We'll see. I'm excited. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, what, do you, what do you have? Substitute, Ice Beam, Brick Break, and Rest. No, sir. Oh, I guess, yeah, you can just I deleted. Yeah, I deleted Surf because it's not useful for Lorelei, and I want the healing. Yeah. And I can Brick Break pretty much everything. And I want Ice Beam for Lance, so I don't want to give that up, even though it's not particularly good against Lorelei. Okay, so I'm going to give you uh -huh. one thing to consider with Lance. Okay. Um, 
Can you one shot Gyarados? And are you how much of the bit, uh, battle are you willing to spend paralyzed? I guess are you mm. willing to are you are like are you trying to keep rest? Because if in my opinion, if you cannot one shot Gyarados, you need rest. So that you cannot that, one shot Gyarados, you need rest. So that may limit you okay. slightly. Yeah, I think I, I just am don't want to see you gonna get, get limited. Stuck. Yeah, like just at a wall where you can't really. Do you feel like when you do your challenges behind the scenes and you sit down to prepare, you mm -hmm. like sometimes over optimize in the direction of avoiding getting stuck? Yes, I would say that like just as a player in general, I, yeah. I tend to be pretty conservative overall, yeah. like uh, very much like 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 we had talked about before about just like. I know that I probably don't need this item, but I might, so I'm gonna grab it yeah. every single time. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's something like in playthrough one, I I definitely grab everything because that just makes sense. But in playthrough two, um, yeah, I think following Gym Leader Matt's ideology of leave what you don't need behind is uh, definitely the way to go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <clears throat> this is not fun. Also, someone commented in my chat that I don't have leftovers. I cannot get leftovers because I do not have enough uh, Pokemon registered in my Pokedex to get it. Yeah, we are playing on slightly different versions of the game just because our uh, yeah. technical abilities are significantly different. <laughs> uh, yeah, like the behind the scenes, the tech, si the tech setup um, is, again, like that's definitely something I struggle with, but it's a constant struggle. Uh, I'm mm. going to have to knock the Jinx out with Ice Beam, <laughs> which is not Ooh, great. That's nasty. It but, is neutral with Brick Break, and she's got nasty no, no, uh, brick, physical defense. Brick Break is out. Oh, it's out. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> um, But yes. Oh, no. No. Sleep. Have you been attracted? Oh, no, you're female, so... There we go. Yep, and now it's my turn. It's like, uh, no, I'm way behind, but now it's my turn to no, slowly no, watch the progress catch back up. <laughs> Oops, whoops, I don't want Waterfall on Blastoise. No. People say uh -huh. they know I love Rust, but like, try. how are you going to... Okay, so what's your approach for Lorelei in the second league? Because like, if I was streaming this, I think I would just tell people in chat that they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> but they're like, <laughs> you should do something else. Like, don't use Rust. It's clearly a bad choice. Like, I don't know, like, what else you think I should do? Like, it doesn't so, really seem like there are many other options to me. I agree with the use of Rust, okay. but I don't think it's what... I would be doing and yeah, the reason so, is that sure. the only reason is is that um like rest I'm trying to think of how to like parse this out effectively oh yeah, hey yeah. check it out there's a there's a game hook update I just got a pop-up telling me about that no it's not oh, okay <laughs> it's just, like it's that just shouldn't be that happening just, now <laughs> yeah anyway we'll talk about my tech side another time yeah <laughs> but um what was I talking about I don't even know Something um, about. I was, I was asked the question about um, uh, how you like are going to approach Lorelai. What right. do you think the best um, approach is? So she has two things that really mess me up, I find, and that's either sleep from Slowbro, Jinx. Yeah. Yep, just Slowbro or Jinx. Jinx. Um, or confusion in round one. In round mm. two, the Lapras does no thunder, and so on Blastoise, I will... I can't remember what I did last time. Ah, oh, shoot, I'm hitting all the spinners. Um, I am stalling the cloister. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that cloister is <sighs> like... I've been knocked out by it a couple of times, so I can't badmouth it too, too much, but... It's uh, better in the second attempt. It's useless. It's useless in the first <laughs> attempt. Um... But yes. Oh yeah, in the first attempt, it just sits there going protect spikes and water and rainfall, uh, yeah. rain the entire time. Um, yes. But anyway, uh, no egg move. No, not today. We did not go with an egg move. Uh, um, gosh, on. I just keep losing the train of thought because I'm, I'm like, like there's that just that like I it, we're not competitive. This is all just for fun, of course. But I can't help myself and like the fact that I'm behind, yeah. I'm like half hyper focused on like. 
I gotta win, I gotta win, I gotta win. I know, I I'm really hyper focused now too. <laughs> <laughs> this fight um, is not going how I was hoping it would go. Yeah. I kinda hoped that I was gonna get the two hit on the Lapras with Brick Break. Okay, well it can miss mm -hmm. Thunder twice, so that that will help. And then I crit. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, Thunder is nasty. Anyway, um, so yeah, typically I'd be going in with... Uh, I, I want to say in my optimized playthrough, Blastoise actually went into that battle with a Cherry Berry equipped for Lapras's uh, Thunder. Oh, I went to the wrong... Oh, path. interesting. That, that's an interesting idea. Because, yeah, it was the only status that could trip me up kind of thing. Yeah, um, I should whereas probably otherwise, consider that. Yeah, other, otherwise I'll typically yes. have something like... Um, just something like a Chesto Berry, because like getting yawned by Slowbro and then Jinx's full troll being unleashed is yeah, awful. Yeah, <laughs> I got very lucky and made it through. Nine hit points, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see how the champion treats you, because uh, how many times would you say that you've faced round two in, in total? Uh, twice. Twice, yeah. Yeah. I am... I am so excited to watch you face the champion. Twice. Uh, once with Beedrill and once with the next Pokemon that I'm releasing in Fire Red. Okay, I, I won't ask. Beedrill? Did I? I haven't watched the yeah, whole Beedrill, the Beedrill video yet. Yeah, the Beedrill video. Ah, oh, see? I've, oh, I have so much content. You gotta catch up. round one? Scott did. Scott Scott was leaving round one when I was entering round one. Yeah. But I spent more time training. And the training time is probably going to make your Lorelei a lot easier. I think actually like level 78 or 80 for Lorelei is going to make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. um, because the damage range on the Jinx will look... Uh, sorry, the damage range on the Lapras looked like it was close for me. Oh my gosh. But it wasn't yeah. quite there. So if you're just a yeah. little bit higher, I can see that being a significant advantage. All right, you're about to get another big boost in speed. I'm about to get taken out by the Arbok because, yep, oh. I'm completely... Where does that send me? <laughs> the Arbok. Oh, oh no. I saved right before. Thank oh, that's goodness. good, that's oh, good. So some things are just muscle memory, and this was definitely one of those muscle memory things. Give me my surf back. Holy. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um... Yeah, I'm hoping that... Uh, I, I can't remember how many rare candies I have sitting in my bag right now, but I'm hoping... Wait. ...that I've got enough that I should, like, just accelerate myself. Maybe. I'm going to keep saving because I'm terrified. Her Mischievous and her Gengar have Thunderbolt. Yes. What? Uh, her, her the the sets are so much better. Her Ace Gengar feels so much like a finisher, like, because in the first round it has, like, Hypnosis, Nightmare, you know, the usual kind of, like, Agatha stuff, but in round two, it doesn't have a single status move. It's, like, Thunderbolt, Psychic, Shadow Ball, and Sludge Bomb, I want to say. Like, it's it's fast, and it'll mess your life up if you let it. Yeah. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, speaking of that glorious speed stat... So I only have one full restore, and I have two trainers left. Oh no! <laughs> uh, let's don't judge see. me. I'm not judging. Oh gosh, <laughs> chat! Don't judge walked, me. <laughs> I I just walked into a battle with like zero surf PP, zero ice beam PP against a bunch of poison types, <laughs> and rain dance, which of course does nothing. Okay. okay. Here we go. Yeah, let's check out Lance. Oh, I went back to Vermilion. Whoops, back to One Island. So that should be the Sevi Islands. All right, Scott, I'm coming for you. Yeah, I know. Oh, the freeze. <laughs> yes, the freeze on you the got Kingdra. The freeze. Nice. Oh, no. Well, the Aerodactyl got me, so. I'm still That's coming unfortunate. for you. I don't know if I'm going to catch you, but I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you always deposit all of your cheerleaders in the box before I do starting not. a league? I do not, no. I, I used yep. to, uh, and then I thought about it more and more and more, and then it's like, this is, like, the fact that I am depositing them is actually impacting game time on some Pokemon that mm -hmm. um, that can get through these areas faster, so then I stopped doing it. Yeah. Um, but I know oh, a lot of people shoot. do, like, and some people just build it into their rules, so it's, again, like, a difference. Yeah. I think I missed a rare candy. I did. I didn't grab the Route 12 rare candy, so I'm level 77 oh, okay. instead of 78. Darn. It's fine. Probably. 
Oh, gosh. I made it without the full restore. Turns out substitute. The Gyarados just spams uh, Thunder Wave. Correct. Yes. Uh, I think, yeah, I was trying to get back to that point is uh, the fact that, yeah, if, if you've got a setup move against round two lands, uh, you can just sit there and set up to plus six behind a substitute. His Gyarados yeah. will just sit there eternally trying to paralyze you. I should have gone for Rain Dance because Jinx is going to knock me out. Uh -oh. Nope, I one shot her. Woohoo. Nice. Never mind. All right. <laughs> okay. Pressure's on. Pressure's on. Up to Bruno. Oh, you're on the champ. Yeah. Ah. Substitute. I'm so worried because, like, Substitute is just, it's so consistent. It and is that's really why consistent. I love consi yeah. Yep. Some uh, I haven't yet like worked it into my brain how to use it in Generation Three yet. Uh, mm -hmm. Or sorry, in uh, in Emerald yet? Because everyone keeps telling me like you should really use it in Emerald, and I'm like, yeah, I should. But then yeah. I always forget. Uh, but in these games, it's starting to get like stuck in my head that this is definitely the best way to play. Whoops. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It. Um, I. <sighs> I've been trying so hard to like not just exclusively rely on it. Oh, should I try something dirty for Agatha? I can't see my PP. Oh well, we're going for it. I'm in torrent range. I'm just gonna go for it. Let's just go for it. When you can't see your um, PP, that's when you know you got problems. Uh, too many burgers. Does it? Okay, it recharges. It recharges <laughs> even if it uses a hyper beam on a substitute. In generation one, if they break your substitute with hyper beam, they don't have to recharge. Ah, oh, nice. Yes, uh, did it. My timer stab. didn't stop. No! Almost had Agatha. Okay, I should have gone for Surf there against Crobat, too. Did you beat him? I did. Nice. Good job. Whew. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. This went, this was, this was uh, significantly better than I thought it was going to go. Mm -hmm. I was um, surprised. So, you just, you carved through the, uh, yeah. the plot line in round two. I think this is like, um, there we go. So I'll, my finish, finish time, one hour, 27 minutes and four seconds, level 77, uh, oh, yeah. with it, re seven resets and a game time of five hours and eight minutes. I think, uh, uh oh no. What? Okay. Never, I don't have any PowerPoint restoring items. Oh, that feel. Do you have a Lepa berry? You have a PP up? Mm -mm. PP up kind of works the same way. two PP ups. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the uh, last resort. Got? Yeah, for my zero surfs. Um, shoot. I think I played this absolutely terribly because I was confusing my my uh, optimized playthrough, including HP Electric. Yeah, yeah. I think and that I was kind like of that, that's like that in. that's going to be like a big difference between these two runs, like the one that you did on your channel versus the one like that you're doing here. Mm hmm. Surf is only Aerodactyl. So I can just PP up that for Lance. Brick Break I want to keep for T-Tar, but I don't need it. So I could go rest over Brick Break. Let's try that. Urgh. Nasty. Nasty. Oh! Rain yeah. Dance! Nope. Nope. Reset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mewtwo did not do round two. The first one I did round two in was Beedrill, but I didn't time it. So, like, that was a reason that I wanted to sit down uh, with Exceptional today is like, and talk about round two is because I don't do round two yet in my videos as an official timed portion. And I wanted to see um, if I can play, like, the earlier portions of the game in a similar way that I normally would have, which is using Rare Candies before Lorelei. Um, because if I have to save all my Rare Candies till after the second league, then we're going to get... It's going to be very different than what I'm doing with only aiming for round one finishes <laughs> i'm so dead on i'm curious on your channel yep uh when you're approaching the second round of the league you just mm -hmm. set the pokedex to 255 or uh, to maxed out pokemon and then he just gives you the national dex right correct yeah okay ah, frozen gyarados Oops. i win nice <laughs> that's the best way to do it oh gosh the and gen, how, how many yeah. How many runs do you think have had finishes similar or like just where, where you just admitted to yourself like, nope, this was super lucky. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, there there have definitely been some. Uh, I There there are a few that feel like, uh, like 
like a miracle when you get just just barely make it through and it's like oh if i didn't have that crit like i, I don't know if i would have made it i forget which one it was there was one i was using ancient power i think it was oh. cradly or something like that where i had to yeah. get a bunch of ancient power boosts and with the out the ancient power boosts oh you gotta struggle it it's the only answer this is stupid Rain dance, struggle. All right, struggle. Do it, do it. I'm not doing it. I'm I'm struggling. Yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is gonna take too long. I'm not struggling it. I'm sorry. This is dumb. Uh. <laughs> uh, for more exceptional content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I'm gonna look through yeah. the questions and see if I can ask you something intelligent while you finish Absolutely. up the game. I did write down questions. This is the most prepared I have ever been for a stream. Me too. I actually sent you the questions as well. Like Me too. Did I send them last night? I did. You did, yeah. It, it was uh, like right before I went to bed, but I did send you the questions. Yeah, no, I wanted to uh, make sure I got them over to you, you as beat well me. before I went to bed. Yeah. You beat me to it. You had a lot more than I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw I think, yours, and then I sat there for like 15 minutes and only wrote one, and then I was like, now yeah. I feel really bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I, I stopped thinking about what questions would I ask you, and then I was mm -hmm. like, what Gosh. questions do I want to know about how he plays Fire Red? And then mm -hmm. just like all of the questions poured out of me. Floodgates open, eh? Yeah, I was yeah. like, I have so many questions. And then I woke up in the morning, I'm like, I have more questions, I need to add them to the list. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, I wanted to ask this you this. Battle. Like, when you like go into a run and you're like sitting down to plan it, because some people have suggested to me that maybe I should approach uh, planning my runs in a different way because I got yeah. uh, into some serious problems, like eh. like this, like this uh, with Beedrill, but like this, but much worse, <laughs> like uh, like mm. three hours plus, uh, like this. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, how do you approach like the initial stage of planning a run when you sit down and you say, I'm going to do Blastoise? So, uh, honestly, there isn't a lot that goes into my initial runs planning. Um, maybe that is something I need to uh, <laughs> rethink for sure. Um, honestly, I the thing I love most about the first playthroughs is just the fact, yeah, crit freeze, suck it, Gyarados. Um, <laughs> <laughs> The thing that I enjoy most about first playthroughs is just the fact that, like, I go into them completely... I should be going for rest. What am I doing? Um, I go into them completely 100% blind. I have no okay. strategy. I have my moveset open beside me so I can kind of think the run through as I'm playing it. Yeah. But um, I, I am just... I just go for it. And then I edit and kind of critique my own play, and I'm... Yeah, so you do the. I'm you, in the same stupid position again. Oh my gosh! Oh no! So you, you said you you do the like you edit the video, like you edit the first portion of the video, the first playthrough before doing the second playthrough. Correct. Yeah. That's. I have like, no powerpoints restoring items. What am I doing? I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm stuck. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the being stuck is the worst and it feels like um, ice beam is like really the only good thing because surf's not great against lance yeah nope and like i could try blizzard against gyarados but like that gets rid of my ice beam and then that kind of hamstrings mm -hmm. me for the rest of it like just oh goodness yeah um but yeah so then I, I always edit the, the first playthroughs. And yeah, like I, I just try to be as, as critical as possible, thinking to myself, like, what yeah. did I do wrong? What did I change? Okay, this worked. Um, I also look at things like, oh, hey, 13 health. At least I'm faster. I can rest out of this one. And then a dragon um, dances. Jeez. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I just... Um, I find it's a really useful tool, especially when choosing natures, um, just because you can you can really see like, oh, hey, my my special attack was not or special defense was not threatened once kind of thing. So yeah. I can pretty comfortably reduce my special attack. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah. Yeah. Defense. There uh, we go. Oh, yeah, I feel good. I feel good about the mild nature for this playthrough. Mm hmm. Oh, did, um, did you do also, it? Yes, nice. I'm so like spoiled with my leftovers. <laughs> I think I have one surf for the next battle. Oh my gosh. 
That's that's stressful. Did you use both the PPFs? Yep. I have one surf and three ice beams. And then struggle. I don't see Where are you gonna get to being particularly useful? Coach? Earthquake Earthquake can be also It oh, could yeah. be, I this think. This is oh, oh my gosh, the ballsiest play. <sighs> What's that? Uh, the ballsiest play to delete rest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, you do have the leftovers though leftovers is significantly different I do but like you know gen gentlemen's, gentlemen's code I'm, I'm trying not to use it oh someone oh, on my, in my chat suggested getting a waterfall you could also use waterfall um Can that's Blasters true thermal? yes <laughs> like yeah, yeah cause like I'm, I'm so hooped in this battle rain the, dance for okay. one surf the, the fact um, the fact that, uh, the rival's Tyranitar has Sandstream, mm -hmm. that hurt Beedrill so much. Yeah, it hurts a lot of Pokemon, and that's another reason why the Leftovers, I feel, spoils me so much. <laughs> because, yeah. uh, like, the Leftovers essentially cancels the Sandstorm. Yeah, oh, does Waterfall flint in, flinch in Generation 3? It can, yes. So Is I might 10%? be able to use that to my advantage. Um, I'm not sure I'm off the top of my up. head find out maybe i can get a freeze <laughs> no generation <laughs> three has no secondary drops. effect no didn't no i just read that it effect. could well never mind at least i have a water move 20 20 percent chance to flinch starting in generation four <laughs> painful and i used a surf here idiot it's fine yeah, because I think I think if you have a speed fall in this battle, like that's where substitute or I think I've completely butchered this because with substitute you avoid the speed fall. Yeah. Um whereas without HP electric. Am I remembering this right? I can't remember. Yeah. I, I think I think I've completely Yeah, I've I've completely screwed myself. This is outside of my normal like wheelhouse, because I'm just I'm so used to having leftovers. Even if I equip them right now, I because I I don't know. I'm just I'm all mixed up. Excuses, excuse, excuse insert excuse here. <clears throat> I think um like reflecting on my run, I think that like substitute really did a lot of the heavy lifting for Blastoise. There were so many instances where I feel like I was able to just uh, play around the AI being a little bit strange, or, or like what you said with the champion, the Heracross. Yeah. Like if it can't break the substitute right away with Rock Tomb, <clears throat> then you're, you're basically going into the fight in, in a really good position, and it did feel yeah. like that. Yeah, especially with with uh, if you're combining substitute with leftovers, like it is unbelievable power, uh, unbelievably powerful. Wow, the crit. <laughs> I honestly, I don't, I don't know what to do right now, aside from leave the league and uh. just correct everything. Did I get hit by? Yeah, no. This, yeah. Like I'm just, I'm getting too messed up. I'm. It's okay, interesting because, um, like, we both. I didn't have healing items, and you didn't have the PP restoring items. But I was yeah. luckily able to play around mine. <laughs> I just fought Lance I, without healing. Then heal I for think the champion. I came into this. Yeah, I, th I think I came into this with just like a slightly. I didn't put enough thought into the run before doing it because I was just like, "Oh, I've already done this. I know how this yeah, works." Yeah, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, discombobulated egg. Absolutely. <clears throat> um. So yes, I have another question for you since uh, your time or your focus can be split a bit more right sure, now. Sure. Yeah. Um. I'm so screwed in this battle. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, so yeah, like a few years ago, what uh, what ultimately made you make the choice uh, once your channel had grown to that point to start making content full time instead of um, continuing as a musician? And have you ever looked back at being a musician? Yeah, I I look back fairly frequently, actually. Like my mm -hmm. my wife and I are now playing music together. She set up her drum kit, so oh, that's awesome. I'm uh, I'm starting to play a little bit of electric guitar again, just just for fun. Um, and that's like the most I've looked back since I since I stopped. And I guess I've yep. been like I've been full time doing YouTube for a year and a half now. 
Mm-hmm. So it would have been September 2022, I guess, that I went full time. September 2022. Okay. Yep. I think. So then September 2023. Yeah. Yeah. And then to now. Um, before that, uh, it was like. I would say, like, I was, like, during 2022, 2023, like, the school season, I was still teaching music. So mm-hmm. I wasn't, I was, like, doing this full time, but there was, like, still, like, maybe, like, eight to ten hours of stuff that I was doing music right. related outside of YouTube. Um, and I did that mostly because I had students that were long term, long time students, and I didn't want to just immediately say, like, hey, I'm not teaching you anymore. Find someone <laughs> else. Like, Catch you later. <laughs> yeah, that didn't seem like the right thing to do because there's relationships yeah. there, and I wanted to like see them through to their to when they went to university or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I finished that up, and then this year is when this, this September was the first time when I was just doing the channel, nothing else. Mm-hmm. Um, and the like the choice was like I, I think everyone is aware that like unless you are an exceptionally talented musician or you get exceptionally lucky and become a very famous musician the uh, the industry is not necessarily the most lucrative mm-hmm. so i was mm, very low income throughout the entire time that i was doing music related stuff so mm-hmm. as soon as like as soon as like basically like i turned on monetization on the channel and within a few months it was uh Oh. Similar in scope. <laughs> oh no! What what got you? I just. Yeah. Oh no! I'm so frustrated. Okay, everyone, uh. everyone who's watching, this situation, uh, it seems ridiculous and like a misplay, and like there are things about it, but this is something that I genuinely fear going into every run. Like, I have this deep fear of, like, showing up and then just not quite having put everything together in the correct order up until that point, and then uh, you get completely walled. Yeah. This is the point where on my streams, I would typically be telling them, like, hey, for the sake, for the sake of the stream, you're going to be seeing a nice critical, Heracross, you ass. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be seeing a lovely white flash on the screen real uh-huh. quick as I add a Yeah, quickly elixir. add an elixir in. That's right. <laughs> because I am over this. <laughs> yeah, well, like, I can actually just take your footage down if you'd like me to. <laughs> <laughs> And we won't no, know what happened. Okay, so this time, I think my my speed's intact. Okay, this is good. We're in a better position now. Let's get the rain dance up. Yeah, yeah. T-Tar, you do what you want. Okay, I think we're in a better spot now. Depends on what Venusaur does, but if he goes for Sunny... D- oh, you idiot! Why did I go... That cost me the battle. Oh, no. Cube. If only it could flinch. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's painful that you don't get the one the knockout. You, I think you would have got the knockout there too if you were level eighty. Yep. If yeah. I'd had that one rare that candy one rare that candy. I missed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I just, I don't know how to handle how Heracross. Like I've just been fishing for a freeze or a miss. Like I, I don't know how to handle him beyond that because having your speed lowered is. It's just too much yeah. in this battle. Like when you're getting hit by five members of like yep. the max note team of this game, it's just bad. Yeah, it's like it makes a lot of sense to just reset as quickly as possible if the RNG does not go your way within the first turn. Like if it misses, okay, then reroll something like that. But if it speed lowers you, then you can just reset and try again. Uh, I can rain dance to nerf Solar Beam's power, but he's been faster than me almost every time. Mm-hmm. So he goes first. <laughs> Do you, does Surf one hit the Heracross if it crits? No. No. Oh, if it crits, maybe. But then I'm looking for one a six point two five. Yeah, one instead in of. Oh well, he could miss his Rock Tomb. Okay. How fast that, do you reset? Surf. How fast do you reset? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think... know. I, I can't see. Oh, I can't you... see how many resets I'm at because I can't see that part of my screen oh, today. Oh, sorry. It's that's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Of course. I get a, I get a favorable outcome. Tyranitar gets the paralysis, so this battle is probably over because Venusaur is faster again. Uh, apparently, though, uh, the chat is happy with the stream because they're saying that you should reset the whole run so that we can just do more question time. <laughs> it's like this is uh, um, you just do a second one, see what happens. Well, Scott, how are you feeling? Uh, I'll play another one, sure. 
I'm always up well, for more Pokemon. In that case, um, Exceptional has been defeated. Oh! To hell with this. <laughs> <laughs> that Heracross can all right. bugger off. I uh. was not expecting this today, but all right, let's do it. Yeah, this is um, this 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 was uh, this is interesting. I'm uh, I'm I'm kind of happy that this happens. It's uh, it's nice. <laughs> Nothing like uh, getting humbled in your own game. It's, it's like playing with Speedrunner last week where yeah. um, I won one and I lost one. But like there were many times throughout where I was like, how is he ahead of me? I know. And it's like, I know. This is opportunities for me in my gameplay. Yeah. This is how I feel when I play with Speedrunner. <laughs> I watch his stuff. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Like, why is he 15 seconds ahead? Like, I, I don't understand. Are you sure you're playing it four times? It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I don't think like, oh, for, for me like um, maybe you want to play with hidden power when we can show the contrast of that or if you want to sure. just do another one with the exact same rule set. Um, um, I was also going to ask if you want to stick with Blastoise because that's what our thumbnails say or yeah. if you want to uh, okay, wait. try something else. I'll make a, I'll make a chat poll. Yeah okay um, wait, I could use just a quick stretch. Yeah and, sure uh, sure. Wait, do, do you want to so... put the other two starters on as other options? Uh, sure, absolutely. Okay. Uh, yeah, so just, yeah, if we want to run Blastoise, Venusaur, our Chari Boy next. Um, and then also if, I guess, no, no, we won't do that today. I was like, do we want to go with an egg move and just go absolutely full max? Oh my but, gosh. Eh, not, I don't think my technology maybe, is set up for the egg moves at the current time. Maybe not today, yeah, yeah. If, if you vote um, for Charizard, you all want to see me suffer, because I don't know how to play fire types. <laughs> vote for Charizard. <laughs> all right, all right. Because I might know how to play it. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't pick the dome fossil. Oh my I gosh. know, I'm sorry. You said that and then Charizard pulled ahead. <laughs> Actually, I got to pull up. I can't see your chat. Uh, I'm voting for Charizard. There we go. 42%. There you go. All right. Um, I'm taking a quick second. I will be sure. right back. Just having a quick, quick stretch. I will hang out with all of you. Um... Okay, well, I guess we're playing Charizard. Um, <laughs> just so everyone knows, uh, I don't know if you were like focusing on it, but there's been actually a bunch of updates to the overlay this time. So there's a whole bunch of visual updates as well as like some functionality stuff that's changed. Uh, little stuff. So um, yeah, and this is I'll just show you how I go about like putting these overlays together and stuff like that. So behind the scenes, I just have a drop down menu here which you can't see, but then I check select Charizard which will bring up Charizard and change the background to a default fire background. And then I kind of size him so that he looks good and intimidating and impressive. Probably a little too big. Just put him like, like that. Nice. I can also turn up his saturation if I really want him to look extremely orange, but probably just a... I think default saturation is pretty good. Then I have this little color picker tool which then I select a color and it'll change the overlay to the same color as the Pokemon. So I usually try to go for either the contrast color or the main color of the Pokemon. That looks pretty good. I think I need to turn the saturation down on that like a little bit. It's just, uh, I wanted to match Charizard but not be overbearing. Um, and then I also have, where are they? Oh yeah, the controls are right here. So then this is like background controls where I can like scale the image and add some blur to it. Even even uh, add like crazy hue. So if we want like blue flames behind him because that looks cool, like we can have blue flames behind Charizard. Um, Teach me how to be smart. Uh, uh, about this stuff? <laughs> yeah, I'll show you this I'll stuff. We we can get you set up with something like this at some point. Uh, it's very, <laughs> it's very it's so cool. Like the it's so cool. When I started out, it took me almost two hours to make the single image that was my overlay for every video. And it was a versus video, four hours. Like literally that half a work day just to make two images. Because I would I would copy and paste off Bulbapedia, the move pool, and then go into Photoshop and pixel by pixel remove all of the stuff that I didn't want. Oh, no. Like obviously I'm using like the like box select tool, but like it was yeah. very crude. And then I'd piece it all together and make sure it looked really good and then like place it on the background and like put the background texture behind and then add all these filters and stuff. Uh, so at some point I was just like, we need to make this faster. 
So we made um, a bunch of templates then. Uh, I had my video editor produce a bunch of these images and, and now it's like almost automated. I um, It's really funny for you to like be calling these things crude, like copy and pasting from Bulbapedia because <laughs> that is exactly what I do. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I copy into an Excel spreadsheet and then it like adds my, I have conditional formatting on it. So it like makes all my type colors and everything line up automatically. If it says bug, it becomes the right color. Okay. Um, yeah. And then I just kind of like pull from there because like I, I just I essentially green screen the moves and then I just wand the green and yeah, yeah, delete yeah. it all yep but uh yeah it's 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 yes crude thank you Scott <laughs> well yeah it, it feels like uh yeah it, it, it feels very crude now compared to like the capabilities that I have and like again like mm -hmm. we I'm totally down to like sit down and just like spend a couple hours with you and try and set stuff up like this up for you yeah because no, really it will like save you so much pain appreciate that because yeah like you were saying one of the biggest problems you had initially is your production time and just how much time everything takes yeah. to put together yeah um it used to take story. me used to take me seven to eight days to make one like 25 minute video that yeah that's uh my first uh my first bulbasaur video um i think it took me just over three weeks to produce because i was yeah. also figuring out how to video edit as i went yeah 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 um, and it's gotten faster since then, clearly, but <laughs> yeah, by your overlay, I'm assuming the Charizard win, which is why I'm currently setting up a Charizard run. Uh, yeah, it won by a lot. It got 51% of the votes. Uh, Venusaur <laughs> got 29% and Blasty's got only 19. Okay. I am just setting up real quick. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Uh, by the way, I was reading those percentages as they were updating. So someone is going to comment on my math and say that doesn't add to 100%. That's why <laughs> the last one updated. It is not Scott's thought. No, uh, Scott's fault. Yeah, it's uh, Scott's math live on stream. Watch me make all the mistakes. Oh, I I actually have to, uh, sorry, I have to change my starter. I'm like just chilling, like going to start the game again. That's not going to work. <laughs> I, uh, I just need to get myself into the lab real quick because uh, we are running different technologies. So yeah, just to yeah, make yeah. my low tech talk with Scott's well, high tech, aka lineup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, only go. one of us is crude. Yes, it'd be the egghead. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let's I, I yeah, first. just give me a second. This might take. Yeah, I'm uh I'm just setting up the run. I am gonna run myself into Oak's lab and then I will save yeah. and uh wait for you. Once we're ready to go again. I do also have some questions for you about this run. Specifically up first is uh where do you get Dragon Claw? Uh Victory Road. Where in Victory Road? Like Do you know the rare candy in the first room? No, it's the other one. It's the other one. I hate that. Okay, that's that's <laughs> awful. Yep. If you go through the stairs and then come back in, like the stairs in the next next little area, does it reset the boulders? Oh, gosh. Um, yes. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? So you don't have I to can't... actually exit and then push the boulder around again. That's good to know. Uh, you do. Sorry. You do. Uh, the, yeah, if you want both items, you got to do the boulder, puzzle, the boulder puzzle in its entirety twice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Doing good. Uh, nickname for Charizard. Oh, yeah. Somebody uh, mentioned going Egbert, so I will go with that. Egbert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a good name. That was almost my name. I need a nickname. I need a nickname. Uh, oh, gosh. 111 votes. Perfect, actually. Thank you, everyone, <laughs> for making the perfect number of votes. 111. Gotta love it. Scott's actually, right. so... Funny story, when I bought, uh, not this computer, but my old computer where the first chunk of exceptional content was produced, I built the computer like over a decade ago at this point. Okay. It's, uh, I'm surprised that I produced the content that I did on that thing. It was awesome. But um, yeah. <sighs> when I was buying it, um, I asked for an 11 cent discount and the guy was so confused. And I'm like, come on, man, really? Because the total was $1,234.67. I was like, come on, 11 no, cents, yeah, one, two, yeah, three, yeah. four, five, six. Come on, man. You got to do this no. for me. <laughs> please, this doesn't please. seem like it matters, but it really does. It broke me, but this... uh. <laughs> okay. There um, we go. Someone has said that. All right, wait, I need wait. to get my starter actually updated. Where is it? 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 
Okay, Metal Murderer says Scrambler. So I'm going with the name Scrambler. Scrambler. That's an amazing name. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Scrambler. Yeah, that's how I feel right now. Scrambled. 700 things going on. Charizard Nature. I think I'm just going to go na neutral on this one. I can't remember if I did anything fancy with him. Actually, no, Charizard does not need speed. We can get rid of speed, right? Where's my, where's, that was where's my internet speed. window? Yeah, we don't need speed. Let's get rid of speed. Yeah, I should go through all the things. I'll go through all the things in just one second. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that part together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, um, I'll shut up then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now that Exceptional is quiet, we can go through the base stats. Um, base stats, uh, 78 attack. <laughs> 84, oh sorry, 78 HP, 84 attack, 78 defense, 109 special attack, 85 special defense, and 100 speed. 100 speed. Yeah. Yummy. Um, um, since things are getting yeah. a little bit competitive, do you still feel kind enough to say what nature you're going to play with this time? Absolutely. Competitive does not, competitive and cooperative are not mutually exclusive. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'm just I just have a nature chart pulled up because I don't know how they work um, so with Charizard we do get access to swords dance in round two okay and so this this is this is actually a really oh. fun one to try and like route and talk about because um this was one that I actually got to kind of break from my normal I think I did it with Charizard and Sceptile I want to say okay. um, where I actually focus like I'll probably be going for mild again or not mild um what is it to reduce speed? Um, quiet. Increase special yeah, attack, yeah. decrease speed. Um, um, my only fear is the Aerodactyl. What do you think about the Aerodactyl? Yes. So my reasoning for the quiet nature is that... Um, I'm trying to remember how this run goes. But yeah, uh, roughly. You know, it's hard to remember oh, weeks at a time. Um but yeah, the reason is because Sword Stance is pretty much... Sword Stance plus Substitute pretty much guarantees you a win in round two, as long as you can work around a few things kind of thing, right? Like Steelix and Heracross, we were talking about their Rock Tomb being the big determining factor for me for Substitute, if you can survive or not. Yeah. Um, in this case, because we're four times weak, we are not surviving, but we do have Flamethrower. So that just eliminates that problem. So we can get our sub in the next set kind of thing. And like, there might be a way to work it around. I don't know, I can't remember exactly. Mm -hmm. But uh, round two, when I see a move like Subst or a Sword Stance in the tutor moves, I pretty much just ignore. Uh, everything becomes focused about getting round one done as fast as mm -hmm. possible because you can just boost your way through round two. Yeah, that's really smart. <clears throat> and um, so yeah, for a move set and everything like Dragon Claw, Flamethrower, obviously going to be extremely good choices. Uh, Stab Aerial Ace is going to be great. Charizard oh, yeah. does get Rock Slide, I believe. Um, Aerodactyl is the big question. I can't remember how I dealt slide. with Aerodactyl mm -hmm, before, but uh, I want to say that like a juicy Flamethrower or two can just deal with it and yeah, you can survive. You can survive with Substitute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and well, Substitute just like allows you to take a hit for free. Essentially. Maybe we're both going to walk into the mistake. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah, we'll I definitely. See. Um, somebody was asking how the Blastoise went. Uh, Scott won. Actually, he won so, round one and round two, and I didn't even finish round two. Very surprisingly. Yeah. I. Uh, I, think, I did not even finish it. I think if I was playing scared, it would have been uh, much closer. I think I just decided at the beginning of it that I was. I'm just going to use the rare candies before the league, and I'm not going to worry about too much training. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that that. It ended up paying off for me. I, I don't, I feel very, uh, my confidence has now been shaken because people told me I had to play a fire type. So <laughs> I, I'm actually just terrified now. I tend to play very badly when I play fire types and electric types. So, um, yeah. Oh, just wait till round two. What held me up? Um, I kind of pigeonholed myself into a situation where... I had taught my moves improperly and I came into the league with no PP restoring items. And so the combination of those two things just led to an absolute wipe fest plus some bad RNG against the champion with some choice yeah. paralysis is, 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 and stuff like that. But yes. Um, Someone is asking if Charizard you used Belly sad. Drum Charizard. I did. And if you watch my oh. solo run of Charizard from a couple weeks yeah, ago, yeah. my second run does feature Belly Drum, and it 
rocked. Holy, did it rock this game. <laughs> I, I did watch this, actually, and uh, I remember you being excited about Belly Drum. Uh, mm -hmm. The issue now is that I don't remember anything else about the video because I was also cooking at the same time. So, ah, uh, yeah, I'm I'm very worried. Adrian says I need to ask you to do Magneton versus Electrode in Fire Red and see if it brings up any trauma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll play it. <laughs> but uh, it, it will bring up trauma. There, I think they'll actually be a lot. Well, second league. Hmm. I think that mm. I think they actually might be worse in fire red than they are in yellow. That's saying a lot. <laughs> They're really bad in yellow. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Um, um, let me know when you get. I to will the lab. warn you about. Okay. Yeah. Um. I I, I will just say in sure. um for Magneton, awful, awful, awful run in fire red. I don't think Giovanni would have been possible. At least based on what I ran before, I've I've experienced and learned a lot since then but uh i don't think giovanni was possible without leveling into the 70s or 80s without oh, using hidden power that's brutal you have electric and normal coverage that's it okay so we're just gonna quickly change the overlay to magneton and we're gonna see what it has for a second <laughs> i'm very curious okay magneton it's nasty. um oh my gosh this is a terrible set um, I still see Charizard on your side. I'm just waiting for... There it is, yeah. Uh, yep, that's about how I remember it being. Yeah, it's awful. Zero coverage. Um, in Generation 4, you get the, uh, what is it? The, uh, uh, the 80 base power metal flash or something like that. Um, yeah. Which would have completely redefined the run. But yeah, flash no, Normal cannon. and electric. <laughs> Darn. Yeah. Okay. Let's anyway, back. let's focus Charizard. Here we go. We're distracted as happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so how this works uh, for anybody that's just joining us now is uh, Scott and I are running different versions of the game with slightly different technology. So uh, I have a lot more experience. He has a lot more tech kind of thing. So we're hoping that that kind of balances out our runs. But really, this is just for fun, for learning. I'm learning from Scott. He's learning from me. And we're just hanging out, having a good time. So yeah. Um, we started off with Blastoise. I got my butt kicked um, for more reasons than one. And now, <laughs> thanks to uh, Scott's chat, we are moving into Double Charizard. Yep. And I expect and, uh, to <clears throat> be put yeah. in my place. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I don't have Belly Drum this Just time. tell me to go back to Generation 1 after this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, my timer oh. is set at just over a minute. That's because I am in the lab already, whereas Scott's overlay and crazy fancy tech and all that uh, just kind of does everything that I do manually automatically for him. So that's why I'm just yeah. going to chill here in the lab for when he's uh, ready to go. We can. I don't know if you can reset your timer, but like we can start at whatever time, uh, whatever time we I, could start I, at, whatever time yeah. I get there at. So we could start at yeah, just zero it out at the lab. But sure. either way. I'll just let uh, you just know got what here, my you... time is when I get there. Yeah, sounds good. Um, just got here. Are you doing all three starters? Um, well, we just happened to be doing two, and that wasn't planned. So who knows? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how, I, how my number. ego feels after after this one. <laughs> I was gonna say I was more focused on like the finite number of hours I can put in in a day. But yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> I would love to just sit here playing through the entire Pokedex. But I know. <laughs> let's do that. Let's do all one fifty one. <laughs> Right now. Yeah, in one stream. Yeah. Uh, which one is it? It's this one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Scrambler. <laughs> Make sure I got my options set right this time. Yes, I do. Okay. I'm ready to go when you are. Scram. Let's get Scrambler set up. Scram. It's okay. I have to learn how to spell. I scrambler. Is this correct? <laughs> I hope this is correct. Almost. <laughs> okay, I'm here. Pause. We are uh, at 57 seconds and 99 milliseconds. Well, yeah, I'm at 104, so I think we're close okay, enough. Okay, yeah, that's close enough. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I was watching your screen, not mine. It's okay. Why am I not moving? So I got right. really excited when I saw the move set because Heat Wave is at the very top, but we learned five moves to yep. start off, so we just don't get Heat Wave. 
how, when that arises, do you pick and choose? Like, do you pick and choose which move you want, or do you just ignore it and no, just I, go with what the game gave you? I take what the game gives me. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, in I, that, um, yeah, in that case, I just don't get Heat Wave. I think in one run, I... <clears throat> excuse me, decided to... Uh, I had the option of five, and I decided in the second playthrough that I was just like, you know what, this is available, so I'm just going to grab it because I want optimal, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I find those things, like, it's tricky when making content because uh, sometimes I want to, like, try out something new. Like, oh, yeah, I'll just take Heat Wave this time and see how it goes. But mm -hmm. when you're making content, it's, it's then am I setting the precedent for doing that in every run and it won't be interesting later on but it is interesting now so i try and like be careful with that right yeah yeah that's usually why i try like just whenever like if i'm if i'm altering something it's going to be in the second playthrough but if i'm cheating it's going to be in the first playthrough because oh, yeah, like yeah. first is all just information whereas second is like how can I plan myself around everything that I failed at the first time? <laughs> yeah. See, I don't, I don't cheat in my first run, but I do embarrass myself. So I'll just like black out like a hundred times and lose over and over and over again if I made yeah. really bad choices. I've been leaning away from cheating. I, I feel like that was uh, something like there was there was kind of like a, a downturn in my channel's growth in kind of like the October, November period. Um, mm. And like there are about a million things that you could attribute it to. But uh, I feel that one of them is the fact that um, I started introducing the zero IV rules and making the challenges more harder for myself, which then led to me cheating more, which I just didn't feel good about. And yeah. so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much back to just like, nope, I'm playing the game how I play the game. <laughs> like, I hope you enjoy. Yeah. But, uh, <clears throat> like we talked about that yesterday when we had our call to like set stuff up, which is like, <clears throat> it tends to make the best content. I think if you play the game, Oh, Pikachu, it tends to make the best Ooh. content. If you, Oh, I didn't do that. Oh, uh, I'm not going to face Brock. It paralyzed me. Oh no. <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> I, I, I have like, I have told myself in the past, always run from the early Pikachus. And today in my brain, I literally said, it's not going to paralyze me. I should just knock it out. <laughs> no, it paralyzed me. Nope. <sighs> That's brutal. Uh, I think my game hook is broken. If you got to pause, let I... me know. I can pause. Uh... If you want to, maybe the mapper got unloaded when you uh, loaded a new. It, it did. Yes. There we go. We are back. Yeah. All right. Um, so yes, talking about Brock, I might have just made a mistake because I could not see my speed stat, but uh, we'll see if you make the same one. Um, a reason that I really like the minus speed nature on Charizard, Charmander specifically, is because of Brock's Onyx. So he has a speed stat of 24. If you are above 24, he will go for Rock Tomb. After your speed is lower than him, he will mm. not go for Rock Tomb again until you're in knockout range. That's smart. I didn't do that, so I'm going to get Rock Tombed. <laughs> I fought an optional trainer, so oh. I have 25 speed, oh, no. and I'm getting Rock Tombed. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Well, this isn't good. Okay. The best I'm kind of hoping for is, yeah, no. And Rock Tomb is doing like easily three quarters of my health. I think uh, Charizard might actually be more difficult to start with than Charmander. <laughs> yeah, because Charmander is slower, so less Rock Tombs, correct? Uh, yes, I did not get any Rock Tombs when I was playing with Charmander. Oh, that's so interesting. At least until you're in that kill range. Yeah, it's that's like not what you would expect, right? <clears throat> You'd expect mm -hmm. the Onyx to just, or to, for Charmander to be more difficult. You'd also expect um, Char Charizard to just have enough power to get through this fight. And now we right, sit yeah. here and we uh, we all reset. I also fought everyone in Viridian Forest because I was just like, I, I'm going to train. But I skipped everyone because I had Charmander in my mind where I didn't need it. <laughs> right. Um, uh, but I think I'm going to be going back to the forest to train myself. Because if you're struggling at 13, there's yeah. not much at 10 that I'm doing. Well, who wanted to play Charizard, huh? Yeah, maybe go back and fight a Pikachu and get paralyzed. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> it's like, that's no, the solution. <laughs> Shouldn't have healed. Yes. Shouldn't have healed. Should have picked up repels. Okay. Um, uh, 
Okay. Yeah, this is bad. You're you're seeing like a pretty poor level play for me today, honestly. <laughs> well, sorry, I I won because he missed two rock tombs. <laughs> nice. Well, so how you feeling about Charizard? <laughs> <laughs> not well, not good. This is not a great start, but uh, I will. <laughs> It's, uh, I got lucky. Better. Yeah. I was hoping, but no, I, I think going back to the forest of grind uh, that's was... That's definitely the safe choice. The way to go. I, uh, the second, and like, I knew it the second I entered that optional battle. I was like, what is my oh. speed at? And is this going to hurt me? And it did. I, ah. Uh, uh, and some... this, this is, th sorry, this is the part of content creation and making these runs that I absolutely love is the curiosity. Yeah. If I restarted this run and knocked out nobody, would Brock be easier because I wouldn't be at the level I am and wouldn't have 25 speed, so he wouldn't be going for Rock Tomb. Yeah. Like, I, I genuinely think that that would be saving time if I hadn't fought the optional. I, I, anyway. I think so. I think so. There's also um, someone suggested in chat, which I thought was a really interesting suggestion. Mm -hmm. What if you black out to the Geodude on Brock over and over and over again to get the ha the experience from the Geodude? Yep. But and, and, then, and then you also get a yeah you also get a chance to fight the Onyx to see if you can luck through it. Mm -hmm. uh, and you get some defense EVs, I guess, yeah. along the way. Oh, I get my attack to... boost. He gets a crit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh gosh. Yep. So. Run two. Do we get thief? Going well. Um, I. Eh. I don't think we get thief, do we? I. It's it, your your overlay is or your stream is covering. Uh, that's it right. I'm covering your side. moves. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like looking over at yours now, but all I see is Caterpie. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna program a hotkey so that I can turn off the trainer display if I just want to stare at the move pool for a long period of time. Mm hmm. Okay, I got an attack boost it. against Geodude. Still doing less than half to Onyx. And he misses. I leave him at a sliver. I'm out. Oh. You beat him? <laughs> no! No, he got you. He got you. Oh, no. <laughs> I almost feel like just going to, like, 15 or something. Just for... Oh, no. But, like, it's... No, this is just... This is dumb. I, uh, Ember is doing slightly less This damage. genuinely might be one of those moments where... Uh, it actually just makes sense to try him at like level 10 or whatever it was without fighting the optional yeah. trainer and just luck through the fight. Like you have to restart the run really often, like all the time. But when you do get a run that works, then you get through at a really low level and then the mm -hmm. training speeds up on the other side. Yeah, definitely. That's always a big problem I have in this game is this, the, um, I guess the the way the grinding works leading up to Misty, because you're not super limited, but you, there's some limitations heading up towards um, towards Brock. But then those darn ledges after Mount Moon, oh. <laughs> yeah, the ledges, yeah, you can't backtrack. And just completely, yeah, yeah. Ax, ax your ability to backtrack. Hey, Metal Murderer just popped in to say hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> ah, great suggestions from Metal Murderer. Great suggestions. That's awesome, yeah. I'm taking also, the dome fossil. I'll take. Oh, I didn't do the bump. No, I, I went I'm back to do the today. bump. The bump? Yeah, when you bump into the wall, like you said last oh, time. Like yeah, that's yeah, so yeah. smart. Yeah. Okay. Is smoke yeah, screen relevant? Is smoke screen relevant? Oh shoot! I just accidentally hit a trainer. Um, I don't, I don't think so. I, I feel it's so yeah, luck based. This is in general. It's just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Going mega uh, punch and mega kick, double megas. As the game corner music comes back on on my stream, I'm kind of feeling like this is just the theme of the day, and maybe <laughs> I should just have it playing the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this now the Jigglypuff trainers caught me. I'm just not doing good. I'm asleep, Please. disabled. Oh, kidding me. Why doesn't mega kick one hit the rival's Pokemon? I want it to one hit them. <laughs> it doesn't. It just barely doesn't. Well, you see, my sister and I have a theory for this, but uh, okay. I, I I can't say it on stream. Maybe uh, I'll have to tell you after. All right, all right. Well, I could say Se it on stream, but it depends on. Well, I don't know what secrets, but Turbo would like the information on my side. But <laughs> oh gosh, he just wants me to swear all the time. That's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ruined the. <laughs> 
family friendly nature of my channel. Yes. And mine ish. There are definitely some yeah, that, thematic that's a, elements that creep up. That's a <laughs> that's a interesting um a choice is like about like the use of profanity and stuff like that on stream. Like mm -hmm. um did you like actively make a choice about that or is it just sort of like it felt like you wanted to go the direction you went? Um, no, it was it was an active choice. Active um, choice, yeah. A lot of it just is down to the point, or down to the fact that I want the content to be um, accessible to as many people as possible. And yeah. uh, one thing from content that or content that I've consumed, like I, in my personal life, like I, I'm I'm a trades guy. I swear a lot. Um, it's a habit I've been trying to break for a lot of years. I've gotten better with it. You know, generally there's better word choice, but uh, mm. on the channel, you know, like one one thing I noticed when, oh, I did get the dome. Okay, good. Uh, one thing I noticed consuming other content is that when people were like super excessively swearing all the time, yeah. it just, it detracted from the content I felt. Like yeah. the occasional like, oh, shit, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause no, like I, when I something agree. happens, it's, it's, I'm not going to go so far as to say it's appropriate, but it's like more appropriate than yeah. just every third word is like, you know, this yeah. F and that F and this, like there's, there's, there's better vocabulary. <clears throat> Where's Blastoise? We already did Blastoise. Go back and watch it. Yeah. <laughs> this is number two. We, uh, <laughs> yeah. we completed that one. So now we're, we're, we're going back and doing Charizard, which is exactly actually, uh, I'm feeling good about this one now. I've got three resets on Brock. Uh, Blastoise was like, I don't know, I think I beat the champion with less than three resets, it feels like. Mm -hmm. You cruised through Blastoise. I, yeah, it like. just felt so easy. <laughs> and then, uh, by the way, I checked it, and the Blastoise with two, uh, with both of the leagues, I got a faster time than my first league attempt in my original <laughs> video. So Yeah, that means you're learning. That's learning, a good thing. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Swearing is a part of life. Anyone does at some point. Agreed. Um, but there's there's a time and place, you know. Like uh, you have to be. Uh, biggest part for me is just being respectful. Mm. Just like you know. Yeah. Not everybody wants to hear that. I know a bunch, or uh, not a bunch, but you know, a, a handful of viewers on my side. They uh, they'll watch it and they'll have their kids in the background yes. or something like. And so it's like, nope. Like I'm. There are some yeah. mature themes that may arise from time to time, but for the most part, it's yeah. That reasonable was, that's like the that was, that was like my thoughts around the choice was just pokemon's a kids game i don't know if kids are going to tune in i just want to make sure that if kids do tune in and they want to watch that they can um mm -hmm. and i know as a kid like my parents sometimes it felt like they were looking for excuses for them to tell me why my interests were not good for me and right. I don't want to give other parents <laughs> the, the ammunition <laughs> there. They'd be like, hey, this this really isn't good for you. Like, yeah. this guy swears all the time or something. Like, no, no, no. If you're interested in something, just like, do we we learn yeah, digs. What? Yep. It makes total sense. That's cool. Oh, I'm out of embers. Whoops. Do I teach it now? No, no, no. I know I do. Uh, Charizard's another one that I was kind of on the fence about um, teaching dig for. Yeah. Because, like, I kind of want to teach it to the HM user so I have it for the rest of the playthrough. Yes, but... and that's typically what I use it for. Yeah. Okay. I might have put myself in a bad spot. Does this Onyx know rock? Or Geodude know rock throw? I don't think so. I died. Oh, no. Uh, back to Rival 2. Awesome. Woohoo. Oh, no. Doing good today. <laughs> All right, let's try. Okay, he switched last time. I thought maybe pivoting would be smart. No. Oh my gosh, that's good. That's good. It's a good day. Good day. Good day to run Pokemon. Apparently, uh, I don't know. Last time, I feel like I started off ahead of you, and then there was a <clears> certain <throat> point when I looked down, and you were right where I am right now. Yeah. Picking up like the rare candy and the citrus berry, and I immediately was just like, "How did that happen?" Like. <laughs> I was ahead, then I looked down, and now he's ahead. Yeah. I love how that works. <laughs> and you just have no idea how it happens. Yeah. Uh, Smash Math is asking how much an effect optimizing trainers for EVs has. Um, it's Good not question. massive, but it. Uh, I find that it does make an impact over a run. Um, especially concerning offensive stats and speed. So um, like in this run, for instance, throughout the run, we're going to be grabbing a ton of just mandatory speed EVs. 
uh, which is why I mm. felt very safe in going with a minus speed nature, because even the Aerodactyl at the end of the game, depending on what level we end up at, and again, I, I, I ran this like not even a month ago and I can't remember it, but... Uh, <laughs> we we also but, uh, like we addition no uh, additionally to that I, I went into a place i didn't want to go into but additionally to that <laughs> we also get the speed boost from surge's badge early yes. on that's another reason like a yeah. minus speed nature like if this was the same excuse me i uh, uh, drank some pop and it didn't go well um <laughs> but if, if this was the same as for instance pokemon yellow where speed boost is from koga I think it would be speed, a speed lowering nature would be more detrimental. But in this case, we get to go through the majority of the game with our speed boosted. I'm saving before this hiker this time. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, but yeah, absolutely. I, I think based on how much damage that rock throw just did, if I had done any one thing differently like if i had healed before going into that fight and i'm catching this spinner now um i wouldn't have reset there this is mm. messy now slow pokes doing things oh gosh oh yep yeah. well the good news is you caught me on a very good day for like talking but apparently not a very good day for playing <laughs> <laughs> i'm kind of like Humming and hawing right now. Do I care to get secret power or not? I feel like you gotta get it. It's so good. I, I'm i going for it, but... I gotta fight a bunch of Geodudes and they're scary because I just died to one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Where did my list of questions go? Let's see if I've asked nope. everything today. Ah, oh, cool. Now my timer gets to appear in the middle of my questions. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, so we asked about the challenges. About that. So, um, I have had a few people on my side of things okay. um, telling me that, uh, you know, watching my content has inspired them to start creating their own content. And uh, I know that this is something that I've heard you discuss in the past, but uh, if there was one piece of advice that you were going to give to yourself if you were starting over again, uh -huh. then uh, what would it be? Uh, the thing that immediately pops to mind is just like uh, some actually a piece of advice that someone else gave to me. Okay. Um, it was I believe sent to me in an email. I apologize if I'm forgetting exactly how it was delivered to me, but it was basically like if you are running a team or you're doing something where a whole bunch of people are involved you're never going to be able to please everyone usually at least 15 percent of the people are going to disagree with the choices you make and the approach you take to things and um just that's how things are and like you just need to be fine with that if this is what you want to do you're not going to be able mm -hmm. to create something that is like perfectly balanced for everyone and it meets everyone's needs mm -hmm. so like I think that would have saved me a lot of pain early on into the channel where everyone was just like, why don't you do things this way? Why don't you do things this way? And I was, I, I was genuinely like, I don't know why I don't do things that way. And I thought about it way too much and beat myself up yeah. for making choices, creative choices about the direction I would take certain elements of the content. So I think mm -hmm. that's one thing. Well, the decisions that feel good for you and line up with kind of like what you want to see in the channel, right? Instead of just like, oh, hey... Um, like one thing for me is like, oh, hey, RBY Pokemon challenges uses zero IVs. Why don't you? And it's like, well, why don't I? And so I went down this whole rabbit hole investigating <laughs> yeah. that for a few weeks. And it was absolutely the most awful experience of my life. I, so yeah. that's why I don't. But I can answer that question now. And I wouldn't have been able to answer without doing it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like, and I think sometimes experimenting. The, yeah. I think sometimes that, that ex exploration is good, but. I, I think that that exploration is actually like better for the content if you can do it from a place of like I don't have to please everyone like mm -hmm. instead of like I'm trying to find the way in which to please this person yeah yeah so now I just try and approach my creative decision making from the place of like I'm gonna examine what they have to say because I, I really do want to listen to people and I uh, improve myself mm -hmm. and and not uh, just like be stuck in my own biases forever yeah, yeah but, I, but I also don't want to 
try to please everyone. And like, I, I think that there's the potential to dilute what you do and make mm -hmm. it less Absolutely. interesting overall by trying to just like do something that appeals to everyone. Mm -hmm. Well, and if it adds unnecessary pain to your life and it's making the content more difficult for you to produce, like that's definitely a factor <laughs> as well. Uh, it's, uh, I find that normally my choices go the opposite direction where it's like people are like, hey, you could just do this thing. It would be easier. And I'm like, no, no, no. I'm going to do eight playthroughs. I'm going to do all of them without cheats. I'm going to do all of them without save states. And uh, <laughs> this is how I play. Uh, I remember your early days where you were like, yeah, but you know what? Two runs, that's just not enough. So I did six for each like, <laughs> yeah. Pokemon. <laughs> I remember like, what oh. I did the first video where I had two for each Pokemon. I, I thought it was like like way too much. I was like, this is kind of absurd. I can't believe I'm doing yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of Hall of Fame music. Nice. The best. I'm not there. It's just playing. <laughs> yeah, if you were there. Um I have to reconsider my life choices in Fire Red. I, I took Belly Drum. There's nothing. Oh uh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> Ah, uh, the eternal question. Do I heal with an antidote or go to this, like, heal room? Yeah. And it's like, oh, I always I always ask the uh, question of, like, is it is it actually taking more time to just open my inventory? Because sometimes it feels like the inventory takes a lot of time. It does. And so, like, um, one thing I've been thinking about lately is, like, my repels. Uh, yeah. So I know that super repels are more cash effective. Yes. Um, but my routing <gasps> just loves max repels so much. And um, sorry, what just happened? That, uh, sorry, I had a light bulb moment when you said that. That was yep. really, really, really smart. Um, I forget what I was saying. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, <laughs> uh, you were talking about like the, like, I, I just got blown away by the fact that you said that, like, you were thinking that, like, while super repels are technically oh, yes. more like money efficient the fact that you have to open the inventory more times yes and how my routing appreciates max repels more and so like mm -hmm. just for whatever reason they send they tend to line up and so like when i'm getting waterfall for instance um like typically about within five steps of picking up ref uh waterfall i can teach uh my repel expires excuse me and so yeah. in the same menu action i'm yes. teaching yeah, I'm trying to get as much done as possible with the same menu action. Yeah, I feel like whenever you can combine menu actions, like unify them. So I just mm -hmm. missed one earlier where I could have super potioned at the same time as like reestablishing a repel. Yes, whenever you can yeah. do that, you're saving time. And it's like yeah. the time you're saving is not necessarily the biggest deal if you think about it just from like a raw, like counting the seconds. But... It, it like cognitively the load of having to like go into the overworld, open the menu, reposition mm -hmm. the cursor, figure out where you are. Like all of that takes like a cognitive demand. And by the time you're at like, I don't know, like the hour and 20 minute mark, uh, these runs make you tired. So if you can save a little bit of energy yeah. and time at the same time, I think it makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah. Like even teaching oh. return, I do. Um, yeah. Yeah when I'm teaching fly at the same time. Right. Like just trying to do it all at the same That's time. Smart. Also, I I didn't disable the uh, barriers and surges gym, so I'm doing that puzzle oh, this time as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is what happens when you pivot uh, what you're doing midstream. Yeah, we, did, we didn't prepare for this at all. <laughs> like, <laughs> we prepared for Blastoise. We did not prepare for We Charizard. did. <laughs> Are there any items in these tunnels in Gen 3? I want to say yes, but I can never find them. And since I can yeah. never find them, I just get frustrated and I don't look them up. And that's the end of the story. Yeah, I don't think there's anything really useful there, like a rare candy or something. So I've just been mm -hmm. skipping it. And I was figuring I like the gym leader map right. principle, like if I haven't needed it until this point, if I look it up, I'm probably going to get it every time and then lose time. Yeah. There is a section um, which actually would have saved me in the last run between... Lavender and saffron, that little cluster of gl of grass that you have to cut into. Okay. Um, Between lavender and food. saffron. <clears throat> yes. Oh, um, you, I just like, walk around the top of that. Yes. Typically, I do as well. Okay. Um, and that's part of the shift that I'm looking at doing. Right. Okay. Um, because inside of there, I believe, is a citrus, a lepa, and something else. Inside like, the three inside berries. the grass. Inside, like, there's just those three? three little spots. Yeah. No way. Yeah. That's and wild. So, um, 
JP the Flipper was the one who pointed that out to me on uh, in the comment section, and uh, it's something that's been on my mind, but not present enough in my mind that I remember to do it, because, yeah, Aleppo would have oh. saved me last run. Yeah, 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 like, uh, there's also a Berry right before Victory Road, uh, oh, did it again. Le a Berry right before, uh, yeah, right before Victory Road. Mm -hmm. It's over, it's yeah, like one I of usually... the first ones. I usually grab the citrus there, but only if I've used my other citrus. Yeah, um, I just found the citrus um, a few days ago. Yeah, also if I'm hurting for cash, I'll grab the full restorer, but uh, that's yeah, yeah. not every time. <clears throat> Trash can berries are the only good berries. I agree, they're delicious. A yeah, little bit of floor that? spice makes everything nice. Just like go into the kitchen, like, grab some berries from the garbage can like Skirt here Charizard <laughs> <laughs> if you're feeling sick eat this I know you're I know we're on a budget right now Charizard buddy we'll uh we'll we'll, we'll feed you some something proper when we get to sell it on yeah <laughs> I can't feed you proper medicine because I have weird rules that don't allow me to do it <laughs> So how many times, especially I find in later generations, this happens to me, um, are you sitting there eternally watching your opponent full restore, full restore, full restore, mm -hmm. full restore, while you just keep doing the same like three moves because it's taken forever to knock yeah. the stupid thing out. <laughs> that, it's like uh, Blue's, uh, the Pokemon that jumps to mind is Blue's Gyarados in generation two. He, mm -hmm. he full restores it like three times in a row. It's It's gotta be one <laughs> of the most painful things. What it's just doing? disgusting. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I'm not feeling great about this one. You're um clearing the rocket hideout. Yeah, I just got out. I'm gonna get the charcoal right away, cause I got yeah. flamethrower, and I figure I can go to Erica before anything else and just get some more money before going to the department store, because in this run we don't need uh any TMs right from the. Do we need anything? None stand out to me. Yeah, I don't think no. so. Oh, did I just screw myself? Oh, thank you. Oh. I came in low health to another Geodude battle and oh, thought I was about terrifying. to get my butt whooped. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was using Ember against some Geodudes, and I just thought, like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. It's totally fine. And and then I'm, and then like it hit me with rock throw and did like a third and I was like okay I need yeah. to I need to actually focus and take these things serious. <laughs> yep, yep, that's what happened to me on route twenty five. I think it is. Also, I'm just like, why have I not taught brick break? I have ground coverage. <laughs> that's not metal claw. Ah, oh, there we go. Or not ground coverage, rock coverage. These things. Yeah. The ones that I live Can under. You train in Erica's gym. Um, okay, so oh, oops. going oh. back to the EVs topic, yeah. um, Erica's gym, you can always, uh, like choose one side or the other, right? So yeah. the one side, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Oddish, Gloom, it gives a total of six special attack EVs. So I will be going after those in oh. this run. Okay. On what the other you, side. Do, do Bellsprout, what do Bellsprout and Oddish give? Yeah. Um, so Oddish gives special attack one. Bellsprout okay. gives attack one. So on the other side of the gym, if you go up. It's two attack EVs from the two Bell Sprouts, and then one special defense. I believe it might be defense okay. from the uh, execute. Yeah, because there's the beauty that has Oddish Bell Sprout, Oddish Bell, Bell Sprout. Yeah, on sure. The, her I on skip. Right side. Just to, okay. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the lower one. Yeah. Yeah. Her I tend to skip because uh, well, it just it's four Pokemon. I I don't need to knock out four Pokemon. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> unnecessarily i'm getting like I, I feel ahead now and my brain is defaulting to what i uh, refer to lovingly as gengar syndrome when okay. i uh made my gengar versus alakazam video which is the video that haunts me the most on my channel mm -hmm. i should have uh, asked yes yeah that's the one it gets me i for like about a year i thought every day about taking it down oh uh, really yeah i just don't like it but it's what it's like a good performer on my channel so it's mm -hmm. a lot of people have seen me play badly um Anyways, I, I thought that because Gengar doesn't start with only Teleport and Kinesis, I could just Ooh. get Substitute and be really consistent with Hypnosis and beat Alakazam anyways, but turns out yeah. uh, getting Substitute takes a really long time and it's a really bad idea. Yeah. I, um, I, I unfortunately, um, your last community race, the uh, Delibird, yeah. I believe it was, I, I saw that it existed about 20 minutes before the cutoff. Oh, no. And so I was so disappointed because, like, 
I would not have played a like competitive run in Generation One, but I would have gone for substitute just for the memes. <laughs> like I, I would have been, I would have been in your meme category. That's fun. <laughs> I just realized yeah. that Dig is a TM you can buy. Yes. Uh, for cheap too. It and Brick Break. Um, That's what, embarrassing. What playthrough was it, Chat? I can't recall. It was a recent playthrough that I did. It was one of the starter runs, but I chopped and changed. I think I went through four or five copies of Brick Break throughout the two leagues. Um, just chopping and changing my moveset so much. Yeah. If uh, someone in the chat remembers, I can maybe reference that one to Scott. Do you ever run into this couple with the two fire types and as a double battle? I try so hard not yeah. to, but it happens. It does happen. <laughs> they, they, they've got me more than I would like to admit. Yeah. It's worse when you uh, are running somebody that doesn't have an answer for them. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're actually, like, surprisingly intimidating when you, like, first come up to them. And you're, like, not prepared. <clears throat> Don't they have a uh, Arcanine? Arcanine and Ninetales, isn't it? Yeah, so they are intimidating. Yeah. Ah! Ah! <laughs> 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 uh. uh. <laughs> So how do you feel coming from again from like well yeah even even playing Emerald about the fact that there are a million intimidates throughout the game and there are zero special attack style intimidates? Uh, I feel like there's significantly less intimidates in Emerald. Oh really? Yeah, like Emerald is filled with protect users like Pelipper, mm. Dustclops, just everything that wants to waste your time. Like I'm gonna protect, <laughs> and then when you think I'm gonna protect, I'm gonna hypnosis or I'm gonna uh, sorry supersonic. Like yeah, okay, thank you, Pelipper. We all get that you really, <sighs> really want to make like mess us up, but yeah. So <sighs> pretty much they just took Loister's Chlorola or Clois not Chlorolai. <laughs> <laughs> Lo Lorelei's cloister and just like made it emerald like made that the emerald uh, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so many just Pokemon stole. have that vibe yeah yeah <laughs> it's not fun um but uh the intimidate was uh, something I really noticed coming to fire red mm -hmm. the fact that there are just so many intimidate users uh, it really does feel like when you are either a blended attacker or a special attacker that, that there is a significant advantage uh, mm -hmm. which feels to me kind of funny because in generation one special attackers feel so much stronger than physical attackers overall mm -hmm. i would say just because the stat is used as a combined stat so if you have right. good special oh, you yeah. have good special defense as well um and that feels weird to like they didn't patch that in some way and make special attackers slightly worse right yeah instead they like we're just like no actually we're gonna split their stats but then we're gonna make all the physical attackers worse by adding intimidate Mm -hmm. And some of the trainers, like Blaine, he intimidates you twice. Yes. Brutal. Yeah. Um, that's why, like, when, like, with uh, neutral runs like Tauros, uh, I'm planning on redoing sometime soon. Yeah, uh, yeah. I always go for the Venusaur team because of the double intimidates, because I know that Tauros is going to be a, a physical attacker, because it's got, like, 40 base special. <laughs> yeah. Special attack, I mean. Um. But yeah, I, I found kind of the same thing. It's, it's weird because I always feel that the, the physical attackers have more options, I guess. But like, ah, that's, 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 that's not correct because the physical coverage is definitely better. Like every time. So maybe mm. the physical, may, maybe the way I'm trying to say this is that the physical attackers have less options, but they do them better. Whereas maybe, uh the special attackers have more options and more coverage, more diversity and all that, but they are like, they maybe it's just the fact that I like, there's no, like there's only tail glow kind of thing for, yeah. as a, as a plus two move for, for special attackers. And maybe that's kind of where my bias is, but I'm not sure. Anyway. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Depriving Either everyone way. of the Erica. Sorry. I took away the screen so you could see the wheezing and then realize that you're fighting Erica. <laughs> so no one could see the Erica oh. fight. <laughs> there wasn't much to see. I ran out of flamethrowers. I used oh, no. aerial ace. It's still one well, shot. Well, yeah, it's still fine. I went with yeah. uh, I went with wing attack so that I could keep the aerial ace TM. I did in my initial playthrough, and okay. then uh, I did not end up using aerial ace at all. Um, so I think in my second playthrough, uh, I just taught it right away. Yeah, it, that it's makes just, sense. It's such a useful coverage move it is, the entire yeah. time. Like... Blaine has Intimidate, though? Yeah, he does. 
two. He has the Growlithe and the Arcanine that both have Intimidate. Right. So yes, frustrating. Yes, yes, yes. Especially when you're beat up and you're coming into the Arcanine, you're like, oh, I know. Okay, okay, okay. I might do half. No. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Oh, Telgo is actually like, plus three. I feel the issue with that sort of thing is that when it punishes a Pokemon that's a physical attacker, it punishes them asymmetrically. So, mm -hmm. for example, like, if you're weak to fire moves and you're a physical attacker, now Blaine beca became, like, five times harder than he should have been. <laughs> Whereas yeah. if, like, if it was a game without Intimidate, then those Pokemon wouldn't be punished nearly as much. No. No, and that's, uh, yeah, like, that's such a, like, well, yeah, because the, okay. the physical side definitely gets punished more, and, like, but once, I, I don't know, I, maybe it's just the fact that more physical attackers seem to have the ability to set up, and maybe yeah. I just have, like, a lack of calm mind. You gotta, you gotta play more Gen 1 with uh, Amnesia, and then you'll, then you'll feel like special attackers can set up. All right, how do we do yeah. this? Where is it? physical move who are you on oh you're uh oh juggler on our mind how do you get by how do you get exciting. to this special area okay so uh up around the like uh just past the spinner okay i i, I hate it that we're so delayed but it's like oh, right oh, past oh, the spinner oh, oh. that wall yeah, yeah you can just follow it right back down on the oh, other side oh yeah. amazing <laughs> that is um, sweet if i forget I, everything else from this stream and remember that that is perfect yep yeah. Thank you, comment section. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Who else didn't yeah, know and, about um, that? Who in chat didn't know about that? That's a great tip. I uh, I have tried it in every other like game that includes Kanto that I've played so far, and Fire Red is the only one that has that little shortcut. No interesting. idea why. That's very interesting. Yeah, yeah super cool. It's very cool. I'm going to backtrack through it. Oh, that's so neat. I love that uh, they put that in. That's like a that's like a really nice little change up from generation one. Yeah, just nice little little quirks, eh? Yeah. Um I got a question from Deadpool. So Scott and Egg, who do you believe is the worst gym leader? The worst gym leader? Like in the whole series or like in this game? That was my follow up. So I'm gonna Search. say first in this game slash region yeah i guess you could include uh, gen one in this but then in general as well like just the your least favorite in kanto and then your least favorite overall let's oh. go with that well i think the worst is surge um <laughs> he's very bad i think even when he has a team and he's in fire red he's not that good um like both of the pokemon today have been weak to him and he's not been like terrifying nope. there's been not really any discussion around like what if surge is like the wall um <laughs> like, it's like happened. The, yeah like it's like very rare that that's the case yeah um so I, I think surge is is like the weakest or the worst uh i think overall let me think about that a little bit more you maybe you answer first yeah i was trying to think myself um i don't know if i have a least favorite in in this generation honestly like they all kind of not one of them stands out as like super outlandishly difficult or like unbalanced or bad or anything like that. I just, I, I can't. Mm. Okay. So and maybe that's just from playing so much fire red. Yeah. It's just because like I have been taken out by every single uh -huh. one of them. So now you have to, <laughs> you have to go and you have to play yellow version with an electric type or a fire type. Okay. And then you can come back and then you can say again that you don't think any of them stand out for being exceptionally difficult. Uh, <laughs> This, uh, <laughs> after that experience. Am I going to eat my words You will eat your words. <laughs> Giovanni in yellow version is, I think Giovanni in yellow version is, Giovanni in yellow version or Blaine in yellow version are, like, maybe the two best gym leaders in the series. They're very good. Okay. So, here's something, and this kind of floated around uh, in my uh, chat a little while ago. Um, but with the disassembly and access to all of that, how difficult do you think it would be to, um, what did I do against Blastoise in the last run? I can't even remember. Because ah. he's going to kick my butt. Ah. I need Sunny Day. Um, sorry, I got totally distracted and Blastoise kills me. Yep. Oh, no. Um, I forget. No, I'm going to Fuchsia. Uh, and because I got interrupted by paying attention to my game, I forget what we were talking about again. Uh, we were talking about, uh, gym leaders. Gym leaders. Uh, yeah, they've all kicked my butt. Wait, what else were you we saying? Search, you were saying something. Least favorites. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, it's gone now. It's, hopefully it'll come back. Oh, it'll come back. It'll eventually come back. Somebody in chat will remind us. Um, yeah, welcome to my life. Like this, if, if I don't write it down, then mm -hmm. it's probably in and out. And as the stream wears on, I think we're three hours in at this point. My uh, oh, yeah, three hours ability and four to, minutes. Yeah, my ability to oh. hold thoughts becomes increasingly diminished. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, like I, I feel like in in Fire Red anyway, like they're they're decent. Uh, like there's no yeah. gym leaders that overtly upset me. Yeah. Unless I'm stuck on them for you know. 20 minutes for no reason because of the Pokemon I'm running, but yeah, yeah it generally. It upsets me that they made Giovanni bad in this game, but... Oh, yes, you were talking about the disassembly, yes. Oh, so, yeah, the you, yeah, you sent me about the disassembly, something about that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, chat. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yes, so I was wondering, um, I don't think it would be a whole lot of effort, but how difficult it would be. Obviously, like with the evolutions and selecting the rival team, there'd be a little bit more quirkiness there, but... Um, just going into the disassembly and essentially creating all of the gym leader teams in yellow in fire red and how oh, difficult uh, that would be uh, and then trivial. replaying trivial trivial yeah trivial. and then playing through fire red as kind of like a yellow clone yeah can do that in um one afternoon like three hours maybe oh really yeah yeah maybe less um, maybe maybe you can we like we are we like we can literally <laughs> sit down and do that right after this like, like yeah. i'm quite confident that we would be able to put that together uh in very very short short pretty order. quickly yeah 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 because i the, think something like that would be a lot of fun like, yeah uh, yeah all of the team lists all of the team lists are just defined as lists of pokemon with levels and moves so you can mm -hmm. usually just go in and edit them i haven't looked at them in fire red specifically but in yellow and crystal they're exceptionally easy to edit Yes. Okay. That's good to know. And yeah, like I was kind of thinking that that would be like, cause there are ROM hacks that exist for it, but, uh, you know, that's, that feels, I like having stats, you know? <laughs> yeah. We yeah. would, there is a certain amount of like, you have to be careful with what is changed because sometimes RAM locations get altered. And if RAM locations get altered, then, uh, things like game hook will not work anymore. Yes, uh, Speedrunner and I, when we were uh, tech-solving that run, yeah. discovered that, uh, yeah, just the fact that they had backported that one, it's just, uh, I can't remember what it was, but I think it was something about the overworld and how okay. we just had to add an additional value to the overworld, something mm, like that. Um, yeah. He told me what to do. That, yep. <laughs> Sad. Got intimidated. Where are you? I'm, not even I'm oh, playing the rival. Five. Yep. Yeah. Hi, Annie. Uh, I completely forget where I am and what I'm doing. You were fighting Koga. I, I also saw that you like went to Rival 5, I think, and then went back. Yeah, I want Sunny Day, or wanted Sunny He's Day. It's terrifying. Oh, where's Sunny Day? Uh, Safari Zone. Oh, where? It is in Area 2, um, the kind of like the, the place where you step up, um, and they kind of have like the, the little mini lake and like the jut oh, out yeah, in the yeah. middle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so a sunny day is like right in that grass in, in that jut out. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So like, there's the the max potions kind of like in the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know where it right is. Right or left corner of it's that one. Egg it's bomb like in Gen opposite one. Opposite of that. Oh, is it? It's <laughs> egg bomb. See, yeah. <laughs> see why you I'd never pick it one. up. Very <laughs> <laughs> uh, case TM case. That's what I wanted. Yeah, I wanted sunny day. And we're back to that. Oh no, this is bike music. Never mind. Not game corner music. Biometal claw. Uh, can we get a Frankie check in? Where is the little guy? I think he's. Oh, he's on the bed. Okay. Is, he's behind oh, wait, my who's eyesight. Who's Frankie? Is, is this a dog or a cat? This is a cat. Aww. That was um, one of my questions I had for you because you said why are cats the best animal? Yeah. And so then uh, I so was like, are you also cat dad? Yeah, so last night I was, like, trying to come up with a couple of questions just to keep, you know, the stream engaging and interesting for everybody. And, um, yeah, my, my, we had, I had, like, game questions and creator questions. And in my, yeah. and then I had a little bonus question for why are cats the best creatures ever? Um, so, yes, I, I know that, Scott, you have churro. And, yes. yes, I've got little Frankie. I should not have gone. Oh, I wasted my cherry berry, but it's fine. Oh, my gosh. Churro um, and Rosie now. We have two cats, and then we also have uh, a third cat, which is a foster cat, which is in the room with me right now. I want more cats. Yeah. <laughs> My wife was like, hey, we should foster. And I was like, 
no. And then she was like, you, we should yes. really foster. And I was like, no. And then she's like, what if we just fostered for a little bit? And then you can like get a sense for how it, how cats are. And I was like, okay, like, I guess I can do it for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, as long as we're not like committing to anything and I'm allowed to change my mind if later yeah. I decide cats are not cool. And then within the first 48 hours, uh, I picked her up from work and I was like, we're adopting Tro. Like, we're going home. We're signing the paperwork <laughs> yeah. right now. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's done. Yeah. So uh, with Frankie, uh, he's my girlfriend's cat. Uh, was for, I think, around eight years before Aww. I entered the picture. And um, then I entered the picture and Frankie is now my cat. Aww. <laughs> She is devastated. Like it's like she, she's he's been like her emotional support animal for like years, and then I step in, and Frankie like he just he responds to me, and I Aww. I don't know what it is, but like he he loves me, and I messed myself up. That's really cute, though. I'm sorry, honey. I can't hear what you're saying. Uh, oh yeah, she's she's chopped liver. Frankie's only interested in me and my my butt touches. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, gotta love cats. Uh, other, I love all animals, by the way. But uh, as far as pets go, cats are like yeah. cats are my being. I uh, I didn't grow up with <clears throat> cats or dogs because my mom was very allergic, so mm-hmm. I had no experience. Uh, also, someone me- messaged or mentioned in chat uh, the cat. There was a cat brief cat cameo in my Electrode vs Magneton video because. Uh. Churro was making a lot of noise when I was recording and one of his little <laughs> meows s- slipped into one of the pieces of voiceover yep. and then by the time I was editing it and it, it, it was like two full days, eight hour days editing yep. and like we were coming down to the line like and I was I was getting worried that I was not going to be able to release it on time mm-hmm. and, and so then I was like looking at doing retakes and I did retakes for like four hours and then I was just like, okay, the cat one the cat line has to stay, I'm not going to retake it so then we and I just put in a, uh, I put in a little picture of him. Awesome. To go along That's so with awesome. It. That's so great. Yeah, I'm actually, um, it was funny last, uh, yeah, with your kind of follow-up question to, are you a cat dad also? Um, it was funny, at the very end of our call last night, you might have heard him when I said, oh, hey, Frankie, did you come to say hello? Um, that was him, like, at the bottom, of, like, just right beneath my chair, just staring up at me like, meow, can yeah. I come up? <laughs> Yeah. So oh, sweet. I love it. Yeah. I I thought getting a cat that they were quiet and I would be able to record and it wouldn't be <laughs> a problem, but Churro is <laughs> extremely loud. Depends on the cat. Churro's a little orange, little orange guy He's too, isn't he? He's an orange guy. He has all oh, the yeah. personality. Yeah. None of the brain cells. <laughs> no. No, no brain cells, all personality. <laughs> yeah, but you love it, it like anyway. I know. Oh, it's so good. Oh, there we go. Yeah, right. It's annoying. Yeah, see, like, I have to worry about these spinners, but with your anti-spinner tech, yeah. Um, you should be able just to, like, shoot straight the, down that path. Yeah, they can still get me if they have predictable motion. Gotcha. Okay. So, like, if they spin in a predictable way, the only ones I turn off are the ones that are truly random. Mm-hmm. Uh, because then, uh, like, even if I do play well and I, like, take my time and I try and get by them, the only way that I can actually consistently get by them is to literally just sit there and reset over and over again. Yeah. I, uh, um, I was trying to here. learn the bag trick, but, uh, it wasn't going well. It's very, it's quite challenging on four times speed. Mm-hmm. It's possible, yeah. but it, I find it really challenging. Yes, Absolutely. Uh, am I planning to get Swords Dance? Absolutely. The second it's available in the post game, I will be getting Swords Dance. You get it before the end, right? You can go to the Seven Island right away. Uh, no, you cannot get it until after you beat round one. Oh yeah, after you beat round one, that's what I mean. Like, oh yes, but, but like, once you one, yeah. once you talk to Celio and give him the ruby, he gives you the rainbow pass, and yeah. then you can go. Okay. Uh, it's typically like one of the first things I do, like because I'm usually just so yes. excited for first flamethrower. I'm just like, give me, uh-huh. give me now. Yeah, I can't remember. I remember Charizard needing training, but I can't remember where and why and when. <laughs> yeah, I, I did some in Sylph because I'm kind of worried about Lance's Gyarados. Yeah, um, Lance is definitely against fire types. One of the ones why I'd call Lance uh, one of the more challenging trainers. Yeah, and he is intimidated, and we don't get an electric move. Like an electric mm-hmm. move would really help. 
yeah. shockwave or something. Yes, definitely. Also, no ice moves for his dragon types. Nope. But oh, we do get dragon concerning. claw, which is nice. Actually, quite concerning. Dragon claw actually does um, do ah, good work. Yeah, you're right. We do get dragon claw. I always forget that that's a move. Yeah. People let me know about it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Robert, I'm going to the Sevy Islands. We're doing second uh, second leagues today because uh, Exceptional does second league on his channel all the time. So I figured this was a great experience for me to, or great chance for me to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and honestly, like watching you rip through the the Sevy Island last time, it's like the 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 first little section, like the one right after Cinnabar, is like you know it's pretty straightforward. But the, that second section, you just like you were on cruise control. Uh, I was impressed. No. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I think if you had got the me from like the very last run I did, it would it would have been slightly different. Uh, I'm mm. like I, it's feels like it's starting to kind of like come together in my brain as something that I can pull off now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when I tried to do it uh, the very first time, I think with Beedrill or something, like it, it took so long and I was all mm -hmm. over the place. My initial attempts were actually in my first video with Bulbasaur, but uh, you may notice that there is no round two content with Bulbasaur. Uh, the original video, <laughs> not the uh, the Bulbasaur line video that I made. Uh, and that's because Bulbasaur got through round two at level 100 with a absurd amount of sleep luck. Uh, mm. The other starters could not do it, so I elected to just not include it in the first three videos. And then Tauros ended up going into round two. I fell in love, and that's when I started evolving. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. interesting. And that that sounds like a similar trajectory that I've had with creation. So mm -hmm. at the beginning you said you were doing it was just Bulbasaur? Like not uh, evolving? Was, yeah, completely first first yeah, yeah, um, first stage. Yeah, unevolved only. Okay. Um I did Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander Ooh. as kind of like a figure out how to game. Sure. Or how to re cre content create, excuse me. Yeah, how to like uh, I don't know, torture yourself. But um, like w the, the the decision you came to then after that um, to like go for evolutionary lines, like uh, what would you say played into making that decision? Well, first off, um, this creator that I watched all the time was running Fire Red at the time and oh. uh, <laughs> was uh, not venturing into round two. However, he was experimenting with evolution lines. And that's something that I actually hadn't uh, seen in really any solo challenges. Yeah. Um, like typically it was always like, can I beat it with Sunkern? And then I play through with Sunkern. Can I beat it with, you know, Blastoise? And I yeah. just start as a Blastoise. Um, but yeah, seeing that, I, I just decided, you know what? Like, what 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 kind of essence am I looking to grasp in these runs? Like, what, what am I trying to capture here? And what I came up with is just like, I want to capture, especially in the first runs, like as much of a, like, this is what a first playthrough of this game looks like. And obviously I have played the ton of Fire Red. So yeah. take that with a grain of salt. But um, yeah, it, it's much more about like the adventure aspect and like, you know, the world of Pokemon and like, how would I have enjoyed this? And, you know, these kind of challenge runs are something that I thought about as a kid, but were never possible Yeah. Um, yeah with yeah. what I had kind of thing. And so like, how would the kid version of me want to play these runs? And it's exactly how we're playing. Like, yep. or yeah, just fully or evolving throughout because evolutions make this game, in my opinion. I love the evolutions. Right. <clears throat> yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, there's another content creator, uh, Squidgy, who does crystal yes. playthroughs, and he does evolution in, in all of his runs. So mm -hmm. that's like another person who's taking a, a similar approach. Yeah, I hadn't seen at the time, I hadn't seen a lot of Squidgy. Um, yeah. But yes, I've definitely become much more well-versed with him mm -hmm. um, and his content and uh, his play style, I guess. Uh, I'm going to save before Warren. He's scary. Yeah, Warren is terrifying. <laughs> Drake in, thanks for the two dollars. Dragon Claw Charizard is the new Earthquake Gyarados. Yeah, somebody mentioned if only Charizard got uh what's it called? Thunder Punch in this game. Uh mm. yeah, that would be nice. That would solve pretty much every problem that we're gonna have. <laughs> it would. Oh, I'm gonna ask a question that is uh really, really, really like in the weeds. So in Really, Viridian, what sorry? In the weeds, like okay. this is really detail oriented. But like in the Viridian City gym, do you ever, uh, 
Like, do you go outside of the gym and then come back into the gym to skip the spinning pads, or do you just use the spinning pads? I just go for it. I use the spin pads up to the um, karate guy, oh. and then I spin pad back to Warren, and then proceed okay. to Giovanni. Okay. Because uh, is it optimal? I don't know, but I, I, I yeah. think the I think that the um. Yeah, I think it, it the spin pads are fast enough that you can just spin pad through it in this game. Whereas in, I believe, yeah. Sorry, I was about to say in Gen One they're they're it, slower. Yes, in Gen One they're way slower. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and I I believe that they are faster than I think they're I think they mat they're just shy of the run speed or something in this game. Yeah, they're they're very fast in this game. So yeah. I was just like I was figuring that out, and I was thinking that the correct choice is to to just avoid them. mm Hmm. Or sorry, to just avoid like going back out of the gym. I don't think that makes any sense. Oh, you muppet! Come on. Sorry, not you, me. That's no, okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just got a reset for no reason. All because of a misclick. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, I want to see how you handle this. Uh, We're on the same fight. This is a uh, this is good. Yeah, this fight's sort of brutal. Wow. It's kind of feeling competitive all of a sudden again. Not like, hey, I'm 20 minutes behind. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. knock me into blaze thank you sir goodbye so um what i'm doing and you may notice uh, yeah blaze i was gonna ask about that too That's um smart. so bl blaze and all that it's not something that i aim for but what uh what i'm really doing there is i'm using sunny day to dance with blastoise so because okay. he doesn't see the knockout he wants to power up his water moves and he's going to use rain dance and then because yeah. i'm faster on the next turn he's going to go for water gun into his like because it's raining but I'm faster, so I'm going to set yeah, up the sunlight. And I can kind of do that dance back and forth. It's seriously how I got through um, Rival 6 and likely how I will get through the champion. Yeah, you oh, can, whoops, this play is also useful um, within uh, Crystal on Red's Blastoise. Ah, there you go. Because it will attack with Surf after setting up Rain Dance. And then you yes. can just Sunny Day it and take less damage and be like, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. na, 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 and then na, attack na. it once and then set up again. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, little things like that, That's you know. Like, and I'm so glad that it exists in Crystal too. So like, yeah. Well, I mean, I think that just comes with all of Pokemon where like just the more you play, the better you get. Yeah. As long as you're like investigating these options and trying to learn. That's a... Yes. I just like want to make sure that I'm always... Uh, I'm always like approaching this with that like learner's mentality. I don't want to... Don't mm -hmm. want to get uh, complacent and then... Uh, lose out on lose out on knowledge because I'm I think I don't need to learn something oh my gosh my right. substitute survives because I have the wow yeah that strategy is really good there that uh, fight substitute. felt almost impossible uh, and then it, it just like became very easy oh the sunny day the yeah. sunny day yeah. strat yeah it's so good yeah it changes things so much I think it was oh gosh I think it was like Hound Doom or something that I discovered the strategy on, oh, yeah. and it's just like, oh, it was beautiful. It was one of those Eureka moments where you're just like, I'm holding on to this forever. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it, there's no way to. Is there a way to rebuy Sunny Day? No. Do you know no, about this guy, Uh, I'm watching. It's like on the little island. Oh shoot! I just walked right into corner or trainer. Uh, yeah, no, that was the uh, ether I was commenting on last time. But oh, of course, okay. you you were ahead, so you were grabbing the uh, ass yeah. pair, I think. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. that thing. <laughs> the worst. And yes, I will game. continue to continue to pronounce it like that. Oh, I didn't get that or a candy when I went back there. Houndoom is solar beam. Yes, uh, Houndoom was definitely mixing in solar beams. I feel so bad for Houndoom. He uh, oh, he struggled Pokemon. in Fire that's Red. A bad <laughs> Yeah, oh, I feel like they did everything. Cool it's Pokemon. so cool, and then they just like they're like slow growth rate. Aw, like yeah, come on. Same with the uh, lantern is slow growth rate. I think I'm yes, surprised it is. by that. It is. I did it on stream the other day, and yeah. like the stream, I had like a complete technological meltdown. It was very frustrating. <laughs> oh no! Why am I still training here? I don't need this. I don't think. I think I was just like lost in the conversation, so I was just doing. Uh, I don't things. know. I'm still scared <laughs> for Lance, so I don't know. 
<laughs> no, Scott, you did Flareon. Thank you. Sorry about that. Yes, I did Flareon. For some reason, <laughs> YouTube did not update my thumbnail, so now everyone posts on my videos. Uh, huh. The thumbnail's Flareon. Something like that. <laughs> like, great. We have Wait, another we're, we're, meme. Our Blastoise sure looks weird today. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> we're we're, we're uh, currently doing the fire type Flareon. Yes. Uh, this Lumberry right here is a nice one to grab. Where is it? Uh, right at the entrance to Victory Road. Oh, Hopefully the delay, I, I see that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. I didn't know yeah. that, that was there. Um, oh, I've learned yeah, so much. Also... My brain, my brain. Oh no. Oh, uh, no. Somebody just mentioned learning Dragon Rage at level fifty-four. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> yeah. Um. Um. Do I my want... brain is like exploding with information now. Like I don't know. It's going to be hard to retain all of this because I yeah, feel like I've learned a lot. That's fair. I appreciate. I feel like the shared. the thing that I'm taking away from this is to remember to fight not the lass but the dude on uh, the SSN when I'm getting brick break. And oh if, yeah, if that, that's a that's a good yep. If that manages to stick, I'm considering it a success. <laughs> good. <laughs> um, so Lorelai, I can't remember what I did for her yeah. at all. Yeah, I. I, I uh... The league seems. That's the thing. Is like Charizard. Uh, this is my experience with Charizard and Fire types in Yellow version. Typically, mm -hmm. they're quite good in the early game. They don't uh, slow down at all because they can get through most threats with strong normal type moves, high attack stats, and fire type moves. But then, once they get to the league, they just tend not to have what they need for type coverage. They they lack the oomph. Yeah. Yeah. So these Nido Queen people, Nido King people, always got me. I remember <laughs> Dragon Claw. Don't worry. Uh, that guy with the double edge yeah, tutor, he always like scares me. I always think like, yeah, he's gonna he's battle gonna me. Beat me up. He's like, oh no, like <laughs> I'm almost there. And he, there's one guy left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm uh, putting my my tail between my legs, and I'm gonna go grind Victory Road. Mm, what level? Uh, what level? Are I'm you? fifty. Four right now in Lorelei. Okay. Um, I did not make it very far. I think the only reason I saw a second one of her Pokemon is because she switched, not because I knocked something out. Okay. That yeah, when that's happening, things are not going well. Yeah. Uh, uh yeah. I don't really wanna. Mm. Let's see. Uh, yes, we are still going. Uh, I've seen a couple of things. Uh, sorry, chat. I haven't been paying the most attention to you. I've been very much invested in uh, yeah, the stream I'm, itself. I also have to apologize to my chat. I've been like not looking at all for the majority of this run. <laughs> Occasionally glancing over. It's a, a having a conversation with someone on stream while also reading chat while trying to look at your stream. And occasionally looking at your chat. It's a, it's a lot. So yeah. Yeah, there's a lot going on. It's good, though. It is Would good. do again. <laughs> yeah, definitely. This has been really fun. Yeah, um, absolutely. Hopefully everyone's liking it. If you like this kind of thing, uh, let us know about it in the comments so that we know that we should be doing things like this in the future. Absolutely. And if you absolutely hate it, just click off the video now. <laughs> yeah. <Maybe. laughs> Why are you here? We're like three and a half hours in. <laughs> I have a key sequence that you might find useful. It's Alt oh. F4. Oh, yes. That's a good one. That is a good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm not sure if it existed back in the StarCraft days, but in uh, WarCraft 3, we uh, it was called QQing because Alt QQ took you out of the game. Oh. Um, uh, so did like F10 something something, but like yeah. the, the super speedy guys were using Alt QQ to quit Alt a game QQ, that was yeah. lost. Yeah, so I, I'm not sure if that was the same in StarCraft or not. With I the don't think that was the case. the shortcut. Yeah, I don't know what the shortcut was. I just clicked it every time, like a scrub. <laughs> yeah. Why did I push the boulder that way? That was the weirdest thing I've ever done. Yeah. So actually, that's something that uh, <clears throat> for anybody interested in content creation oh. itself on the uh, editing side of things. Oh. Um, one thing that I've been definitely trying to do a lot of lately is figuring out hotkeys and macros and things like yeah. that. So, um, yeah, like just, just in, in Pokemon, obviously it's a different kind of beast cause everything runs through a controller, but, um, 
in uh, other games, uh, I can't think of one off the top of my head, but just like knowing your hotkeys is yeah. so useful. <laughs> yeah. 100%. Yeah. I uh, I unbound every single shortcut within Premiere Pro and then I rebound all of them so that <laughs> I know that if I push a button, it has an intended effect or it doesn't yeah. do anything because exactly. I don't want to accidentally press something and like cut a piece out of the timeline and then people are like, hey, there's a line. It sounds kind of incomplete or like, mm -hmm. why did that line happen twice? It's like, it's probably because I pushed the wrong button at some point, didn't notice. Because yep. <laughs> I was focused on some other detail. So I just unbound yep. everything because I don't want uh, to make mistakes. And then I also, yep. Uh, yep. I don't know if you, do you use uh, Premiere Pro or do you use different software? I, the thing that gated me from Premiere Pro was the cost. It's and so expensive. So for the first year, I used Blender, which okay. is mostly like a 3D modeling software. Yeah. Um, but it has some video editing utility. Um, and then 2024, I switched to using DaVinci Resolve, oh, just yeah, the yeah. free version. Yeah, yeah. Holy, absolutely yeah. game changing. Yeah, DaVinci Resolve is really good. I could not believe it. And like the fact that I get not Photoshop, but you know, like there's PhotoP online for yeah. free again that you can use for Photoshop uh, capabilities. But like the fact that DaVinci Resolve is completely free and like it just comes packed with so many features. Yeah, and it's just, really good. Oh, it's amazing. Like they, they know that Adobe has like they're like they're, they are the number one on the market and they're hungry, which is why I yeah. love Resolve so much. Yeah, and Resolve seems like they <clears throat> care. Like, uh, Adobe does not mm -hmm. feel like they care. I use it because my video editor uses it, so we need to be on the same platform. Otherwise, it would get really awkward really fast. Um, as far as I understand it, too, um, like having multiple people working on one project, it's much better on the Adobe suite than uh, Resolve. Oh, okay. As far as I understand it. Yeah. Um, but for me and my purposes, yeah. like, yeah. yeah. I, I always recommend to people for Resolve if they're just starting out. I think that that is yes. the best, the better choice. Yes, I or agree. Um, I smashed my face into editing videos with uh, Blender for a year, or yeah, pretty much a year almost. And um, yeah, so um, I saw one of your questions you haven't asked um, was oh, about yeah. production. Was about production time. Yes, uh, it used, yes. It used to be the case where even when I was kind of rolling along fairly effectively, that a video, like just a single solo run video, would take me forty to fifty hours, start to finish. Yeah. That sounds about right. Um, and that is just like not sustainable long term. 100%. <laughs> like, it, yeah, so, you burn yeah. out real fast if you're trying to do that. Yeah, and that's one reason why like I'm just preaching DaVinci Resolve right now is because the amount of time I would have saved myself from learning a proper editing software to begin with. Yeah. It's like it is definitely a non-inconsequential amount of time. <laughs> like, yeah. So anyway, yeah. Um, but yeah, how about you? Um, I know you said that when you were starting, it, it took you like an absurd amount of time yeah, to seven, try and about seven to eight days to make a video. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I remember, and I remember panicking every time I was about to release something because it was like Saturday morning, and I'm like editing the audio, and I'm like, like, how am I going to get all this like effects and stuff processed in time? Like, I it just mm -hmm. don't like I didn't feel like I had enough time to do anything. Yeah. Uh, now it's like w like we're we we can if we. If we like really like go at it for the whole day, like just editing, like my editor and I can finish a video in a day. That's now. pretty wild. And like, I, I would love to get to the point where I can do a video a day, but like, it's just, <laughs> it's just me. It's just little yeah, old me over no, here, you know? It's, yeah, it's, it's something I feel you definitely grow into. <laughs> yes. I'm like, I'm really privileged in the, because like I have uh, the support and the scale to be able to have someone help mm -hmm. me. Um, but, but even then it's, it's very like, like it's taxing for us to do a video in a day. Like that yeah. is like going to be like all of my creative energy for the next four or five days. And I'm like going to be burnt. So yeah. it, it's not necessarily like the best idea to do it that way. I, I don't think that that's how I should be doing things long term. So it tends mm -hmm. to be that we do one video over like three or four days and I yeah. split up yeah. voiceover chunks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how, how do you prefer doing that? Like, do you prefer just like getting everything ready, doing one big chunk of voiceovers and then going back in, edit everything together. Ooh, as I just about smashed my water over, that would have been bad. Um, <laughs> well, I did that like, with orange kind of... juice once on my <laughs> laptop. This is the worst. <laughs> the keys were sticky forever after that. Oh gosh. Speaking uh. of Houndoom, actually, at the end of that video was when I spilled my uh, 
uh, you're yeah, you live in Alberta. You know what a schooner yeah, is, yeah. right? Schooner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, for anybody else, it's like a pretty much like a one liter. It's just a big ass glass. Um, <laughs> is the best way I could. Put yes. It. Yeah, it's very big. And I, I spilled the entire thing because my desk or my de my computer used to sit below my desk and I spilled the entire one liter onto my old computer. And that was just like a freak out and a half. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Scott's Albertan, too. Probably. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Couple uh, of Berta boys doing a Pokemon stream. Doing the Pokemon thing. Yeah. Yeah. Doing the Pokemon on uh, the Internet. What do you what did you teach Dragon Claw over for Lance? I haven't gotten to Lance yet. I'm still facing Lorelei because I can't remember. I'm so conservative I, with my rare candies, but I, I feel like I, I shouldn't be. Do. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I, I use my rare candies. I I just like I just didn't dumped them. Deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I think you're making the right call because the second you get Sword Stance, round two is done. Like <laughs> Sword Stance substitute, you win. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whereas I the Gyarados kind of, doesn't know any water moves. Nope. Not in round That's one. hilarious. Okay, so it's <laughs> so much better in the other game. Oh. Yeah. Uh, round two. I can't recall if it knows any water moves or not in round two. I know it has Earthquake, Dragon Dance. Dead, no. uh, the one that annoys me, Thunder Wave. Uh, what do I do against this Slowbro? What did you do against Slowbro? What the heck is this Slowbro? Uh, I think I just, like, flamethrowed it twice or something and got lucky. Yeah, I think I'm just going to dump all my rare candies in. There we go. All rare candies. Now I'm level 70. Let's save and lock in that decision and hope we don't regret anything. Yeah, that's <laughs> always the scariest thing. Saving it. Seems like Scott's going to win this for... one too. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't get so, don't get so confident because like fire types at the end of the game, things can go, things can go wrong. Yeah, I know round two though. Yeah, but like, uh... Uh, things well, can, that's what I mean. Like, go wrong, yeah. I know it, and so I know what you're right. looking like, what you're looking at, kind of thing. And like, we're in the same position. I'm just not as far as you in the league, and I'm just getting owned by Lorelei. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, I think I need God. to update how I'm doing this. I think I need Sunny Day up for. Excuse me, slow bro. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, I, that's that's what I had. I had Sunny Day and Substitute, so I was like maximum defense. Mm -hmm. I okay, only have my sure sunny right day defensively and Dugong, quit this I understand you have hail it's okay, let the sun shine in <laughs> <laughs> yeah Dugong, it doesn't have to be <sighs> moody all the time seriously so Dugong's okay. got like emo hair and walking <laughs> out to my chemical romance <laughs> MCR. Yeah, that's yeah, right. That's what, that's what the true Please. believers call it. No. Aerodactyl, <laughs> scary face me. Scary oh, face no. me. Why aren't you scary facing? Um, last time it scary face. We'll do it sometimes. Yeah, I know. It did scary face last yeah. time, but then this time it just ancient power spam while I'm trying to set up substitute. Um, that's definitely one of those cases where I just try as hard as I try to understand the AI, I just don't. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's some like AI documentation online that I think I'll look into regarding scary face. I think it's like yeah. When I looked into it, it's it says something like 86% chance if you're like if you have a lower speed value, that's Ooh. like the chance the AI has to go for scary face. Yeah. Okay, now I have my speed, so I think I win now. Oh. <laughs> I am just getting punished by Bruno right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, Caitlin, oh, that's gosh. why I wasn't going for Rock Slide is because Intimidate just, like, immediately takes away its effectiveness. I was, yeah. I, I kept Rock Slide for a long time thinking it would be good against Lance because he's got, like, a ton of flying Pokemon. But then I realized as I got here that that wasn't going to exactly pan out the way I was hoping. Yeah. I'm not going to have very many PP restoring items when I come back. That's what she said. Yeah. I might not be able to last. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> I asked the question in a video the other day, speaking of just like randomly moving into mature themes, but um, <laughs> do you think that PP ups and like lepi berries and stuff, are they just like little blue pills? I don't know. They could be. I don't know what, like, <laughs> I don't know whose decision it was to be like PP up. This is like the perfect thing to call this item. Like at what point were they like, <laughs> 
maybe we should try something else. You know what? Maybe like the what would it be? Mm. Power points. It would be the popo. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't that know. Doesn't like, work either. No. <laughs> power, like you need an abbreviation because you don't have a lot of characters. But yeah. they could have gone with something else. Uh, I've always loved having my PP up and strong. Yeah. Fifteen is less than twenty-four. Oh. Therefore, I go for the twenty-four. Oh. If I can. Um, another hidden item that you... Well, no, because you, you don't do the catches, that's right, so you don't have the uh, yeah. item finder. What's the hidden Never item? Never mind. It, it, it's only obtainable if you have the item, item finder. finder? Yes. Okay. It's a PP max on two islands. Ooh, that's one of my favorite items. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. <laughs> Does Dragon Claw have uh, a secondary effect? No, not that I remember. Yeah. Didn't think it did. Love the surf music. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, this is really Gyarados cool. is not a two shot. That is unfortunate. It was like sometimes a two shot for me, but mm -hmm. not every time. Looks like we're about the same level too. Um, shoot, I am out of PP. Yeah, we're Speaking, uh, and there's the scary face. And there's the ancient power. <laughs> Bad. Bad. PP max? Heck yeah. Always aim to max your PP. Yeah. Is there, Unless it's like, uh, you know, sword stance or something. Yeah. Or unless you're gym leader, Matt, and you're really smart about all the items you pick up, so you don't pick up any of the PP ups to get the best possible time, and then you do truly, like, prove your superiority. <laughs> so it's like, oh exactly. my gosh, this guy's good. Yeah. Remember, it's not about the size of your PP. It's how you use That's it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, uh, by the way it does say that i get a reset here in the league once i uh reset to pallet town uh, we i have i could not figure that out this morning i have code for it that's supposed to catch that and not make that a reset but it, it's currently not Ooh. working yeah i uh i do everything manually so you will not see a reset on my side <laughs> see when i do things Hopefully. manually then then nothing gets done on time. And yeah. uh, and then when I finally recognize that I have forgotten all of the things, I can't remember what they were supposed to be originally. So <laughs> it's like automation was very important. Gosh, I could use some. Like, honestly, like it, only a couple months ago, I changed my learn sets and my like spreadsheet that I copy and paste yeah, yeah. into. Yeah. Um, I only just a couple months ago set up my conditional formatting on that. Oh, and, yeah. Like just little changes it's like so that nice. save so, so much, much time. time yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, crit on Aerodactyl. I remember oh. when I used to do everything with the spreadsheet. Uh, I haven't even graduated to spreadsheets on most of my notes. It's just like sticky notes all around me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Lance. I have a, Lance I, is bad. I don't need as many notes anymore. My, like... Yeah. I don't know if you've noticed this or if you will notice this as you do more and more of this, but um, I feel my contextual knowledge at a certain point got to a place where like when it comes to a run, like I'm able to very quickly like like just skim through a video file and, and kind of pick up all of the main uh, mm -hmm. points. Like, like I kind of know where a certain type of Pokemon is going to struggle in a certain game so I can jump right. to certain moments and see like how they did and how I managed those spots and then quickly construct like a the blueprint for how the run played out in my mind yeah but early I on I didn't have that sense like it was I was like wandering in the dark and then yeah yeah, yeah. and that's uh that's definitely how my play feels today just wandering in the dark yeah <laughs> it's this has not been my best play um yeah, Lance is just messing me up. Uh, either Aerodactyl goes for Scary Face and the battle is over, oh, or no. Aerodactyl goes for Ancient Power and Dragonite takes me out. Yeah. That seems to be my... I, th I found, like, like there... This is another case where uh, Substitute was incredibly important. Yeah. And see, like, I'm, I'm trying to go all swag and avoid my substrats, but they are the best strats. <laughs> yeah, it's, I think they it's, are. It's confirmed. Yeah, I think they are the best. <laughs> Uh, especially with just this sheer amount of status in the league, like yep. par paralysis from Gyarados, Agatha's entire team, speed from Bruno, the champion. Uh, yeah. Round one champion has sand attacks and feather dance, which is arguably worse. When you like, say it just... that way, it's like, it's so obvious <laughs> that this move is great. 
It, yeah. This move might become one of the moves that's similar to something like uh, Curse in Generation 2, where you just kind of mm. see it in every playthrough, and we should expect to see it. And if you're not using it, then, like, what is really happening? I, I actually have a move restriction against it on my playthroughs, oh, okay. in my first playthroughs, uh, just because I used it so much. <laughs> like, when you... Okay, so when you upgrade the Swords nice. Dance... Yes. What do you upgrade? Like, what are your um, go-to moves? Like, Aerial Ace or something? Like, This is actually usually when I, like, completely rework things. Yeah. And so I, I would go, I think I would go for Sword Stance, Aerial Ace, either Brick Break or Rock Slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brick Break makes sense, especially for Lorelei. Yes. Um, Brick Break 2, I like the flexibility of being able to go and buy a few copies. Yeah, so yeah. you can just, like, yeah, just have them there. You if never you feel bad them. on um, learning Brick Break. No, no, it fe it feels good every time. Yeah. No. Okay, you're burned. Uh, if I could get like a burn on Aerodactyl or a scary face miss or I think that's the thing. Okay, so any combination of things that substitute would have prevented. Yeah, I I feel like <laughs> like substitute was not a foolproof strategy, but I feel no. that what it was able to do is it gave me like options in play. Mm -hmm. This is something that I like about rest, where most people will be like, you um, you like rest yes, too much. Yes, and that's yes. Fair. Did you do it? No, but scary face miss. That's oh, step nice, one. Nice, 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 nice. actually doing it. Oh my gosh. Okay, yes. <laughs> I feel like uh, um, any move, though, that gives you like the ability to play around stuff what? and, and on. roll with Sorry. different luck or that kind of thing, like... Those moves are really good for getting out of tight situations. And after you play a few of these runs uh, and you have a couple tight situations happen, then you want to... Mm -hmm. It's like, I notice that I, I look for things that that give me that flexibility. Yes. Oh, why did I reset? Um, So I was freaking out for a second there because uh, not only did I get a scary face miss, which was a win condition, but I also got a Dragonite crit, which would have also been nice in these several other resets that I had. Oh, nice. Like you, you crit against the Dragonite. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I, I got my, scar I got my scary nice. face miss from Aerodactyl, and then on the same battle, I got my, my crit against Dragonite. Oh, that's bad. Uh, okay... Hydro Pump still hurts. A lot. Yeah. Even in the sun. Oh, come on, Blaze. And a crit. Okay. I did get a sand attack, so I am really worried about surviving this, but... Uh, I'm so bad at the starter abilities. I completely forgot that they existed again. <laughs> so, yeah, we haven't really talked about the starter abilities. It's, it's something that yeah. I'm always aware of, but I find to be incredibly challenging to actually work into a run. I'm so screwed here. Um, simply because of the danger of sitting at a third health or lower. Yeah, that's what I find as well. Like And like coordinating that to be able to do it, uh, it just feels like a little bit tricky because mm -hmm. things can go things can go wrong much more easily when you're sitting at one third health. And so I always like, yes. I, I prefer to like just have full health and not like try and roll for blaze all the time. Right. Yeah. But, um, I find that like in the odd, I, I find it very situational actually. I think that's how I'm, it's like, I'm the best way I could put it is mm. this, that it's so situational where it's like, Oh, Hey, I find myself in blaze range, this is going to yes. be useful. Yes, 100%. But I don't actively pursue it. Yeah. Oh, I one-shot right on last time, and now he's scary-facing me. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Substitute would have solved this. Double! I really like yeah, this spinning resetting. puzzle in the rocket area, because I like the fact that they make you feel <clears> like <throat> you should step onto the spinning pads, but then the mm -hmm. actual solution is to walk through all the spinning pads. <laughs> that, I like that little like logical uh, switch yeah. up. It's yeah. really nice. I also like um, my my friend and I. We uh, have just started playing through. It's an old NES RPG, but it's called Lufia Two. It's uh, okay. not one of the more popular ones, but uh, we were just commenting on um, like just kind of this old like these old school RPGs yeah. and like just the puzzle mechanics and things like that that existed in them and just how. How I missed that. <laughs> yes. 
Oh, and I got put to sleep because he's faster in the sunlight. Ugh. <laughs> By the way, if you're using Sunny Day, Executor does have chlorophyll. Oh, what does that One do? One thing to, uh, what does that do? doubles its speed doubles in its speed. sunlight. Oh, so okay. it's fast. I think, fast oh no, that's boy. round two. Round, oh, I missed. No. No. <laughs> that's painful. That was uh, it. That was it. That's the second time that was it. Uh, good. It's good. Um, but yeah, just like the the old school puzzle, like the puzzle aspects in some of these games and like just how like I, I miss the puzzle aspect in Pokemon. Yeah, I agree. I, I like miss puzzles where they're actually trying to be puzzles instead of just like, yeah, hey, like heard some woo just, around. It's like, ah, uh, like, yeah, this isn't really no, a puzzle. Like, Surge's trash can puzzle isn't really a puzzle. Yeah, that one's like, a bad example. Yeah. And the crit from Blastoise. There there are definitely like a lot in the early generations that are not good puzzles. Uh mm -hmm. they, they, like there's some that are just like, oh, they were trying something out and like it it's not actually that interesting, like, to come back to, because Surge's is just mm -hmm. random. Yeah, but there and are other that's ones like that it's, are yeah. Really fun. Yeah. Uh, Chris Dixon, member for four months. Thank you very much. Oh, Lufia 2 oh. is one of your favorites. I uh, I was actually talking about how I'd love to bring Lufia to the channel in some capacity. Just like, even just as a playthrough, like a showcase of like, this is an awesome RPG that you should play. Thanks, Rhydon. I don't know anything about the game, so it'd be good to hear your, That's fun. Hear your perspective I, um, on it. Yeah. yeah. Also, like, just like... Again, don't get me wrong. I love Pokemon. I love Fire Red. I love branching into Soul Silver and telling a different story for the first time in a year. But uh, I'm definitely looking at like no. opportunities to tell a different story. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. And for me, it's like I get so terrified every time I think about <laughs> doing something other than what I'm used to. <laughs> Just yeah. like I have like uh everyone's like, you should play something else for a little bit of variety, and my brain's like, oh my gosh, that sounds terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> That's um I've kind of felt really stretched thin lately because mm. like I've been learning Soul Silver as yep. kind of like my, yep. my side project, and then uh I've been playing through it's over now, but I was playing through Pokemon White for the first time. Okay, yeah, yeah, um, I saw that. You had some streams. I yeah, I felt so stretched thin trying to like juggle even oh. just the three games yeah, yeah, yeah um like it just it yeah I, I don't know how you're currently running god right on uh six games is very very hard yeah it's technically i'm never five getting that regular this but stupid champion oh my gosh you can do it i believe i just i keep getting like Bad luck when I don't need it, and or sorry, bad luck when I don't need it, and good luck when I don't need it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, uh, and just like with no rare candies, like this, this, this is kind of like that um, situation that I'm, really, oh, I'm just resetting. Screw this. Um. Anyway, words, things, substrats, substrats. Yeah, I we should. I'm oh. tempting, tempted about it, or tempted for it. Thank you, Caitlin. <laughs> I appreciate you calling me on that. I accidentally took down your, your video and people were like, where did it go? Oh, no. Sand attack. I will beat you. Come on. Well, that was bad. Citrus berry. Yeah, I'm just going to watch Scott stream. My, 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 mine is over. This is, this is a foregone conclusion. <laughs> oh. oh. Dugong is I'm out of pretty good. Uh, she does tend to go for a ton of double team. Yeah. In uh, in round two. Like, really? Oh, gosh. Ah. Should have taken that advantage, that opportunity with the healing item there to sort stance again. I'm blacking out if I don't do it this yeah. time. This is, this is too much. This is two runs in a row where I've ended up in this situation, and I'm just going to start swearing and just getting frustrated and not having fun. So yeah, yeah, yeah. let's just do the smart thing. Yeah, blackout, level back. up. That's like the, it's always the thing to do. Uh, not even. I'm just going to go get substitute. Oh, yeah. Substitute <laughs> will, it will really change things for you. Yeah. I just have to play a little bit of move said judo, but that's it. Okay, so being conservative on the setup here was not the play. Plus four for the for Lorelei. Better than plus Lorelei, two. Lorelei, 
Yeah, generally, I just try and get my setup against Dugong, and like, yeah. like, like you were saying earlier, if it works, it works. Why I'm in the department yeah, store? Yeah, if it doesn't work, um, it's fine. Like, just try again. Yeah. It's a quick reset. Quick reset, exactly. Uh, thing of a rock move. It does. Okay. Let's get like four copies of Brick Break because sure. Yeah, this is nuts. I uh, I can't believe. Well, and yeah, like this is. I think it also speaks to, uh, like, a lot of the time I'm doing these first... Well, I do my first oh, no. playthroughs and second playthroughs completely, like, alone, in silence. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a totally different experience when you're playing and there's no one else there and you don't have to, like, construct intelligence, like, thoughts. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have I to am so screwed. Remember that I have to fight Agatha uh. next and we don't want to mess up, so we want to aerial ace for this one. Substitute kills my move set. Does it? I don't know how I get through the league with this move set and substitute because I lose aerial ace, which I don't want to. You can I lose, lose dragon claw I, for Lance. I did flamethrower dragon claw. That's what I did. Uh, you're in round two. I'm still in round one. Oh, that was what I did for round one. I think. Yeah. Um. So you got rid of uh, aerial ace, but I kept aerial, aerial ace, ace until now. I want aerial ace though. Oh. Uh. Very bad. Uh, I was thinking about Sunny Day, but Sunny Day is our win condition against the champion. We do not do well against Blastoise without Sunny Day. Uh, shoot, man. I can't think. <laughs> uh, let's see. Dragon Claw, uh, uh -oh. Aerial Ace. How much do I need Aerial Ace? Oh, I'm getting stuck now. I need, yeah. I'm going to get rid of Aerial Ace. I'll just grab Rock Tomb or something for round two. I hate it, but whatever. Yeah. Maybe it'll get me through round one. <laughs> All right. If not Sunny Day, I vote Aerial Ace. Yeah, that's what I went with. Let's uh, hope that that was the right call. Lorelei's going to be a whole lot worse now. Uh, Bruno's bad. <laughs> oh, gosh. He is really bad. Yeah, I need... I think he has to miss. I think the Steelix has to miss. I have an alternative for you. What's the alternative? Uh, hail continues to fall. Uh, oh, you don't have Flamethrower anymore. No, 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 I gave it up. I see. Never mind. No alternative. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, no? yes. Okay, so this is probably <clears throat> Blackout attempt again, I think. Because... Um, Oh, so how often do you find okay. that you get caught up in things like um, always going for super effective moves, even <laughs> though the resisted move would probably be doing more? Yeah, that, that happens quite a bit. There, people always mention it to me uh, in the comments, just like, oh, you're getting like caught with like the super effective moves again? Like, yes. Yeah. It's really easy <laughs> to just see the super effective. Oh my gosh, really? Okay, so it missed Rock Tomb, and I think I'm going to win because of that. But yeah, it's like if it... Um, a lot of times I'll do that, especially when the not resisted move is a normal type move. It just seems like so mm -hmm. obvious to just go for the super effective move. But Right, yeah. yeah. Also, I find myself also using stab moves when I should be going for uh, just like a non-stab move that does more damage. Mm -hmm. Like I'll yeah. just like blindly use, I don't know, like flamethrower or something. And it's like, well, it would have been better to go for dragon claw or something like that. Right, yeah. I'm getting better at it, but I'm still not great. Yeah, yeah. You really have to be careful here. Yeah, and yeah, Axew my, on my side is uh, raising a good point where, yeah, it kind of all boils down to effective power where, like, yeah. Stab Earthquake yeah. is the same effective power as Super uh, super Effective Rock Slide, so it's yeah. like, well, which is the better choice? Yeah. Uh, let's use these PP ups <laughs> because... <sighs> How's honestly. your side going? Uh, the Gengar just missed Hypnosis three times in a row. Uh, he's just going to miss forever. Yeah. yeah. You can just set up with D impunity. But, like, uh, <laughs> Substitute does not block Hypnosis in this game, right? It does. It does. Mm -hmm. Unlike... Okay, so that's the difference between Generation 1, then. Huh. Cool. Um, there's a couple things that I'm still getting used to it not um, blocking, like attract. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. Okay. Um, as well as like Sleep. if you're making contact, so like poison point will always come through a substitute. Yeah. Um, what about like a sleep powder or something? 
Sleep Powder, Hypnosis, Thunder Wave, all of it. Uh, I have not seen one of those penetrate a substitute. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah. Uh, substitute also blocks Curse, apparently. Interesting. Oh, really? That's wild. That's what uh, Axie was saying. That's yeah. neat. Uh, if Axie said he's 100% right. <laughs> he knows what's up. He does know what's up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very, uh, very, very fair, good point is contact, generation yeah. two runner. Uh, gosh, I'm hitting that PP wall again. <laughs> yeah, might have to grab something and go back to Sylph or something. Grab an elixir. <clears throat> Do you have a oh, white right. hope? No. <laughs> you friggin. But this thing's gonna spam uh, Thunderwave. There is no white herb available in Fire. There's right no now. white herb. None. Not one. Oh, that's painful. It is. Yikes. It really, really is. The amount of times where I've been like, gosh, a white herb would solve this problem. Yeah. Yeah, no. Interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, who is next? Is Aerodactyl next? I'm tossing up a substitute. Can't remember, so let's block the hit. Block the scary face. Eliminate all of the problem that I had with Lance. There it is. Nice. Oh, gosh. And see, this is what I get for being stubborn. Because sometimes it's just like, no, I'm not going to use substitute. Nah, 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 nah. And then yeah. I just get stuck in this mindset. And clearly, it was, the, excuse me, the better choice. Yeah. It, like, sometimes I do that, too, when I start a run. And then, uh, like, the thought that comes through my mind is, like, I want to make this enjoyable for the viewers. So then... Yes. Oh. So then, like, I don't want to go for, uh, for instance, a strategy that's not going to be interesting. So I'll choose something that is less, uh, more interesting, but less effective. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it just performs really badly and I look terrible and everyone says, like, why don't you just do this thing? Like, okay, yeah. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Fair. Yes, it's better. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that's kind of the point that I had so with I Substitute. That? Where it's like, that. Oh, well, okay. Ah, oh, sweet. Crit Blastoise. Suck it. Yeah. Um... But yeah, where it's like I this this is just how I'm gonna play the game. Like I, it's how I enjoy it. It's how I run. And yeah, I, I think I kind of lost track of where we were going with that one. Oh, uh, the yes. Blastoise crit me with Hydro Pump after I got a really lucky Heracross. Because the so, Heracross, yeah. the Heracross, I think needs to miss. The Rock Tomb is pretty brutal. Yeah, and this is why I was saying earlier oh, really? um, about needing Sunny Day for Blastoise because I remember this in my in my run when I hit the champion with no Sunny Day this time. I had Substitute and Swords Dance, which was Slower. glorious, but uh, you got to be able to set up. <laughs> yeah. Blastoise has 138, uh, 145 speed, so because of my speed lowering nature, I am just a little bit slower when I get hit mm. by Rock Tomb. Yeah. That's something I didn't factor in when doing the initial calcs was mm. the fact that the blastoise come on you gotta miss it once okay do i not oh i don't have my catches okay i gotta reset my run real quick and get my okay, catches put sure. in here oh why am i using break 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 reason not as good da, da, da. now Falling which of the seven <laughs> Which of the 7,000 videos or, or tab or windows open on my screen are the actual one I'm looking for? Bosses could miss at some point. Oh. There we go. oh, oh, we did it. Knock the blasters out. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, at least at least Rock Tomb is 80%, right? Like it's uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the when you're it, when you're apparently. Fishing. Apparently, the Heracross can also choose counter. I did not yes. expect it to be able to choose counter, but it can. Now, do I die to the extreme speed? Uh, the fine. counter is super funky. So, like, I always find that if you use a physical move, he is more likely to use the counter. But then randomly, he'll just counter on turn one. Like it, The counter is such a weird thing. Like, I, I have not figured out yeah. how he uses it. I wonder the if it's like, crashed. if it does it based on the move that you've used. Okay. Okay. Um, I know with Bruno, for sure, anytime you knock mm -hmm. out, or not anytime, I should say, um, most of the time, when you mm -hmm. knock out his Steelix with um, oh. with a physical move, his Hitmonchan's first move will typically be counter. Yeah. I have noticed that. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm off here grabbing the leftovers again. I'm just turning around and heading back. <laughs> it's just such a habit. <laughs> Actually, no, I am going to continue along. I'm going to grab the leftovers, even if I'm not going to use them, because uh, I want that rare candy. Oh, that Blastoise is just beating you up, eh? Yeah, it's the combo of the Blastoise, the Heracross followed by Blastoise followed by Tyranitar. The Sandstorm mm -hmm. that gets set up chips away at me just enough to let the Arcanine KO with extreme speed after. Yep. It's so like the combo nasty. is pretty brutal. Yeah, there are like a I... couple ways that I can think of playing around it, but I'm not sure what the best one is right now. I just know that if I get hit by a rock tomb, I I think I lose because I then don't outspeed the Blastoise. That's yeah, yeah. I would uh I would definitely be okay. fishing. Well, I mean, that's what I was fishing for last run. I just didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. And, like, setting up Substitute feels bad, too, because you're just gambling that either the Blastoise or the Heracross misses. Mm -hmm. Like, now I yep. have too little health, so... Is it, yeah. like, the yeah. Heracross and the Blastoise both need to miss in a row, which does not feel... Again. good. Uh, oh, shoot. Um, belly drum, where are you at? Exactly. Where's okay. my belly drum? switch okay. my brain off and just belly drum through the game this is silly but okay <laughs> so turn one rock two um, miss turn two counter what is so i can get happening? substitute plus sword stance really silly why are these rockets not active did i not talk to celio um i talked to celio or national decks I could have sworn I talked to Oak, but... Oh, I didn't talk to Oak. I did talk to Oak, but my decks didn't have the count, so yeah. I left the lab, updated my... Yeah, you, you know, you know how I... Oh, gosh. Turn. Oh, my gosh. Executor. What was that, buddy? <laughs> that, I didn't realize that thing had, like, good moves. Is In Gen 1, it does not have good moves. Um, Psychic, oh. Egg Bomb, oh, no. No, or Sleep Powder, and oh, something else, I think. Um, But yes, you were saying... Uh, I just had a painful loss. All right, oh, fine. Oh yeah, I see it. And there's the overheat. Brutal. Don't want to do this, but there All right. are two different options. <sighs> it's silly. It's silly. I don't have a rappel on. Oh my gosh, you're going for rest as well? Yep. You're just going, oh, I still don't have a rappel up. Uh, you're just going like full tank. Or like full like set up and hope. <laughs> set up and hope, yeah. Oh, well. and now I got these guys. <laughs> uh, I will make it to that league eventually. Yeah, you might catch me, honestly. <laughs> this is how fire types always feel. It's like mm. they're really good, and then when they get they encounter um, a problem, things just get, yeah. get real bad. Okay, I already fought you, so I don't have to worry about half the spinners because I fought them on the way up the first time. <laughs> also, I see the comment uh, about uh, using pressing B during the flashbacks. Yeah, it's an execution thing where right now I'm not doing it. Um, okay, it took I'm a long push. time for me to get in the habit, so I think you have a turbo function set up as well, yes? <laughs> yeah, I do. It's it just like I... I'm scared of like pressing B before getting into the save file. Mm, fair enough. So like, like there, I pressed B when going into the save file. So like I backed out right. and then went back in and it just like looks ugly and I waste time. So that's like, that's yeah. like uh, why I struggle to do it. If I could just like spam A, then it feels easier. Ah. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely- uh... Isn't Earthquake just better than Brick Break? Yeah, probably. Not necessarily. <laughs> it depends on who you're using it against. Honestly, I haven't been thinking about Earthquake. If you've been... If you're using it for T-Tar, then Brick Break is way better. Yeah. Maybe not way better, but it is better. Oh, Rainbow Pants. Uh, I'm not going to go get Sword okay, Stance are, quite yet. We are going to go to Earthquake. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, Brick Break can hit Aerodactyl neutral, Earthquake cannot hit at all. Yeah, yeah but you can uh, teach Earthquake after, so... Yeah. Like, yeah, it's better for the Blasters because it does more damage, but it also does more damage to, uh, the Arcanine. Mm-hmm. The Arcanine, yeah, is, the Arcanine is a problem. 
Typically, Did though, I find it's the Arcanine. Um, where's my repel? There it is. Um, I find that the Arcanine, like, it's it's extreme oh, speed or bust because he's yeah. such a pain. Or can be, I should say. We're slowly, we're slowly getting towards the final move. I think Earthquake is definitely it. Also, this reset counter. <laughs> I'm at 41, so you're still doing better than me. <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, it's we're both not. We've both got a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would definitely say that this stream, I was far less focused on play and more on like the conversation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is what I need. This is what I need. Yes. Oh no, not cut. Come on. Dig, please. Come on. Counter. I saw the counter. That's good news. Ah. Uh, oh no! The what pain. happens? So plus four uh, earthquake does not one shot the. Oh the no. Blastoise. It lives it. Yeah. So now it's like, do you add that extra like set or turn of like setup and risk it or like? <laughs> All that matters is we have fun. Exact. Ooh, excuse me. Exactly. Uh, so, yeah, but Sunny Day Flamethrower is not possible right now. Because, like, I unlearned Sunny Day, and I don't think there's another TM to obtain. So I can't go back no. and do that in this run. We could do that Charizard? in a secondary run, but... Charizard doesn't learn Sunny Day naturally, does please. he? No. Uh, please. Just... I don't think it gets Sunny Day naturally, no. So I don't think we can move no. Reminder that. Yeah. No, I don't have a rare candy. Use them all before Lorelei. Okay, well, it <laughs> The first Lorelei. <laughs> yeah. No, I, oh, I used God. some before the first Lorelei, but then more, and now. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I have, like, fully three more. dumped before first Lorelei. Because I, I get, like, I two know. more in the uh, Savvy Islands. I think I saved one before initial Lorelei. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get extreme sped here, aren't I? <laughs> Actually, that... Me. um. It's going to get the me. The lost... Cave one was it the rare candy yes. that you were looking up? Um, yes, that oh, one. I did I'm, it. I'm not super familiar with it. You did it, nice. Yes, way to go. Oh, I forgot I'm that I had a substitute up. I was just like, I was like deep in the hopelessness, <laughs> <laughs> and then it attacked me and I lived. Oh. And that is why you always play through every attempt. <laughs> yeah, oh man. All right, so actually, the Hall of Fame. Oh, never mind, that's game corner. Uh, oh gosh, not bad though. Like, yeah, still under two hours, and it's a second leak. So, your timer's yeah. still going. I know I can't stop it. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> uh, Has a mind of its own. Yeah, yeah, the timer is automated. If it does not do what I want, then uh, then the timer just will not do what I want. <laughs> I guess I can press the toggle oh, button. I don't know if that pauses my software. It does too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 like the complications of, of automation, right? Where it's like, everything is easier, but it's also more complicated. Yeah. <laughs> what I My really want to, oh, whoops. I really want to get There's... replays working. That's another thing. Like we were talking earlier about, um, things that like problems we're trying to solve currently. And like the current problem that I'm focusing a decent amount of my time and effort on is how to get replay files for every game that I'm playing on the channel. So essentially just like an input replay that can recreate the exact RNG at any moment within mm -hmm. the game. So if I want to recreate the exact run and refilm it with like uh, changes to the overlay and that stuff, that, that'll be possible. Makes remastering older videos possible, makes streaming in a lower frame rate and then upping the frame rate for post-production possible. And then also oh just gosh. like fixing a bunch of production glitches that happen when you first film and you recognize like oh double slap has the wrong move icon which is something that i noticed <laughs> during this playthrough whoops Oops, sorry yeah no 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 i uh yeah i had something to add there but now i can't remember it so hmm. <laughs> ah typical day yeah yeah and definitely like we've been streaming for like what approaching four and a half I think hours it's like four we... hours or something yeah it's a lot we met up for a call beforehand just to make sure we had our ducks in a row. So, like, uh, I'm getting a little tired. I'm getting a little hungry. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it's always the case. And, like, this, is, this has been the case since I was, like, a little kid where it's just, like, you're in it, right? And you're like, no, I'm just going to keep playing. Yeah, I'm just going to yeah. keep playing. I want to keep going. And then, like, as an adult, you hit that point where it's like, yeah. oh, wait. 
there are limits. My uh, <laughs> my wife was in it last night like that. Like she's playing Baldur's Gate and she was playing the very last oh. battle. She's like, yeah, like like just before dinner, she's like, I think I'm like feeling kind of sleep deprived lately. Like I need to like get more rest. Blah blah blah. Yeah. I'm like yeah, it's a great idea. Like I support you in that. She's like, I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. I'm like, great, great, great. So then she's mm-hmm. playing the Baldur's Gate battle and I look down. It's like way past our bedtime. Like <laughs> hey, like it's probably bedtime. She's like, no, no, no. I have to finish this. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just one more just one more just one more yeah, oh, like yeah. we we joked about it back when it was like the minecraft days it was always just one more block one more block mm-hmm. <laughs> all of a sudden it's five in the morning yeah, yeah. oh i feel yeah. like that with coding sometime i'm like i can solve this problem like i just gotta try one more thing and then i'll, <sighs> I'll, I'll get the breakthrough i need and then you try one more thing and it's like no 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 no. but i have this other idea like i'll just try that yeah. and then i'll fix it and it's like six hours later it's like two in the morning and the bug is still yeah. there you're just like, I I can't, I can't, but like, I have to, but I can't. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get that. There's There have been many, many moments over the last year. Um, for me, less on the coding side, obviously, and more on the production side, where it's just like, like I'm trying to like recreate my gym leader intros or something, and like, yeah. they're almost there, but I just tweak this little thing and tweak that, but then it doesn't quite spit the way I want it, and just, oh yeah. I, I like your gym leader intros. I, uh, I do too. They're, yeah, they look really I, I good. Really like Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I really enjoy the new ones. Yeah, those are always <clears throat> fun to make. I gotta redo the ones for my Gen uh, Gen Three remakes. They're not very good. Mm-hmm. Since I'm clearly not winning this race, I'm uh, gonna divert because I do not have aerial ace. I'm gonna divert ah oh, and get more experience along the way because I need that. Oh um, no. I'm gonna divert to Rock Tunnel to pick up Rock, rock Slide. Yeah, yeah. Uh, rock Slide is almost gonna- like. Like, I, I wonder if it would almost be better to just go and get it before the second league rather than trying to take it along throughout the first, excuse me, the first playthrough. Mm-hmm. Because it seems like once you get Sword Stance, Rock Slide, like, the the usefulness of Rock uh, Slide is going to increase. Oh, yeah. Hugely. Yeah, Hugely. yeah. Especially for Lance. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> All right. I have Substitute, I have Sword Stance, I have Rock Slide, I have Brick Break TMs. Let's beat up a league. Let's do it. I'm ready. Hopefully with a bit more, you know, the true <laughs> confidence speed run. than the first one. <laughs> the true speed run we have to do is fly to every city on four times game speed. On four, exclusively. Exclusively, on four times yeah, you game can't speed. alter yeah. the, do not alter, that's against the rules. Go no toggle. Fly um, to every city. First person to do it wins. <laughs> So bonus content post stream is that what we're doing? <laughs> yeah, just... yeah, we'll do the fly to every city, <laughs> the challenge. I was having a debate with Snowy the other day uh, about which game is it harder to fly in, because in yep. Gen One and Two, uh, you just like press hit up, like hit up and down, and it, it just goes yeah. to the next city, which is really really convenient. But then in uh, starting in Gen Three, they made this nice little thing that you can cursor that goes around onto all the useless space just so that you can miss. And they also made it move really quickly, which is great if you're playing on one times game speed, but wow, that, that Lorelei was ridiculously easy. I'm jealous of that. Yeah. Well done. Hi, I love Swords Dance. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking if I wanted, um, what I wanted to do with Bruno here. I, yeah, it's like pretty clear not. to me in like just seeing that fight, like the fact that you kept Flamethrower for the Steelix. Um, mm-hmm. Oh. At least it's not rocked him. Come on. Thank you. Blaze. Blaze. Thank you, Blaze. Yeah, Blaze is good. <laughs> there we go. Don't, don't worry. If I was narrating that, I would say, huh, I guess I got a better damage roll right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do I got for PP? 12? I'm going straight into Agatha. I was like... Flamethrower might not one-shot everything, but pure... eh, we're having fun. Oh Let's my gosh. It. It's a man mode. Yeah. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> Red bar it. Now. You can do it. Now I'm a man. A man, man, man. Okay, you're going to finish slightly higher level than I am. Like maybe 81. 82. I was what? 79? No, 80. 80. What makes a man is it entering battle at 17 hit points? No. I think I so. It truly is. Adapt. Look at that. You. Did, that was a great, <laughs> great choice, actually. See, I never would have done that. I would have been too scared. I don't even need it. Don't even need it. 
I was thinking if Rock Slide really was the choice here, if Brick Break would have been better, but uh, I still am not out of the weeds yet. I still uh, have the champion. Yeah, yeah. Th this fight actually with Substitute, if you have Substitute in a setup move, I just realized that this fight is you trivial. Win. Yeah, you just win. It's, it's free. Mm, yeah. Yep. Yep. That's interesting. Uh, I guess the only lose condition is if Gyarados. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then, if the, ground type. then the Gyarados probably does something other than Thunder Wave. Um. Yeah. If he if he does though, like um, oh. typically he'll go for two to three turns of Dragon Dance before he'll actually start hitting you. Oh, so interesting. I, I have found that. Interesting. But uh, once he starts hitting you, he hurts a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Now is time. Brick break. Uh, Executor is my only concern because I don't have a super effective move. That should be fine with setup. I'm going to commit to this decision and not regret it at all, right? I don't think you'll regret it. <laughs> I saved an elixir. I knew I saved an elixir. There it is. And I'm keeping the road, the leftovers off just because, you know. I don't think you need a flamethrower for the champion. It doesn't seem like it not fills, like sol solves any niche. Mm-hmm. No. Did I want Flamethrower? No, it's because I wanted nah. Aerial Ace. It's because I would have Aerial Ace to get rid of Heracross normally, yeah, yeah. but I messed that up. Oh, okay, I guess, well, yeah. let's just well, fish. Yeah, fish for the fish for the Heracross RNG. I, sh I should not have deleted Flamethrower. That thing that I said that I wasn't going to regret like yeah, 30 like seconds later. You immediately later. regret it, and then I'm just like, I'm totally wrong. <laughs> do you have Earthquake? I do. Okay. Um... Does Brick Break one shot? No, there's no way. No. Uh, bug resists, so. Bug does not resist, but Rock Slide. Rock Slide is oh, neutral. Um, rock Slide is neutral, but no, there's no way it one shots. Oh, not a chance. What? That's so little damage. Uh, but you can get lucky. You can get lucky like me. Like like my whole strat here was just get lucky. Yeah, um, substitute. Nothing. Hope it misses. Then attack after sword stance. It's like really silly strat. What's your speed? Um, yeah, my speed uh, two twelve right now. So I'm faster. Two twelve. Um, yeah. I want, would you if I pennies? take one rock slide or one rock tomb, I might I might be able to take one. What? I do you have candies? Do you have any candies? I have one. I could use one. You should use one. Um, let's Maybe. go forward. Sword stance. Counter. Sweet. Please one. No. Okay. Uh, 140. I think you. I think you have to think set up two sword stance. Yeah. I think you have to. Because um, the Blastoise is going to live. Uh, Unless you want the Hydro Pump miss too. Like Rock, rock 2 miss, Hydro Pump miss. Could be possible. So, yeah, this is definitely like I've I've painted myself into a corner twice, and I think it's mostly because I'm just like I'm just so focused on what we're talking about, right? Mm, um, yeah. And like oh. I'm just not playing well, and I'm just getting my butt absolutely kicked because of it. <laughs> um, I should not have deleted Flamethrower. I was saving it specifically for this reason, and then I deleted it right before the fight. Like, that was a dumb move on my my part. There's no way we survive a Rock Tomb. And Aerial Ace is gone, right? Aerial Ace is gone. Yeah. Because I got overconfident, thinking like, oh, hey, I and and then I had to go back and get Substitute. I do have the Overheat TM. But my concern with... Oh, I do have Fire Blast as well. Somebody was mentioning Fire Blast earlier. But my concern with it is the drop in special attack. So if I get rid of Heracross right away, then I'm forced to set up against Blastoise. How well do you think that's going to go? <laughs> yeah, don't don't set up against Blastoise. <laughs> yeah. Because the Heracross can also use Counter, so it has a lower chance of attacking you. Yeah. Like, I want my Aerial Ace, and, like, oh, I'm just... I, I played uh, both of these runs that we played today. I played yeah. very poorly. <laughs> what does the most... Do you have Return? Uh, no, it's gone. It was another one that was kind of, I'm fixing something I boo-booed, yeah, yeah, and... Yeah. Do you have Secret Power? Or something. He just countered. Uh, uh, I do have Secret Power, yes. Um, so, Secret Power, secret power is, like... I in, have intentionally been going back and buying an extra secret power in my playthroughs now 
so that oh, wait, I can I... occasionally oh, inflict paralysis oh, wait, yeah. to get out of yep. sticky situations. It's tempting, honestly. Because it like your chances of winning are just going to go up if you have a thirty percent chance to cause paralysis on any given yeah. attack. Oh, someone okay, suggested so... fly. Fly! I love you. That's amazing, I Jonathan. Hate fly, Jonathan. I just never think of it. Yeah, the Jonathan, MVP or and yes. Alexander, both of you, right at the same time, just coming in with the perfect move. <laughs> okay, so now I have to think about this. Um. Uh, you need to be able to knock out the Tyranitar. Rock Slide is neutral. I'm just wondering, because uh, if I get rid of... So I I've got Fly, which deals with Executor. It's Stab, so that helps with Blastoise. Gets rid of Heracross. I think, I think Rock Slide. I think Rock Slide goes. I think Rock Slide goes, too. Also, I think that Fly will one-hit the Blastoise with plus four. Uh, unlike uh, with my run, because I was not level 80, so I was under a damage rounding threshold, and I had slightly mm -hmm. less effective power with Earthquake, because it's 100, and uh, Fly is going to be 105. Yeah. Right. I'm just debating again if I'm I want to try right? and snag some setup against Heracross or not. Yeah, Fly is base 70 power in this generation, right? And yeah. It's not upgraded to... Yeah, 105 Come base power. <laughs> oh no, the crit... <laughs> Yeah, instantly, right off the turn. Fly is two turns, so it's weak. Fly is two turns and 95% accuracy, which is why I discount it so much and why I did yeah. not think about it and why I love that I have it on my moveset now. Um, Just miss or something, you dink. Um, sorry. <laughs> I think, I, I honestly, I think substitute turn one, then spam sword stance. Mm. Two times. And, like, just hope that it counters once and misses once with Rock Tomb. Yeah. And then you'll you'll get it. Just fish for Heracross luck. Well, ah. if you substitute turn one, you can, <laughs> on turn two, you can set up the sword stance and see if it misses. Because... It missed one. Because, okay, but, the, but if you substitute turn it. one, you don't get your speed lowered. So it's okay if it, mm -hmm. it's okay if it still connects. I'm at plus two right now, and I am freaking terrified. Um... I'm going for the fly. I, I'm just so... <laughs> if only we had smokescreen. Uh, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. Uh, yes! 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 Oh! Hydro Pump didn't kill! I thought he was going to go for a rain dance, but he oh went for that! Oh my gosh. No, the Sandstorm! <laughs> the Sandstorm's going to get you, yeah. You have to, like, main... I think you have to maintain your health... Oh my gosh! All right, sorry, Scott. I'm okay. uh, I'm I'm popping my leftovers on because oh yeah, I have them. Do it, do it, and do it. I, I want to get this done because we got to keep the entertainment. Yeah, yeah. Up, leftovers. Right? Does leftovers perfectly <laughs> counter a sandstorm for health loss every turn? Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it does okay. not counter poison, but it does counter the weather. Okay. Oh, this bloody battle! My goodness, holy. Yeah, this is this is like. <laughs> okay, I'm tempted here just to go for more substitute. Just miss me again. Come on. You got two misses in you, buddy. But Come on. I, you I'm, got two misses in you. I'm reading someone in your chat say uh, fly is two turns, so it's weak. I think the reason we are discounting fly and not using it is not because it's weak and not because it's two turns. I think we're discounting it because it's 95% accuracy. And in general, <laughs> like... Like forming a strategy around a move that is inconsistent does not feel particularly good. Uh, it's also an HM move, so if you learn it at the beginning of the league, you cannot delete it. So my mind mm -hmm. kind of like pushes it aside as a viable option just because it's not flexible and it's inconsistent. I agree. Um, and the fact that, yeah, you can't delete it once it's on your set uh, in the league, it feels very limiting, but for the champion, like. Perfect yeah. option. Thank you yeah. for, for reminding me. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a fight. Yeah, what a fight. You're going to do it this time, though. I don't know. Stranger things have happened. No, Two no, extreme I, I speeds. Let's see if the... <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. It is done. Yes. Oh my gosh. So this was like... Yeah, that's like 40 minutes slower than my optimized run using Belly yeah. Drum. <laughs> oh, using Belly Drum. Yeah, Belly Drum seems like very strong. Belly Drum was insane. I was so skeptical yep. because uh, starting every battle at like half health was 
like just a terrifying concept to me but yep. um but gosh like charizard with the speed that we have we ripped through oh my gosh yeah Anyway, two oh. victories for Scott. I need to go uh, rethink why I became a content creator. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is great. I learned a lot. Um, so did I. Um, this was awesome. Yeah, it was really, really, really fun. Uh, I especially the the one thing, the nugget that's sticking in my mind right now is this idea that like or this like path in Koga's gym. Mm -hmm. You can like sneak around. Yep. That's great. Uh, a nice little shortcut. It's a nice little shortcut. It skips one trainer, which is good. One mandatory yes. trainer. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And uh, well, for me, with my no spinner technology, possibly a second one as well. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I guess. Maybe next time I place yellow with Scott. I'm willing to, but you're going to be waiting for me a long time. <laughs> yeah. 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 For sure. Wait, um, give me uh, an electric type and then... <laughs> Yeah, Maybe you, then you I'll play, be slower. Well, I'm pretty uh, bad with them. I'm trying to think of a really good Pokemon. In yellow? In yellow. That No, uh, good for a different reason. Um, like, obviously Magikarp, no. Because yeah, yeah, that's yeah. just, like, in Caterpie, that's just rude. But, like, you know. I play Seal if again. We, if, if we gave you, like, yeah, well, what did Steel do? Yeah. Seal was very I'll, bad. Very bad. I'll take, Mew, I'll take Mewtwo. Yeah, Mewtwo and... versus Seal. We'll finish at roughly the same time. YouTube <laughs> <laughs> oh, versus Seal. The ultimate showdown. Yep, exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Well, good game, Scott. Yeah, this, this is was awesome. really fun. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for doing this with me. For Yeah, yeah this was oh, so much fun. Definitely. Uh, we will have to do this again at some point. Um, I'd love to try out other Pokemon in Fire Red as well absolutely yeah um thanks for everyone tuning in thanks for the memberships and donations um yeah and also happy birthday um was it maria maria yes yes, yes. if she is miraculously still awake because i um i know it's getting pretty late for them in the eu um mm. happy birthday or i guess it's past your birthday now so you know happy belated <laughs> but yes 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 um all right, I guess that's it. So uh, if you made it this I far, everyone, so. you're incredible. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, for my side, uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, both channels. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, tons of fun. Loved running with you, Scott. Uh, learned a lot. Had a lot of fun discussing everything with you. Um, I have another video coming up on Friday. I'm premiering a solo run of Chimchar in a uh, Chimchar line. So we are evolving into that beautiful little ape man. Uh, in Soul Silver. So I will see you Friday or next time. Ooh, that'll thanks be a fun one. To, thanks again to Scott and uh, everybody for being here. Uh, this this was amazing. So good. See you all next time.